0011 arrived and signed for three years. Advertisement. The land of fire, Kanahagakur. The Senja family, as one of the most important founders of Kanaha village, has long since lost its glory. It may be that the predecessors were too tall and exhausted the luck of the Senju clan. The current Senju is really a hairless phoenix not as good as a chicken. Especially after Tsunade left, Senju has completely lost power and has no sense of existence in the village. In the north of the village, in a small courtyard. Three years, three full years, ever since I traveled to the world of Hokage, I dare not leave this small courtyard more than ten meters away. Luli murmured bitterly. Before crossing, his name was Luli, and after crossing, he was called Senju Luli. He is the only Senju clan man in the village with Senju as his surname. For three years, Luli has been living at home. Because he is signing in, when this arrives, one sign is for three years. The location is this yard, and the area no more than ten meters away from the yard. Once out of this area, the sign-in will fail. In fact, failure means failure, just wait for the system to issue the next check-in task. However, it is impossible for Luli to tolerate the failure of this check-in, because, the reward for successful sign-in is, first Hokage's chakra, for the sign-in reward, let alone three years, even thirteen years, Luli can live in the house, so he couldn't go out and became the forgotten otaku of Kanaha village. Today is the last day to sign in. There are still, ten minutes before the successful sign-in. In these last ten minutes, Luli had mixed feelings. Senju's slump began with Tobirama's death. Of course, this is appearance. The real reason is that after the Kanaha village was established, the Senju clan no longer valued the purity of blood as much as the Uchiha clan. Both the first generation and the second generation encouraged clansmen to marry foreigners. Slowly, the blood of the Senju family was diluted. Prior to this, it was very difficult to awaken the Senju clan's blood successor limit sage body. Advertisement. After the blood vessels are diluted, it will be even more difficult. When it comes to Luli, not to mention sage body, even refining chakra is extremely difficult. Some people will say, isn't the Senju family's blood successor limitation wood style? Of course not. Although staying at home all the time, Luli still figured out many things. For example, the period he is in now is after the Nine Tails Rebellion, but before Uchiha attack it cut the whole clan. If Luli is not mistaken, it should be Kanaha's 56th year now. Four years until the Hokage Ninja story officially begins, it was a time of relative peace, on the face of it. In fact, under the surface of peace, there is an undercurrent. Inside Kanaha village, the Uchiha clan has not yet been exterminated, and they always want to kill the high-level leather leaves, and then become the boss themselves. As a result, the genocide was exterminated by Uchiha Itake and Uchiha Obito. There are many external conflicts with Cloud Shinobi Village. It seems that recently Cloud Shinobi Village sent an envoy to Kanaha Village, and there are signs of shaking hands. However, there should be some open and secret struggles. From time travel to the present, Lu Li's situation has always been quite embarrassing. A signing task put him in this small courtyard for three full years. Many people have already forgotten about his Senju Lu Li. Although surnamed Senju, Lu Li's ability to refine chakra is weak. It's not even necessary to enter a ninja school, because even if you go, you will definitely not be able to graduate. But even if Lu Li could get into the ninja school, he wouldn't go, because he wants to stay at home. Finally, ding, there are still 10 seconds until the sign-in is completed. At this moment, the sound of the system is heard in Lu Li's ears, like the sound of nature. 9, 8, advertisement. 2, 1, 0, ding, congratulations host, successful sign-in, sign-in reward, chucker from first hokage. Ding, since it's the first time host has signed in, an additional reward, physical skills and strange power. Boom, in Lu Li's body, chucker was like a volcanic eruption, and a surge of heat instantly filled his whole body. At this moment, Lu Li felt the seemingly endless power bursting out from his body. That feeling is really wonderful. Is this the chakra from first generation? It really didn't disappoint me. Known as the well-deserved god of ninja in the world of hokage. The chakra of first hokage has another name, chakra. It can be said bluntly that the total amount of this chakra far exceeds that of tailed beast. In addition to the chakra of first hokage, there is an additional reward for signing in for the first time, Tejutsu weird power. This is a body art unique to the Senju clan. When casting, precisely control the chakra, concentrate the chakra on the whole body, cover the whole body with chakra, and then burst out a powerful airflow, which can easily smash the wall. The reason why it is called strange power is because of its huge destructive power. Three years of waiting, great value, a great pleasure that cannot be expressed in words arises spontaneously. Hokage world, I, Luli, at this moment, I officially debut, push open the courtyard door. Luli looked up, the moon and stars were sparse. Although it was already the middle of the night, the whole village was already asleep. On the street, apart from the dim street lamps and the gentle breeze, there were not even a ghost. But Luli walked out of the courtyard happily. Confined at home for three full years, Luli has actually been suffocated for a long time. Advertisement. Now that the restrictions are lifted, he can't wait to go out for a walk to get some fresh air. If it weren't for the scruples that would disturb the sleeping people, he would even want to howl a few times. It is the first time for Luli to walk in Kanaha village since crossing. But there is no sense of strangeness, but familiarity. Especially when I passed by Ichiraku Ramen, I even felt a lot of joy. I must come here tomorrow for a bowl of ramen? No, two bowls. Naruto said that one of his favorite things is to eat ramen here. For Ichiraku Ramen, Luli had longed for it before traveling. Gone back. Luli has been wandering outside for a while, and is about to go home. Suddenly, he noticed a black shadow flashing across the roof in front of him. The black shadow was fast and silent, looking at the direction, it was moving outside the village. Huh? What the hell is this? Luli subconsciously felt something was wrong. In the middle of the night, the ninjas in Kanaha village should not be so boring. Go and see. Luli hesitated for a moment, then followed. Following the black shadow, he quickly left the village. The speed of the opponent is very fast, but Luli with chakra of first hokage is not slow, even faster. He took a closer look, and immediately recognized that the man was not Kanaha's ninja. It's the ninjas of Cloud Shinobi village? With Luli's understanding of the hokage world, you can't be wrong. In the middle of the night, why did the ninjas from Cloud Shinobi village appear in Kanaha village, acting so strangely? Just when Luli was wondering, he suddenly found that there was a person in the crook of the man's arm? To be precise, it was a little girl? Steal the child? No matter how late Luli is, she already understands it. The ninjas from Cloud Shinobi village came to Kanaha village to steal children? Advertisement. 002 accidentally saved little Hineda? Advertisement. It makes no sense. Luli frowned slightly, and the speed of his feet suddenly increased. No matter before or after time travel, Luli hates traffickers very much. Those human traffickers abducted, sold, and even killed children for tens of thousands, or even thousands of dollars, and tore many otherwise warm families to pieces. Such a person is hateful and can be killed. What's more, Luli, as a member of Kanaha village, can't turn a blind eye when seeing this kind of thing. Just when he was murderous, suddenly, whoosh, three points of cold light shot towards Luli's back. Um, Luli paused, but did not make any dodge movements. Is this guy scared stupid? Then died, Kanaha's brat. 
Seeing this, Cloud Shinobi who attacked Luli raised a cruel arc at the corner of his mouth. However, just as the three o'clock cold light was about to approach, Luli snorted coldly, and Chakra burst out. Boom, the purple Chakra instantly covered the whole body, like a coat, and the ground under his feet shattered inch by inch. At the same time, a powerful airflow erupted from the air, and the four shurikens that were launched were bounced back backwards, and the speed was faster than when they came. What? The Cloud Shinobi village ninja who fired his shuriken at Luli never expected this to happen. Caught off guard, he was hit directly by his own shuriken and nailed to the trunk of a big tree, and several other Cloud Shinobi who appeared behind Luli together were also turned over by this powerful airflow. It's just a little bit of Chakra, it's that strong, if I burst out Chakra with all my strength. Advertisement. While Luli was slightly surprised, he remembered remembered some plots in Hokage. In the Wave Country mission, Shiro killed Suzuki with Senbon, and Naruto went berserk for the first time, and the burst of Chakra alone bounced Shiro's Senbon. In the later period of Shippuden, the previous Hokage was revived by Orikimura with Impure World Reincarnation. At that time Tobirama wanted to kill Suzuki, but was overwhelmed by Hashirama's burst of Chakra. Just the external Chakra turned Suyo into water in fright, and Shuyu even complained, the bully, Haki is so scary. Second generation complained helplessly at the time, don't explode Chakra, big brother. Presumably that is not the result of Hashirama's efforts. This. The ninjas of Cloud Shinobi Village were all horrified. After staggering to a standstill, they looked at Luli as if they had seen a ghost. Chakra out. The Cloud Shinobi holding the little girl is obviously the leader of these people. He was a little farther away, and was not affected much. But he was so frightened that he subconsciously stopped, not daring to continue running. If the person in front of him was third Hokage, with such a terrifying amount of Chakra, he wouldn't be surprised at all. But this person is obviously just a teenager, obviously not third Hokage. When did Kanaha Village have such a terrifying ninja? Could it be Jinchuriki? No, according to intelligence, Kanaha's Jinchuriki should still be a kid who just took off his crotch pants. The leader of Cloud Shinobi swallowed, Hawksman couldn't help but yell, Damn it, why didn't there be any information about the boy in front of him in the intelligence report? Isn't this cheating? Let go of that girl, let me do it. Abba, it's easy to say, let her go. Luli said in a cold voice, Only when you really own the chakra of first generation, can you realize why people call it chakra. It is unfathomable, as if it is inexhaustible. As a result, Luli has to control a little bit when using it. It would be bad if he accidentally hurt the flowers and plants. At this time, the Cloud Shinobi who had been overthrown by Luli before had come to meet him, and they were already standing beside the Cloud Shinobi leader. Advertisement. Who are you? The leader of Cloud Shinobi looked at Luli in horror. Just playing chakra is so scary. The amount of chakra this boy possesses is definitely comparable to the one from the Land of Thunder. In a flash, Luli appeared in front of the Cloud Shinobi leader. Look at them with cold eyes. Being so close, the oppressive feeling suddenly overwhelmed the sky. The legs of the leader of Cloud Shinobi wobbled in fear. Even the leader of Cloud Shinobi was like this, and the others were even more unbearable. Some of them fell to their knees with a plop. It seems that you didn't understand what I said. Lu Li's voice was like a reminder. The next moment, Cha Tanla exploded with all his might. Boom, the turbulent chakra is like a tide, sweeping out. No, in an instant, several ninjas in Cloud Shinobi Village were overwhelmed by this chakra, and their bodies were shattered. Together with the surrounding mountains, rocks, and vegetation, they were flattened by this force. All of a sudden, sand and rocks flew away, and the big tree surrounded by several people collapsed. And that little girl, under Lu Li's precise control, was unscathed. Just when he was about to fall to the ground, Lu Li caught him firmly. Hey, it's her. Lu Li glanced at the little girl in his arms and recognized her. It turned out to be Hayaga Hineda, the eldest daughter of the famous Kanaha Hayaga family. She is one of the descendants of Atsutsuki Hamura, with extremely pure white eyes, and is called the White-Eyed Princess by the dead souls of the Atsutsuki family on the moon. I see. In a flash, Lu Li understood the general situation of this matter. Again, it was Cloud Shinobi Village who orchestrated the kidnapping in order to get supercilious. In Lu Li's impression, if I remember correctly, there is indeed such a thing in the plot of Hokage. But the time is wrong. Hineda was kidnapped when she was three years old. Now Hineda is eight years old. Advertisement. Got the wrong script? At this moment, the little Hineda who had been in a coma suddenly trembled, and she slowly opened her eyes. A pair of white pupils, full of bewilderment. Kanaha village at this time. Hayaga's house has become a mess. Everyone go out and track it down. We must find Hineda. Hayaga patriarch roared. With Bin's pupil technique, the Hayaga family quickly found clues. At the same time that someone went to inform the third generation, the head of the Hayaga family had already followed the clues to the rescue. However, what caught Hayaga Hayashi by surprise was that he had just left the village not far away. Suddenly, I felt a huge wave of chakra coming in front of me. This is. Hayaga Hayashi's eyes widened suddenly, and his forward figure suddenly stopped. Even without using the pupil technique, he could still clearly feel the chakra storm like a raging sea. He had encountered such a situation once before. Nine tails right night. Could it be that, for Hineda, they even dispatched the Jinchuriki. Hayaga patriarch's complexion became extremely ugly. This chakra, the Hayaga branch house clansmen who came to rescue Hineda with the head of the family were all terrified. Bien can see the flow of chakra in the surrounding environment, so they saw a scene that they will never forget in this life. Chakra swept past like a tsunami. Everyone, like Hayashi, subconsciously thought of Jinchuriki. Otherwise, how could there be such a terrifying chakra? Stop chasing, prepare to fight. At the latest, it will be delayed until the arrival of Lord Third Generation. Patriarch Hayaga knew exactly what that meant. Advertisement. 003 The boy has a family crest behind his back. Advertisement. As the princess of the Hokage anime world, Hayaga Hineda's life is quite legendary. Take kidnapping as an example, she was kidnapped four times. The first time, when she was three years old, was kidnapped by the leader of Cloud Shinobi. The second time, during the Chinin exam, was also abducted by Tuchinin from Cloud Shinobi village. The third time, I was doing the task of looking for microsend insects, but was kidnapped by the water flow family on Uegakur. For the fourth time, in the theatrical version, she was kidnapped by Atsutsuki Shiran, and almost became Mrs. Yazai. If you add the encounter with Luli this time, it will be five times. It is said that when Luli rescued little Hineda, Hayaga Hineda slowly opened her eyes, and because her vision was blurry at first, she vaguely saw a face appearing in her eyes. But soon, her sight regained clarity. Only then did she see clearly that it was a delicate face with an intoxicating smile. Hineda was taken aback for a moment, and then felt a sharp pain in the back of her head. At this time, she remembered that when she was at home, she seemed to be attacked by bad guys. The little girl with a weak personality, the blankness in her eyes immediately turned into panic. She subconsciously wanted to scream. At this time, he suddenly heard him say softly, Little Hineda, you are safe. 
Little Hineda opened her mouth, and only then came to her senses. She blinked her eyes and said loudly like a mosquito, Luli big brother, you. Yes, she knew him. During Luli's three years at home, a little girl often helped him buy food and daily necessities. How do you feel? Luli asked with concern. I, I'm fine. Little Hineda resisted the dizziness, suspected of being stubborn. That's good. Luli smiled slightly and put her down. As a result, before Luli completely let go of his hand, Little Hineda tended to limp on the ground, unable to even stand firmly. Luli quickly supported her again and said, You still say it's okay. I, I. Little Hineda lowered her head, speaking barely audibly. Okay, I'll carry you back. Advertisement. As he spoke, Luli couldn't help but squat down and let Hineda lie on his back. Sit tight, we're leaving. Luli reminded. Little Hineda put her head on Luli's shoulder and nodded imperceptibly. On the way back with Luli carrying little Hineda on his back, he didn't meet anyone from Hayaga's family. When Luli sent Hineda to Hayaga's house, Hineda had already passed out. The one who received Luli was Hayaga Hisashi, who was an hour behind and had a tragedy all his life. Luli recognized Hayaga Hisashi at a glance, and at the same time murmured in his heart. Wasn't Hayaga Hisashi sacrificed by the main clan when Hineda was three years old? Why are you still alive and well? The timeline is a little messed up. Luli complained wildly in her heart. Miss, Hisashi exclaimed. When Luli handed Hineda to him, he casually confessed, it should be a little injured, you should take good care of her. You are. Of course Hayaga Hisashi didn't know Luli. Luli didn't stay, turned around and left, just waved her hand. Well, if you don't leave your name behind when you do good deeds, we are the ones talking about it. Hayaga Hisashi frowned and looked at the boy's receding back, the black hair, and the family crest on the boy's back. That family crest is, Senju. Hayaga Hisashi was stunned. Senju, what a glorious surname. It is hardly seen in Kanaha village nowadays. Luli came home, stretched, then stretched out on the bed. Maybe he was too excited, he didn't feel much sleepy at this time. System, is it there? When will the next check-in task be released? Luli thought silently. Ding, the new check-in task has been released, do you want to check it? The system's voice was as steady as ever. Luli was stunned, why didn't he notify when it was released? This system is really, leather. Advertisement. Check the check-in task. Luli said in a deep voice. He was looking forward to it, but also a little apprehensive. If the new check-in task lasts for another three to five years, it's really, a dog? As the saying goes, how many years are there in life? Even if the sign-in rewards are very generous, it really can't stand such a waste of time, okay? Call up the system task interface, and a new sign-in task will appear in front of you. Sign-in task. Venue, Kanaha Shinobi School. Time, unlimited. Reward, confidentiality. Status, incomplete. Kanaha Shinobi School, Lu Li's eyes lit up. In other words, this is also Lu Li's next goal. Traveling through the Hokage world must be a Hokage, there is no doubt about it. Therefore, Lu Li must have a student status. Only with school status can you become a ninja? Once he becomes a ninja, is Hokage far from him? As for signing in, although it took three years to sign in for the first time, the rewards are extremely generous. So what about the second check-in task? Wood style? Sherry non? I'm really looking forward to it. For the second sign-in reward, what Luli wants most is naturally wood style. The reason is simple, Shatanla plus wood style equals god of ninja. This is a formula for becoming a god that Hashirama has proven. Of course, if it is Sherry non, it is barely acceptable. Advertisement. Two flowers bloom, one for each. The head of the Haiga family and the members of the Haiga family stayed in place for a while in fear. Not only did nothing happen in front of them, but they were also extremely calm. So, the person in the branch house said, Sovereign, may I go and have a look? Patriarch Haiga glanced at the man, nodded and said, Be careful. After a while, the people from the branch house who went to scout the situation came back, their faces were pale and strange. How? Haiga Hayashi frowned. The man swallowed and said, There are traces of fighting, but no suspicious person was found. Have you already left? Let's go and have a look. Haiga Patriarch took the lead and swept forward. The others quickly followed. Soon, they came to the scene of the incident. When Patriarch Haiga saw the situation here clearly, he suddenly took a deep breath. A large area of the forest was raised to the ground, and as far as the eye could see, it was devastated. Could it be? Tailed Beast Bomb. Someone from Haiga's family guessed. Tailed Beast Bomb. Patriarch Haiga wasn't sure either. Sovereign, look, what is this? At this time, some people from the clan came with something in their hands. This is. Patriarch Haiga looked down and saw that the man was holding some minced meat and clothes in his hands. After a while, he recognized it with his supercilious ability, and said in surprise, this is the envoy from Cloud Shinobi Village. What happened? The person holding the corpse turned pale, and said, could it be, the one from the Land of Thunder? Patriarch Haiga shook his head and said, impossible, a perfect Jinchuriki usually doesn't go berserk. The man continued, Miss, she. Patriarch Haiga said in a deep voice, enlarge the scope of my search. I don't believe that Hineda will. Knowing that Haiga Hineda's chances of surviving may be slim, as a father, he is unwilling to give up. The people of Haiga's family searched here for a long time, but found nothing. Just when Haiga Patriarch was about to despair. Lord Sovereign, Miss Hineda. Someone from Haiga's family rushed here in a hurry. What happened to Hineda? Patriarch Haiga asked excitedly. The man took a breath and said, Miss was sent home. She is currently in a coma, but the problem is not serious. Patriarch Haiga was slightly taken aback when he heard the words, and then said ecstatically, That's great. It's great that Hineda is fine. He was concerned about his daughter in his heart, and he didn't care about him, so he hurried back after explaining. Advertisement. 004 Who is the one who saved Hineda? Advertisement. Hineda met Hineda the first time Patriarch Haiga returned home. As the person who came to deliver the message said, Hineda is fine, just unconscious. Little Aunt Liang was lying quietly on the bed with a peaceful expression on her face. She didn't appear to be frightened by being kidnapped at all. Patriarch Haiga had completely calmed down at this time. He looked at his younger brother and said, Hisashi, who rescued Hineda. It's a black-haired boy wearing a Senju family pattern. I don't know this person. Hisashi truthfully reported. Why didn't you keep him? Patriarch Haiga was a little annoyed. At this time, a family member came to report, and third generation and Hokage consultants came to Haiga's house together. Haiga Patriarch gave Haiga Hisashi a cold look, and left Hineda's room with a flick of his sleeves. Master third generation? Master Danzo, the head of the Haiga family who came to greet him greeted. Sarutobi Hiruzen nodded with a smile. Shimura Danzo just gave a nasal ha. Is Hineda girl okay? Sarutobi Hiruzen asked. Maybe I got a little frightened, but I'm currently in a coma, and I'm fine. I believe it will take a few days to recuperate. Haiga Hayashi responded. Advertisement. Danzo didn't have so much affection and asked directly, who saved Hineda? Hayashi hesitated, and said, a boy wearing clothes with the Senju family crest. What, boy? Senju family mon. 
the first and second leaders of Kanaha village were slightly taken aback. Boys are nothing. The world of Hokage is full of heroes. A typical example is Uchiha Itake. At the age of four, I witnessed the tragedy of the Third Ninja World War on the battlefield. At the age of five, during the Kanaha Nine Tails Rebellion, I was alone at home protecting my baby brother Suzuki, six year old ninja school entrance. A seven year old graduated from ninja school in just one year. Turn on Sherinon at age eight. There is no need to repeat it later. Anyway, using heroes to produce teenagers can no longer be described, and heroes producing children are almost the same. Age is no problem in the world of Hokage. To the surprise of the two big men, Senju, the surname Senju has too many fetters with third generation and Danzo. Advertisement. Senju Tobirama is the teacher of third generation and Danzo, and Tsunade is a disciple of third generation. However, decades have passed, and Senju, a surname in the Megatron Ninja world, has almost withdrawn from the historical stage of the Hokage world. After so many years of marriage, the descendants of the Senju clan changed their surnames one after another. Even Tsunade and Noweke, the siblings, have never used the surname Senju throughout the whole story of Hokage. Moreover, it is true that the siblings are direct descendants of Hashirama's grandchildren, but it is not known whether they are grandchildren or grandchildren. Both Hayashi and Danzo looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen at the same time. Because the Senju family has declined too quickly and completely, they have already faded out of the sight of these two big men. Of course Senju doesn't know anyone. However, Sarutobi Hiruzen knows that in the current Kanaha village, there is only one family whose surname is Senju. To be precise, there is only one person. Sarutobi Hiruzen squinted his eyes, and said, The boy, also surnamed Senju, should be him. His name is Senju Luli. In fact, although Third Hokage knows Luli, it is limited to knowing. If it wasn't for today's incident, he might never think of it in the future, let alone mention this name. Senju. When mentioning this surname, the first thing Sarutobi Hiruzen thought of was his disciple, Tsunade. Unfortunately, because of the death of Noweki and Kato Dan, she was devastated and even suffered from severe hemophobia. Advertisement. Sarutobi Hiruzen said in a deep voice, Hayashi, what's going on? Hayaga Hayashi pondered for a while, and then narrated the whole process of the incident. Among them, it focuses on the chakra storm he encountered during the pursuit and the scene of the battle. While stating these, Patriarch Hayaga didn't show any expression, but his heart was far less calm than it seemed. If the surname Senju is connected with the scene he saw outside the village today, it's too, shocking. However, they certainly wouldn't naively think that Luli was the one who saved Hineda from Cloud Shinobi. Saving people and sending them home are two different concepts. So is it Luli who really saved Hineda? Or is it someone else and Senju Luli is just running errands? After being silent for a while, Danzo said, Senju Luli, are you a graduate of the ninja school? Third generation shook his gray eyebrows and said, call Irika to ask about it. At this time, Irika had just been promoted to Chinin, but was already a teacher at the school. And also happens to be Hayaga Hineda's teacher. 005 no such person? Advertisement. Soon after, Omino Irika came to Hayaga's house. Before answering third Hokage's questions, he insisted on visiting Hineda first. Irika was relieved to see that Hineda was not seriously injured and looked good. Danzo said impatiently, Irika, is Senjululi a graduate of the ninja school? Senjululi. Irika was taken aback. He thought about it carefully, then shook his head blankly, and said, Senjo, as far as I know, the ninja school has not accepted a student with this surname for many years. No such person? Sarutobi Hiruzen, Shimura Danzo, Haiga Hayashi, the three Kanaha high-ranking officials were all shocked when they heard the words. There's none? Which is to say, this Senjululi isn't even a ninja? So he's the one who killed several elite jonin in Cloud Shinobi village and destroyed a large swath of the forest? Is it possible? The answer is negative? I don't know why, but third generation feels a little disappointed for no reason. And Danzo's inner activities at this time are also quite intriguing. He actually felt a sense of relief. Advertisement. Patriarch Hayaga just felt a little surprised, and didn't have much other thoughts. In his eyes, the inheritance of the Hayaga family is the most important. As for what is not Senja, this declining family doesn't seem to have much to do with him, and he doesn't have the leisure to pay attention. In this way, the one who really saved Hineda should be someone else. Danzo has concluded that Luli is only the one who sent Hineda back to Hayaga's house. Who could it be? Sarutobi Hiruzen was lost in thought. Before he knew it, he thought of Tsunade again. If only the one who saved Hineda was the revived Tsunade. Third generation knows that it is getting old and needs a secure successor. Could it be the Jinchuriki who can cause that kind of damage? Danzo couldn't help but said aloud. Patriarch Hayaga shook his head, I don't know yet. Danzo looked at third generation and said, Nine tails. Third generation also shook his head, that kid doesn't even know he's a Jinchuriki. Besides, he's been sleeping at home. That unlucky child has been under the surveillance of the third generation. The three big brothers were all lost in thought. As for whether Luli was the one who really saved Hineda, I believe that after Hineda wakes up, the truth may come to light. Then this matter will be shelved for now. Compared to this, they still have an extremely difficult matter right now. The envoys from Cloud Shinobi Village, who originally came to form an alliance, were wiped out in the process of envoys to Kanaha Village. Advertisement. Though it's their own fault for kidnapping Hineda. But everyone is dead, there is no evidence of death, and Cloud Shinobi Village will never admit it. As a result, the situation of Kanaha Village is very embarrassing. Cloud Shinobi Village will definitely use this as a threat to demand an explanation from Kanaha Village. If it doesn't work, it will be the fuse of a big battle, but can Kanaha Village survive a major war today? The fourth generation died in the Nine Tails Rebellion? Jinchuriki is a kid who is discriminated against by everyone? The Uchiha clan had a lot of fun too, there are a lot of internal problems, and I can't stand to toss. Danzo looked at Patriarch Kaiga, and said slowly, the Cloud Shinobi Village envoy kidnapped your daughter. After you found out, you killed them all in a rage. As for what happened on the battlefield outside the village, what did we say? Do not know at all. Hayaga Patriarch's complexion changed, third generation's eyes were fixed, and he said in a deep voice, Danzo, you passed. The Hokage consultant sneered, obviously, Cloud Shinobi Village sent an envoy to come here this time, and the old trick is repeated. The real purpose is actually to look at the Hayaga clan. Third generation snorted coldly and said, then you want the Hayaga family to be responsible for this matter to the end? This is inappropriate. Then wait for the war? Then the Uchiha clan will collude again. Hey, do you think this is appropriate? Danzo was tough. As the root of Kanaha, Danzo can sacrifice anyone for the sake of the village? Third generation had no expression on his face, but he didn't know what he was thinking. Advertisement. The head of the Hayaga family was silent for a while, and finally spoke, saying, this matter is caused by the Hayaga family, so let's go to the Hayaga family. 
As the patriarch of the Haiga family, how could he not be aware of the stakes? The city government, which is meticulous to the end, will choose to compromise no matter what, because he knew very well that if he didn't want to fight, he had to take the village out of this matter. Advisor Hokage nodded in satisfaction. Third generation sighed and said, let me think of a way to do this. The corners of Danzo's mouth twitched in disbelief, he knew third generation too well. What third generation said to find a way is nothing more than half default and half delay, unless there is really a better way to deal with it. Otherwise, this matter still has to be done according to what Danzo said. Given the current situation of Kanaha village, is there a better way? Obviously not. That's the deal. Hinata needs to recuperate, so let's go first. Danzo walked out of Hayaga's house first. Yusari Tobi Hiruzen are the leaves of light, and I, Shimura Danzo, are the roots of darkness. This villain, let me do it. Third generation glanced at Danzo who disappeared around the corner, and said to Patriarch Hayaga, Danzo's handling is too biased, I will think of other ways. Please take care of this girl. Patriarch Hayaga nodded and said, then thank you, Lord Third Generation, Hinata will get better soon. The new book needs everyone's care, ask for flowers, ask for evaluation, ask for comments, ask for rewards, ask for everything, thank you in advance. Advertisement. 006 done Third Generation. Advertisement. Sarutobi Hiruzen left quickly, and then saw Danzo standing still not far away. He knew that Danzo was waiting for him. One more Uchiha is enough, do you want another Haiga? Sarutobi Hiruzen said displeased. As soon as he heard the surname Uchiha, Danzo's face never looked better. He sneered and said, since Cloud Shinobi Village is here for supercilious looks, let them be fulfilled. Handing over the head of the Haiga clan is enough to appease Cloud Shinobi Village's anger, right? Third generation narrowed his eyes and said, what do you mean? Danzo said lightly, Hisashi, as a member of the Haiga branch house, shouldn't he protect the Haiga branch house? Then let him replace his big brother. Sarutobi Hiruzen shook his head and said, I still think it's not right. Whether it's about today or the Uchiha clan, I firmly believe there will be a better solution. Let's talk about it when you have a better way. Danzo was obviously a little tired of this sentence. As a result, Sarutobi Hiruzen also lost interest in speaking. For some reason, our master Hokage suddenly remembered the child named Senju. If the Senju family always attaches importance to blood inheritance like the Uchiha family, I believe it will be able to suppress the Uchiha family so that they dare not give birth to a rebellious heart. It's a pity that such a powerful family has only one person left with its surname in Kanaha village. Not long after, someone from Haiga's family reported that Hinata had woken up from my aunt Liang. She woke up once during that time and the only person she saw was Senju Luli. Advertisement. But I didn't see him make a move with my own eyes. In other words, they still don't know who is the one who actually saved Hinata. Luli, who was lying on the bed and thinking wildly, finally began to feel sleepy. He muttered in a daze, how many years will I have to wait to eat it? Lolita can't afford to be hurt. Can't afford to be hurt. Early the next morning, accompanied by a ray of morning light in the east, Luli sat up and stretched a lot. In fact, Luli usually doesn't get up so early, but today he plans to meet Sarutobi Hiruzen, the third Hokage. The purpose is of course about going to a ninja school for ninja training. After a simple breakfast, Luli put on more formal clothes. As soon as he opened the courtyard door, he saw an old man with a very familiar appearance slowly walking towards him. White Hokage robe, lined with red ninja clothing, wearing a Hokage hat. Although Luli has never met third Hokage face to face, it is difficult not to recognize him. Why is this old man here? It seems that the Hinata matter has begun to ferment. That's good, save yourself from looking for him. Advertisement. Luli changed his mind for a while, then he got hesitant, and took the initiative to meet her. Master Hokage. Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled kindly and said, Are you Senju Luli? He knew the name, all because of the surname Senju. And it happens to be the only person in the entire Kanaha village who keeps Senju as his surname. If it were someone else Luli who hadn't even attended ninja school, he wouldn't even be interested in knowing the name. To be honest, Sarutobi Hiruzen came to find Luli in person, and it was just a whim. Even if you want to see him, someone should bring Luli to see him. But for some reason, Sarutobi Hiruzen came in person, which was a bit baffling to him even after thinking about it. But before coming, Sarutobi Hiruzen had asked Dumbu to investigate Luli. I also basically know a lot about Luli's situation. Senju Luli, 13 years old, the only man in Kanaha village with Senju as his surname. Due to his weak body and poor qualifications, it was difficult to extract chakra, so he did not enter the ninja school. Favorite thing, staying at home. He stayed at home for three years and hardly ever went out. Most hated thing, going out. Dream, before the age of 10, I will enter the ninja school. After the age of 10, I guess I will stay at home for the rest of my life. For the seemingly irresponsible information, Sarutobi Hiruzen can only give a two-word evaluation, Otaka. Advertisement. Luli invited Sarutobi Hiruzen into his home, served tea, and said, I'm going to find Master Hokage. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at the situation in Luli's home, and said, What can you do with me? Luli got straight to the point, I have mastered the ability to extract chakra, so I want to enter the ninja school and become a real ninja. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked calm on the surface, but he was extremely astonished in his heart. Something called hope rose up in his heart again. Could it be, the boy in front of me is actually the one who saved Hinata? As soon as this idea appeared in third generation's mind, he couldn't get rid of it. Although I know it's a bit shocking. Sarutobi Hiruzen didn't mention the ninja school, but asked another question, do you know who saved Hinata from Cloud Shinobi last night? He didn't ask directly if it was Hinata who was rescued by Luli, but turned a corner. Oh, you said Hinata, when I went out for a walk last night, I happened to meet him, so I couldn't help but shoot. Luli said lightly, seeming very indifferent. It sounds like you met some little kids on the side of the road who were bullying a poor little girl, and then took action to teach those little kids. It's that casual. Then, then our Lord Third Hokage was dumbfounded. The new book needs everyone's care, ask for flowers, ask for evaluation, ask for comments, ask for rewards, ask for everything, thank you in advance. Advertisement. 006 Stun Third Generation. Advertisement. Sarutobi Hiruzen left quickly, and then saw Danzo standing still not far away. He knew that Danzo was waiting for him. One more Uchiha is enough, do you want another Haiga? Sarutobi Hiruzen said displeased. As soon as he heard the surname Uchiha, Danzo's face never looked better. He sneered and said, since Cloud Shinobi Village is here for supercilious looks, let them be fulfilled. Handing over the head of the Haiga clan is enough to appease Cloud Shinobi Village's anger, right? Third generation narrowed his eyes and said, what do you mean? Danzo said lightly, Hisashi, as a member of the Haiga branch house, shouldn't he protect the Haiga branch house? Then let him replace his big brother. 
Sarutobi Hiruzen shook his head and said, I still think it's not right, whether it's about today or the Uchiha clan, I firmly believe there will be a better solution. Let's talk about it when you have a better way. Danzo was obviously a little tired of this sentence. As a result, Sarutobi Hiruzen also lost interest in speaking. For some reason, our master Hokage suddenly remembered the child named Senju. If the Senju family always attaches importance to blood inheritance like the Uchiha family, I believe it will be able to suppress the Uchiha family so that they dare not give birth to a rebellious heart. It's a pity that such a powerful family has only one person left with its surname in Kanaha village. Not long after, someone from Hayaga's family reported that Hineda had woken up from my aunt Liang. She woke up once during that time and the only person she saw was Senju Luli. Advertisement. But I didn't see him make a move with my own eyes. In other words, they still don't know who is the one who actually saved Hineda. Luli, who was lying on the bed and thinking wildly, finally began to feel sleepy. He muttered in a daze, how many years will I have to wait to eat it? Lolita can't afford to be hurt. Can't afford to be hurt. Early the next morning, accompanied by a ray of morning light in the east, Luli sat up and stretched a lot. In fact, Luli usually doesn't get up so early, but today he plans to meet Sarutobi Hiruzen, the third Hokage. The purpose is of course about going to a ninja school for ninja training. After a simple breakfast, Luli put on more formal clothes. As soon as he opened the courtyard door, he saw an old man with a very familiar appearance slowly walking towards him. White Hokage robe, lined with red ninja clothing, wearing a Hokage hat. Although Luli has never met third Hokage face to face, it is difficult not to recognize him. Why is this old man here? It seems that the Hineda matter has begun to ferment. That's good, save yourself from looking for him. Advertisement. Luli changed his mind for a while, then he got hesitant, and took the initiative to meet her. Master Hokage. Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled kindly and said, Are you Senju Luli? He knew the name, all because of the surname Senju. And it happens to be the only person in the entire Kanaha village who keeps Senju as his surname. If it were someone else Luli who hadn't even attended ninja school, he wouldn't even be interested in knowing the name. To be honest, Sarutobi Hiruzen came to find Luli in person, and it was just a whim. Even if you want to see him, someone should bring Luli to see him. But for some reason, Sarutobi Hiruzen came in person, which was a bit baffling to him even after thinking about it. But before coming, Sarutobi Hiruzen had asked Dumbu to investigate Luli. I also basically know a lot about Luli's situation. Senju Luli, 13 years old, the only man in Kanaha village with Senju as his surname. Due to his weak body and poor qualifications, it was difficult to extract chakra, so he did not enter the ninja school. Favorite thing, staying at home. He stayed at home for three years and hardly ever went out. Most hated thing, going out. Dream, before the age of 10, I will enter the ninja school. After the age of 10, I guess I will stay at home for the rest of my life. For the seemingly irresponsible information, Sarutobi Hiruzen can only give a two-word evaluation, Otako. Advertisement. Luli invited Sarutobi Hiruzen into his home, served tea, and said, I'm going to find Master Hokage. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at the situation in Luli's home, and said, What can you do with me? Luli got straight to the point, I have mastered the ability to extract chakra, so I want to enter the ninja school and become a real ninja. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked calm on the surface, but he was extremely astonished in his heart. Something called hope rose up in his heart again. Could it be, the boy in front of me is actually the one who saved Hineda? As soon as this idea appeared in third generation's mind, he couldn't get rid of it. Although I know it's a bit shocking. Sarutobi Hiruzen didn't mention the ninja school, but asked another question. Do you know who saved Hineda from Cloud Shinobi last night? He didn't ask directly if it was Hineda who was rescued by Luli, but turned a corner. Oh, you said Hineda, when I went out for a walk last night, I happened to meet him, so I couldn't help but shoot. Luli said lightly, seeming very indifferent. It sounds like you met some little kids on the side of the road who were bullying a poor little girl, and then took action to teach those little kids. It's that casual. Then, then our Lord Third Hokage was dumbfounded. The new book needs everyone's care. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Ask for comments. Ask for rewards. Ask for everything. Thank you in advance. Advertisement. 007 I have been in retreat for three years. Advertisement. After a brief absence, third generation quickly regained consciousness. He looked at Luli with burning eyes, and said in what he thought was the most amiable tone, How did you save Hineda? Can you explain the process in detail? As for the battlefield where the fighting broke out outside the village last night, third generation has personally visited it. There are only a handful of people who can cause that kind of terrifying and destructive power. Now, the boy in front of him actually said that it was his masterpiece. Third generation couldn't react for a while. Isn't this kid bragging about 13 and fooling himself, a bad old man? To be specific. Actually, I only used one trick. Luli smiled. One move. The corner of third generation's mouth twitched, already seriously suspecting that Luli was just talking nonsense. That's right. That's it. Luli said naturally. At the same time, he corrected his stance slightly. Then, chakra, breakout, boom, a light purple chakra coat appeared on Luli's body surface. Since this is his home, Luli controlled the explosive chakra below 1% of his full strength, and deliberately avoided generating strong airflow. Seriously, Luli didn't want to shatter the floors, ceilings, and walls of her home. Of course, if it's at third generation's house, Luli doesn't mind making more noise. Advertisement. This is the strange power of the Senju clan. Third generation stared at the purple chakra on Luli's body, and opened its mouth in disbelief. Known as the professor of ninjutsu, how could he not know that this is the unique martial art of the Senju clan? His disciple Tsunade is very good at this trick. The difference is that when Tsunade exerts his strange power, he will not release the chakra coat on the body surface at all. Generally, only Jinchuriki can easily create chakra garments. Because Jinchuriki has a huge amount of chakra, ordinary ninjas are limited by the insufficient amount of chakra, so it is difficult to release the chakra coat. Of course, there are also some perverts that can do it, such as first Hokage and second Hokage. And Luli has done it now, what does it mean? There is only one explanation, Luli has not only comprehended physical skills and strange power, but also has the amount of chakra comparable to Jinchuriki. This is one thing that astounds third generation. Another thing that third generation never expected was that the chakra released by Luli gave him a very familiar feeling. First generation, that's the breath of Shodei, but, how is this possible? This familiar feeling caused a shock to third generation, no less than Luli's ability to release chakra's code easily. By the way, Senju, his last name is Senju. Third generation seems to have just realized at this moment that Luli's surname is Senju, Senju by Senju Hashirama. 
In fact, Luli only played chakra for a few seconds, and quickly retracted it. Advertisement. Seeing third generation's dull face at this moment, Luli stretched out his hand and waved in front of the old man's eyes, and said, Master third generation, as you can see, the situation is like this. Third generation came back to his senses, his excited lips trembled slightly, and he said, You, you awakened. Wood style. Luli scratched his head, thought for a while, and said, Wood style, not yet, but it should be soon. No. Third generation was taken aback for a moment, feeling a little disappointed to get this answer. Etc. Soon. What do you mean? Not yet awakened, but soon to be awakened. Do you mean this? Damn, that's the wood style of Megatron Ninja World. Can you stop talking so casually? It felt like a schmoozing hey, have you eaten yet? And the other replied not yet, but soon. Third generation feels a little bit unwell today, take a deep breath. In Lu Li's opinion, it will be a matter of time before wood style is awakened? What's wrong with this? There seems to be nothing wrong with it. The chakra on your body. Third generation couldn't help asking. It's unbelievable that a guy who didn't even go to ninja school has the amount of chakra comparable to Jinchuriki. Lu Li has already figured out how to answer this question. I have been retreating at home to extract chakra for the past few years. This is just out of customs. Class, retreat. Third generation was stunned. Advertisement. Yes, retreat. Luli said naturally. Third generation immediately remembered the information about Luli. This guy has stayed at home for three years and hasn't left the house. Is it to practice chakra at home? The question is, is chakra that easy to distill? Can you refine it yourself for decades? How about three years? If you really want to explain it forcefully, you can barely pass it. After all, there are geniuses in this world, such as Uchiha Itake and Heitei Kakashi. The former graduated from ninja school at the age of seven, the latter graduated at the age of five, and became jonin at the age of twelve. Now that there is one more genius with the ability to refine chakra, it doesn't seem too difficult to accept. Existence is reason. For people like third generation who have experienced big storms and are getting older, it makes sense and is easy to accept. Master third generation, what about the ninja school? Luli did not forget his purpose. Third generation took a deep look at Luli and said with a smile, it's easy to talk about, I'll arrange it for you. Luli smiled and said, then thank you, Mr. Third generation? How about I report to school tomorrow? Third generation nodded and said, That's fine, you go to school to find Irika tomorrow, and I will inform him. Irika, no problem. Luli was slightly taken aback. Is this going to be classmates with those guys? Well, there's nothing wrong with that either. Ask for flowers. Thank you for the monthly tickets of annoyance and thanks, Ubinkilia. I also thank those dads who sent flowers and voted for this book. The new book asks for everything. Please, everyone. Advertisement. 008 The first acquaintance I met when I entered the school. Advertisement. When third generation came to Luli's house, they actually came with a little nostalgia. Of course, it is not Luli that is remembered, but the surname Senju. But when third generation left Luli's house, it was full of shock, doubt, relief, worry, etc. that could not be let go for a long time, and the mood was very complicated. Before leaving, third generation specifically told Luli not to reveal his ability to release Chakra's coat in front of outsiders easily, and not to admit that he saved Hineda. Third generation feels that since the Hayaga family is willing to be responsible for killing the Cloud Shinobi village mission, there is no need for Luli to get involved in this muddy water. After all, Luli beheaded Cloud Shinobi to save Hineda, and the Hayaga family should bear the consequences. As for Luli, third generation already has something in mind. He wants to develop Luli into Kanaha village's trump card, with the amount of Chakra comparable to Jinchuriki. Once Luli awakens the Senju family's blood succession boundary, Wood style. That means the second Senju Hashirama appears? The current Kanaha village really needs a strong enough combat power. Don't you see, Cloud Shinobi village has already been bullied. For the sake of Bin's secret, they used the guise of forming an alliance to engage in kidnapping. After being killed in defeat, Kanaha, who is reasonable, still has to worry about the backlash from Cloud Shinobi village. Why is this happening? The key is strength. Cloud Shinobi Village thinks that you, Kanaha, are a soft persimmon, you can pinch it however you want. If there is a strong man like First Hokage sitting in Kanaha, will Cloud Shinobi Village dare to be presumptuous? I'm afraid it's too high profile even if you put your tail between your legs. Senju. Third generation returned to Hokage's office, repeating the legendary last name over and over again. Advertisement. Is the glory of Senju about to reappear? This may be an opportunity to peacefully resolve the Uchiha clan, just like how Shode suppressed Uchiha Madara back then. Why does third generation default to Danzo to exclude the Uchiha clan? Because Uchiha is powerful and ambitious, it poses a great threat to the existing order of Kanaha village. If Luli can successfully rise and subdue the Uchiha clan, then Kanaha's internal problems will be reduced by half, and her strength will be greatly increased invisibly. This Luli appeared so timely, isn't this the solution that third generation has been looking for to solve the Uchiha clan? Looking at the crystal ball on the table, through the telescope technique, he can find people anytime and anywhere. Of course, the condition is that the third generation must know the type of chakra of the opponent. As long as this is done, no matter how far away, the crystal ball can find that person. Third generation uses this technique to maintain law and order in the village. In addition to Naruto, the Kanaha village in Churiki, he has another object to watch Senju Luli. The other side, Danzo also ordered the route to investigate Luli. The information obtained is basically the same as that obtained by the third generation. Is it just a waste that has been at home for three years? Danzo crumpled up the information and held it in the palm of his hand, and when he opened his palm again, the piece of paper had been reduced to dust. What is Sarutobi doing to this otaku? Are you confused? A sneer appeared on the corner of Danzo's mouth. Keep an eye on this nerd, if there is anything unusual. Report it anytime. Yes. Immediately, some root members led the way. Advertisement. Talk about crap, but Danzo is by no means one to take things lightly. In his eyes, only the dead have no threat. Damn Uchiha, old monkey, you should have abdicated by now. Anyone who has seen Hokage knows that Danzo is a very crazy person. He can do anything for Kanaha village, and he can do anything for Hokage. After the fourth generation died in battle, Danzo mobilized elites from the root and secretly formed a ten-member team to carry out the assassination mission against the re-elected third generation, but failed due to Kakashi's defection. The next day, Luli got up early and deliberately changed into brand new clothes. After breakfast, head straight to the ninja school. Kanaha Shinobi School was created by second generation to protect the inheritance of will. Among them, Sarutobi Hiruzen, Shimura Danzo, Mitokato Homura, Yudaden Koharu and other high-level Kanaha are the first batch of Kanaha Shinobi students who are also students of the same period, and are personally guided by second Hokage Senju Tobirama. After that, Kanaha Shinobi School can be said to be full of talents and stars. Fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato, the man who can become Hokage, needless to say how powerful he is. My guy, the pinnacle of physical skills, a self-proclaimed Kanaha's proud blue beast, almost kicks six past Madara to pieces after opening eight inner gates. Uchiha Shisui, the illusion talent is superb, possesses the so-called strongest illusion Manjikyo Sharinan distinguished heavenly gods, but unfortunately died young. 
too many to count. As a Hokage fan, Luli didn't expect to be able to visit this place in person one day. After entering the school, Luli's eyes began to look around. Suddenly, a somewhat familiar figure in front came into Luli's sight. Advertisement. Tall and thin, with white hair, he looks like a big brother next door. Morning Mizuki Sensei. Morning. At this moment, he was busy responding to the students who greeted him. Hey, this is Mizuki Sensei who was locked up in the dark room in the first episode. Luli didn't expect that he would be the first acquaintance he met when he entered the ninja school. As a villain, Mizuki is a typical unlucky and poor guy. It is the first small boss in the Hokage anime that is brought down by the protagonist. Calling him a boss may be flattering him. But after all, it is the first villain to appear on the stage, so it is still difficult to give this evaluation. Mizuki is despicable, cunning, and jealous. Official comment, a despicable careerist with a mask of a good guy. It's a pity that the heart is higher than the sky, and the life is thinner than paper. The only function is to give the protagonist experience? Is it Mr. Mizuki? Luli took the initiative to go up to say hello. Mizuki looked up at Luli, saw the family crest of the Senjo family on Luli's chest, and immediately smiled warmly. Are you Senjo Luli? Luli smiled and said, yes, I officially report to school today. Excuse me, where is teacher Irika? Oh, Irika was supposed to come to receive you, but he's busy, so. Mizuki laughed. That's troublesome. Luli doesn't care much about who receives her, as long as she can go to school smoothly. Then follow me to the teaching office. Let's go through the admission procedures. I'm curious, how can you recognize me? Mizuki walked ahead half a shoulder ahead of Luli. Luli smiled slightly. I just heard someone call you teacher Mizuki. Oh, that's it. Mizuki was stunned. Advertisement. 009 Grandmaster Full Attribute Chakra. Advertisement. Now Mizuki and Irika are still very good friends, so Luli is not surprised by Mizuki's appearance. I followed Mizuki all the way to the academic affairs office, wondering why the system didn't respond. Ding, host has arrived at the check-in location, do you want to check in? Yes. Ding, the sign-in lasts for five minutes, and leaving in the middle will be regarded as a sign-in failure. Sign-in to start. 300, 299. Luli stood at the door of the academic affairs office, waiting for the sign-in to be completed. It's okay, it's okay, the sign-in lasts only five minutes, not five years or five months. Luli was secretly delighted. It is said that the days of being forced to retreat are not easy, let alone this is not my home. Don't stand at the door, come in and sit. Seeing Luli standing there stupidly, Mizuki couldn't help reminding with a smile. It's okay, I'll stand for a while, I feel that seeing the world from this position is very beautiful. Luli grinned. I'm signing in now, if I interrupt the sign-in by walking around, who am I going to cry to? It's better to stand here and wait for the sign-in to be successful. Anyway, it's only five minutes. This scene fell into Shuima's eyes, and what was interpreted was completely different. Advertisement. Is this kid stupid? From that position, in addition to seeing the corridor behind and the interior of the teaching office, you can see the world of shit. Or, is this guy showing cowardice? After all, a guy who just entered school at the age of 13 is unprecedented in Kanahe Shinobi school? It stands to reason that if you have the conditions for admission, you should have enrolled long ago. Reminiscent of Senju's decaying surname, Mizuki couldn't help but feel compassion for Luli, an older schoolboy. Mizuki always has this mentality towards people who don't go well. Just like becoming friends with Irika, you are actually sympathizing with Irika. In this kind of sympathy and pity, Mizuki can feel a kind of superior pleasure. Then you just stand there. Mizuki shook his head and began to prepare various materials for Luli's admission. What's wrong with the current school? Even this kind of guy who knows that he has a problem with his brain is accepted. Mizuki shook his head secretly while preparing the materials. Five minutes, very short. But for the current Luli, it is quite a long time. Finally, ding, congratulations host, successful sign-in, sign-in reward, grandmaster full attribute chakra. In an instant, a sense of mystery arose in Luli's heart. First Hokage is not a full attribute chakra grandmaster, he lacks the yin attribute. Advertisement. For Luli who inherited chakra from first Hokage, there is naturally a lack of yin attributes. And at that moment just now, the system helped Luli complete the yin attribute? So now Luli has become a veritable full attribute grandmaster. I didn't expect this kind of reward. Luli was a little surprised. The so-called full attribute chakra has seven nature transformations, fire, water, wind, thunder, earth, yin, and yang. Spatial attributes are not included here. Fire, water, wind, thunder, and earth, these five attributes are relatively common and easy to understand. Fire, high temperature chakra capable of burning anything it touches. Wind, chakra like a sharp blade, capable of cutting everything. Thunder it is most suitable for medium and long distance diffusion ninjutsu. Adding it to metal weapons will increase the lethality and electric shock effect. Soil can change the hardness, composition, mass, and gravity of objects. Water, for morphological changes. Yin nature transformation, such as the shadow binding technique of the Nara family, the spiritual ninjutsu of the Yamanaka family, etc. And Yang's nature transformation, such as the Akamika family's doubling technique, medical ninjutsu, etc. As for the attributes other than the seven, such as wood and ice, that is another category blood succession limit. Looking at the entire plot of Hokage, there are not many people who express clearly or have evidence to show that the full attribute of Grandmaster is Chakra, and they can be counted on two hands. The mother and son of Itsatsuki Kagaya and Sage of Six Paths must be Grandmaster's full attribute Chakra. Definitely part of Kagaya, and obviously also Grandmaster full attribute. Senju Tobirama, known as the great inventor of ninjutsu, is obviously a full attribute Grandmaster. Advertisement. Achiha Madara Grandmaster full attribute no doubt. Also Sarutobi Hiruzen, Kakashi, and Arakimura who are also Grandmaster or possibly Grandmaster full attribute Chakra. In general, the rewards for signing in this time are still very good, and Luli said that he is in a good mood. Just when Luli finished signing in, Mizuki also happened to help Luli record his student status. It's done, let me take you to the class you belong to. Mizuki's smile was still bright. Okay, Luli, who received the sign-in reward, naturally smirked. Mizuki shook his head imperceptibly, and said to himself, what a fool. Well, it's good to be silly, if you trick him into doing that, it should be easy. Seeing Mizuki's thoughtful look, Luli didn't care, and asked casually, am I assigned to teacher Irika's class? Ah, uh, yes. If I remember correctly, they have a practical class today. Perhaps thinking that Luli couldn't understand, Mizuki explained to himself, the actual combat class is to let the students learn from each other, and the winners and losers can't distinguish between life and death. Suffer some flesh and blood. When he said this, Mizuki glanced at Luli intentionally or unintentionally, his eyes were full of sympathy. Here, older age may not be an advantage, it can only mean that the qualifications are too poor. It's really going to be a fight, a guy like Luli is not even qualified to be called the tail of the crane. Maybe he will be beaten all over the floor by those geniuses who are several years younger than him. Ah, this picture is a bit funny to think about. Therefore, the smile on Mizuki's face became even bigger. The new book needs everyone's care. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Ask for comments. Ask for rewards. Ask for everything. Thank you in advance. 
Advertisement. Zero Ten the strongest challenge, seeking flowers. Advertisement. Luli and Mizuki came to the actual combat training ground, and met the good national teacher Irika. This is a nice guy, Luli sent him a good person card directly. Irika is only 18 years old now, and has stayed at the school to teach since becoming a chinin. Naruto, Suzuki, Hineda, Little Sakura, etc. are all his students in this period. According to Luli's calculation, both Naruto and Suzuki are 8 years old, and Itaki is 13 years old like him. The beginning of the Hokage plot should be 4 years later, when Naruto was 12 years old, and this year, a lot will happen. For example, 13-year-old Itake will personally exterminate the Uchiha clan. As for whether to prevent Uchiha from being wiped out, Luli actually hasn't made up his mind yet. He doesn't sympathize with the Uchiha clan, but he has sympathy for Itake. Therefore, if Luli takes action to prevent this from happening, it must be aimed at Itake. Don't get it wrong, Luli is not manly, it's just that Itake is too stupid, and I can't understand him being stupid. There are tens of thousands of ways to prevent a coup, and you must choose the most uncomfortable one. Of course, third generation's acquiescence and Danzo's help also contributed a lot. It seems to be far away, Iruka, I brought you the person you want. Mizuki waved to Iruka. Iruka greeted him and said with a smile, Thanks Mizuki, I'll treat you to mixed sushi later. Mizuki laughed and said, No problem, then I'll go first. Advertisement. See you later. Irika nodded. Mr. Irika, hello. My name is Senja Luli. Luli smiled and held out her right hand. Irika took a look at Luli, reached out to shake his hand, and said, You are the Senja Luli that Master Third Generation said. Welcome to our class. Thank you. Luli nodded. Let's go back to the team. We are in class. Irika pointed to the farthest position in the student team. Luli looked in the direction that Irika pointed, and what he saw was a little guy with yellow hair, wearing goggles, looking at him curiously. Luli did not expect to meet Naruto for the first time on such an occasion. The guy at the end of the crane really stood aside. Luli grinned at little Naruto, showing eight white teeth. Naruto was visibly taken aback, as if he couldn't believe that someone would laugh at him. Ever since he could remember, he was used to seeing those indifferent or contemptuous eyes. There are not many people who show such a sincere smile to him. Irika teacher counts as one, the owner of Ichiraku noodle shop counts as one, and the others are really gone. Not only Naruto was staring at Luli, but dozens of pairs of eyes in the whole class were paying attention to Luli at this moment. Just when Luli wanted to return to the team. Oh, by the way, Luli, please introduce yourself first. For example, what do you like? What do you hate? What is your dream? Irika smiled slightly at Luli. Well, it's this routine again. Soul 3 what? Hi everyone, my name is Senja Luli. I'm 13 years old. I like what I like. Hate what I hate. Dream. Well, it's not even a dream. Because I'm destined to be a Hokage man. Reviving the Senja family is also what I need to do. Other than that, I feel that being a salted fish will be more comfortable. As soon as Luli introduced himself, there was an immediate uproar in the audience. Tisk tisk, 13 years old. This guy is about the same age as teacher Irika. How did he get into school? Senju is the same surname as first Hokage and second Hokage. Advertisement. God, my big brother already graduated when he was his age. At this time, Naruto rushed out of the queue, shaking his fist and shouting, I, Uzumaki Naruto, am the man destined to be Hokage. Luli laughed, Uzumaki Naruto, right? I remember you? Of course, you are also a man who will become Hokage, but after I abdicate. Naruto was stunned for a moment, becoming Hokage's dream. He had told so many people about it, but it was the first time that he was recognized in public. Is what you said true? Naruto hoped, automatically ignoring Luli's after I abdicate. Luli nodded at him sullenly. Great, finally someone recognized my dream. Naruto jumped up happily. However, the dialogue between the two caused a roar of laughter. It's really ridiculous. A guy who didn't enter school until he was 13 years old, and was always at the bottom of the crane in every test, even said he wanted to become a Hokage. Then I, Inuzuka, is not the god of the ninja world. Oh my god, this joke is too good. Ouch, my stomach hurts. I can't do it. TCH, I didn't read the almanac when I went out today. Why did I meet Silly X? Children in the Hokage world generally have precocious minds. A group of seven or eight year old kids, but their words are very coherent, including when they are mocking and swearing. Actually, when Luli introduced himself, in Hokage's office, third generation is casting the telescope technique, watching everyone present. Become Hokage, revive the Senju clan. Third generation murmured in a low voice, to say that the desolation of the Senju family is entirely due to internal factors, I am afraid it is not justified. Didn't this third Hokage, who has been in office for the longest time among the Hokages of all dynasties, play a role in fueling the flames? Nawake, the grandson, or possibly grandson, of first Hokage, died on the battlefield when he was ten years old. Does the third generation have no responsibility for inaction? Perhaps Tsunade left Kanaha disheartened because he saw through some things. Advertisement. Luli glanced at everyone present, but did not find Hineda. It seems that this girl is still in training. But in the middle of the crowd, I saw a very familiar little guy, Suzuki. So small, it looks cool. But the current Uchiha has not been exterminated, so although Suzuki is a little arrogant at this time, he does not have the kind of indifference that rejects people thousands of miles away. Everyone be quiet. Irika pressed with his hand. The audience immediately fell silent. Luli, you go back to the team, let's continue the class. Next, Irika took out a booklet and temporarily filled it with Luli's name. The next actual battle, um, let's start with Senja Luli, you can choose your opponent at will. As soon as Irika said this, the audience began to whisper again. Luli just stood beside Naruto, and was also taken aback when he heard this. Is it my turn? Luli had no choice but to go out again. Please choose your opponent. Irika pouted at Luli. Luli said without even thinking about it, whoever is the strongest in our class, then I will challenge whoever. The most powerful is of course Suzuki kun The little girl who knew it was little Sakura blurted out. Did I hear you right? He wants to challenge the strongest in our class. Do you think that age is powerful? Suzuki has defeated Jenin. Luli's words instantly ignited the audience. Ask for flowers. The new book needs everyone's care. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Ask for comments. Ask for rewards. Ask for everything. Thank you in advance. Advertisement. 011 I came to pretend today to. Ask for flowers. Ask for comments. Advertisement. Irika looked at Luli in surprise, and reminded, the results of the competition will be recorded, which will directly affect whether you can graduate smoothly at that time. Are you sure you want to challenge the best student in our class? Luli laughed, of course, I think only Senja deserves the word strongest. This remark was unreasonable, and immediately aroused public outrage. The little kids began to denounce, but Luli turned a deaf ear. Irika also shook his head with a smile, Senja was indeed the strongest in the past, this is recognized, but now, it is not worth mentioning. Based on previous test results, the strongest in our class is, Uchiha Suzuki. Irika paused, then continued, Uchiha Suzuki, do you accept Senja Luli's challenge? Senju, Uchiha, the two families are the strongest families except Satsuki, and they were also old enemies. In the original Hokage plot, it all ended up being yesterday's work. 
One may have been peacefully evolved, and the other may have been bloody exterminated. Today, are these two surnames going to collide again? I reject. However, Suzuki's answer surprised everyone. Iruka reminded, if you refuse to accept the challenge, it will be considered a failure? Are you sure? Suzuki turned his nostrils to the sky and said, a good for nothing who only entered school at the age of 13. What qualifications do you have to challenge Miyachiha Suzuki? Teacher Iruka, this competition is meaningless, just judge him as a failure. As soon as the words came out, there were cheers, boos, and screams of worship. Advertisement. Both of them are crazy guys. Iruka helped the ninja forward protector with quite a headache. Yes, both are madmen. It's just that Suzuki's madness is considered arrogant in everyone's eyes, and Lu Li's madness is probably considered grandstanding. In the eyes of outsiders, with Suzuki's talent, he does have the capital to be proud of. However, Suzuki himself scoffed at the so-called genius. I did it with all my might, don't use the word genius to kill my hard work. From what he said, we can know his views on the so-called genius. He has lived under the halo of the Big Brother Attacker since he was a child, and the Big Brother is his role model and the direction of his efforts. Luli still has a little research on the Hokage anime plot commander helping this person. In his bones, Suzuki is a person who is cold on the outside and hot on the inside. He loves his family deeply, but he doesn't talk about this feeling, but gives practical actions in a low-key way. In order to get his father's approval, he worked hard at the ninja school and achieved excellent results. When he saw the cold war between his father and Big Brother, the young Suzuki didn't know what was going on. But I am eager for my father and Big Brother to resolve the misunderstanding and maintain family harmony. It is based on the love of family and family. In Hokage's original plot, Suzuki's life changed after he was exterminated. Advertisement. In the world of Hokage, it is easy to die. Many important characters die as soon as they say they die, and many families die as soon as they say they die. Luli remembers that before his time travel, he liked to search for some information about Hokage characters on the internet. When entering a name triple X in the search box, a set of trending topics related to it will often pop up. Among them, most of them will have such a sentence, how did triple X die? Long story short, let's get down to business. Luli still admires Suzuki's ability to pretend to be aggressive. However, Luli is also here to pretend today. Kakuza, the lord of most of the Hokage world, is here. Why don't you pretend to be aggressive? How can we reflect the aggressiveness of our time traveler? Achiha, I'm Senju's former defeat. It's normal not to dare to compete. What Luli said is the truth, so it hurts. Suzuki immediately clenched his fists. In his heart, the surname Uchiha is sacred and cannot be insulted. You know, even after being exterminated, Suzuki is still proud of the surname Uchiha. Yusenja's ancestors were indeed brilliant, but now, where are they? Suzuki stared at Luli, and sneered, I didn't want to waste time with a waste like you. Since you feel itchy, then I will try my best to help you loosen your muscles. With that said, Suzuki stepped out of the queue and stood opposite Luli. Well, Senja Luli, right? Don't take it lightly. Although Suzuki is annoying, he is really strong. Be careful. To Luli's surprise, Naruto actually jumped out to cheer him on. Advertisement. As a result, Naruto's elbow turning outward behavior immediately aroused condemnation from other students in the class. At the end of the crane, I finally found someone with a similar taste. Ha ha ha. What? This guy Naruto is looking for a draw. I'm going to choose Naruto as my opponent later, and practice hard. Naruto shrank his neck in fright, and hurriedly returned to the queue with his head down. Naruto, thank you for your reminder, but to be honest, your vision is much better than these guys. Luli responded with a smile. That's a lot of nonsense. Let's go, Hakusa. Suzuki was very impatient. He just wanted to finish class early and go back to practice ninjutsu. Hokage office. Third generation stared at the glass ball in front of him. Senju, Uchiha, the peerless twins who ended the war-torn era. Unknowingly, he thought of a lot. For example, the establishment of Kanaha Village is actually the backbone of these two families. For example, the battle in the Valley of the End, where two legendary ninjas confronted each other, ended with Hashirama defeating Madara and saving Kanaha Village. One is a family that has been silent for many years, and the other is a family that is in the limelight but restless. It was an interesting contest. Ask for flowers. The new book needs everyone's care. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Ask for comments. Ask for rewards. Ask for everything. Thank you in advance. Advertisement. 011 I came to pretend today to. Ask for flowers. Ask for comments. Advertisement. Iruka looked at Luli in surprise, and reminded, the results of the competition will be recorded, which will directly affect whether you can graduate smoothly at that time. Are you sure you want to challenge the best student in our class? Luli laughed, of course, I think only Senja deserves the word strongest. This remark was unreasonable, and immediately aroused public outrage. The little kids began to denounce, but Luli turned a deaf ear. Iruka also shook his head with a smile, Senja was indeed the strongest in the past, this is recognized, but now, it is not worth mentioning. Based on previous test results, the strongest in our class is, Uchiha Suzuki. Iruka paused, then continued, Uchiha Suzuki, do you accept Senju Luli's challenge? Senju, Uchiha, the two families are the strongest families except it's Satsuki, and they were also old enemies. In the original Hokage plot, it all ended up being yesterday's work. One may have been peacefully evolved, and the other may have been bloody exterminated. Today, are these two surnames going to collide again? I reject. However, Suzuki's answer surprised everyone. Iruka reminded, if you refuse to accept the challenge, it will be considered a failure? Are you sure? Suzuki turned his nostrils to the sky and said, a good for nothing who only entered school at the age of 13. What qualifications do you have to challenge me, Uchiha Suzuki? Teacher Iruka, this competition is meaningless, just judge him as a failure. As soon as the words came out, there were cheers, boos, and screams of worship. Advertisement. Both of them are crazy guys. Iruka helped the ninja forward protector with quite a headache. Yes, both are madmen. It's just that Suzuki's madness is considered arrogant in everyone's eyes, and Lu Li's madness is probably considered grandstanding. In the eyes of outsiders, with Suzuki's talent, he does have the capital to be proud of. However, Suzuki himself scoffed at the so-called genius. I did it with all my might, don't use the word genius to kill my hard work. From what he said, we can know his views on the so-called genius. He has lived under the halo of the Big Brother Attacker since he was a child, and the Big Brother is his role model and the direction of his efforts. Luli still has a little research on the Hokage anime plot commander helping this person. In his bones, Suzuki is a person who is cold on the outside and hot on the inside. He loves his family deeply, but he doesn't talk about this feeling, but gives practical actions in a low-key way. In order to get his father's approval, he worked hard at the ninja school and achieved excellent results. When he saw the cold war between his father and Big Brother, the young Suzuki didn't know what was going on. 
But I am eager for my father and big brother to resolve the misunderstanding and maintain family harmony. It is based on the love of family and family. In Hokage's original plot, Suzuki's life changed after he was exterminated. Advertisement. In the world of Hokage, it is easy to die. Many important characters die as soon as they say they die, and many families die as soon as they say they die. Luli remembers that before his time travel, he liked to search for some information about Hokage characters on the internet. When entering a name triple X in the search box, a set of trending topics related to it will often pop up. Among them, most of them will have such a sentence, how did Triple X die? Long story short, let's get down to business. Luli still admires Suzuki's ability to pretend to be aggressive. However, Luli is also here to pretend today. Kakuza, the lord of most of the Hokage world, is here. Why don't you pretend to be aggressive? How can we reflect the aggressiveness of our time traveler? Achiha, I'm Senju's former defeat. It's normal not to dare to compete. What Luli said is the truth, so it hurts. Suzuki immediately clenched his fists. In his heart, the surname Achiha is sacred and cannot be insulted. You know, even after being exterminated, Suzuki is still proud of the surname Achiha. You Senju's ancestors were indeed brilliant, but now, where are they? Suzuki stared at Luli, and sneered, I didn't want to waste time with a waste like you, since you feel itchy, then I will try my best to help you loosen your muscles. With that said, Suzuki stepped out of the queue and stood opposite Luli. Well, Senju Luli, right? Don't take it lightly. Although Suzuki is annoying, he is really strong. Be careful. To Lu Li's surprise, Naruto actually jumped out to cheer him on. Advertisement. As a result, Naruto's elbow turning outward behavior immediately aroused condemnation from other students in the class. At the end of the crane, I finally found someone with a similar taste. Ha ha ha. What? This guy Naruto is looking for a draw. I'm going to choose Naruto as my opponent later, and practice hard. Naruto shrank his neck in fright, and hurriedly returned to the queue with his head down. Naruto, thank you for your reminder, but to be honest, your vision is much better than these guys. Lu Li responded with a smile. That's a lot of nonsense. Let's go, Hakusa. Suzuki was very impatient. He just wanted to finish class early and go back to practice ninjutsu. Hokage office. Third generation stared at the glass ball in front of him. Senju, Uchiha, the peerless twins who ended the war-torn era. Unknowingly, he thought of a lot. For example, the establishment of Kanaha village is actually the backbone of these two families. For example, the battle in the Valley of the End, where two legendary ninjas confronted each other, ended with Hashirama defeating Madara and saving Kanaha village. One is a family that has been silent for many years, and the other is a family that is in the limelight but restless. It was an interesting contest. Ask for flowers. The new book needs everyone's care. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Ask for comments. Ask for rewards. Ask for everything. Thank you in advance. Advertisement. 012 Suzuki paralyzed by fright. Ask for flowers. Advertisement. The competition begins. With a soft drink from Irika, Suzuki took a sudden step. Suzuki. Irika put his hand on his forehead. Suzuki angrily retracted the step he took, forming a seal of opposition. Luli smiled slightly, and also formed a seal of opposition. Friends who know the world of Hokage should know that the battle between ninjas and ninjas should be opposite marks. The sculptures of Senjo Hashirama and Uchiha Madara in the Valley of the End also come from this. The two sides perform the seal of opposition before the battle and tell the opponent that they will fight next. This is the seal of opposition. After the battle, the two sides stretched out their seals of opposition and joined together to form the seal of reconciliation, symbolizing that they are companions. Uchiha can't be humiliated. Suzuki's figure leaped out suddenly, his legs were like the wind, and he charged towards Luli. Everyone in the class held their breath and opened their eyes wide, as if expecting something. As the top student in the class, Mr. Iroka will make key comments on every competition of Suzuki as a positive and typical case. On the contrary, Naruto's performance will most likely be a typical negative teaching material. The speed is much faster than before. This kid, did he retain his strength before, or did he improve in such a short period of time? Iroka couldn't help but nodded appreciatively. There is no doubt that even Iroka thinks that the next scene should be a one-sided fat beating. Therefore, as a teacher, in order to prevent Luli from being seriously injured, he is ready to take action at any time. I thought you were going to use ninjutsu directly. Luli shook his head. The current Suzuki is too young after all. Although he is very talented, his strength is only at the level of Jinin. In the eyes of those classmates, his speed was dazzling. But in Lu Li's eyes, every movement of his is clearly distinguishable, even in slow motion. I don't have a Sherry Non, and I haven't practiced martial arts, so I just want to play hand-to-hand -hand combat with Lu Li, naive. Just when Suzuki rushed in front of Lu Li, taking advantage of his height, he clenched his fist and hit Lu Li's abdomen. Advertisement. Lu Li slapped him directly on the shoulder, boom, Suzuki only felt his shoulders sink, and then he fell straight to the ground. With a muffled sound, Suzuki lay on the ground in a strange posture. The whole person is dumbfounded? How could I suddenly fall to the ground? What happened to my shoulder? Why did I suddenly lose consciousness? In fact, not only Suzuki was dumbfounded, but the whole class including Iroko looked at this scene dumbfounded. Did you see clearly just now? Suzuki how did he fall down? The new guy doesn't seem to be moving. What is Suzuki doing, even? It's good that Hineda is here, she must know what just happened. Of all the people present, probably only Iroka, the Jinin, knew what happened. This guy, is it Grandmaster Physical Skills? Iroka looked at Luli, a little surprised. Teijetsu, as the name suggests, relies on the body to carry out direct attacks, and it can be launched without seals. Physical skills can attack enemies without consuming chakra, but a large amount of chakra can highly activate the body to achieve unimaginable speed and strength. Lu Li's advantage is that he has a huge amount of chakra. Even if he didn't deliberately practice physical skills, his speed, strength, and reaction were not comparable to Suzuki. Of course, that slap by Lu Li just now did not use physical skills such as strange power. Otherwise, Suzuki would not be as simple as lying on the ground indecently, but would become a puddle of meat. I tripped over something just now, come again. Suzuki stood up from the ground. He was unwilling to accept the fact that he was slapped down by Luli just now. Ha ha ha, it turns out that Suzuki can be funny too. Suzuki, don't capsize in the gutter. It turned out to be tripped. I just said, I didn't see Senja Luli make a move. Advertisement. As classmates, most of them still lean towards Suzuki. Physical arts. Just keep a distance and give yourself a chance to perform ninjutsu, and you will definitely lose. In the blink of an eye, Suzuki thought of a countermeasure, and retreated instead of advancing. Luli stood there motionless, letting him do whatever he wanted. If you had turned on the Sherry Non, you wouldn't have tripped just now. Luli teased. Sherry Non, one of the three pupil techniques. Relying on this powerful blood inheritance limit, the Uchiha clan has emerged in large numbers. The most frightening thing is that, unlike wood style, which is rare in a hundred years, there are not a few owners of Sherry Non in the Uchiha family. Because of the jealousy of Kanaha's high-level officials, Uchiha's family extermination in the original plot is also directly related to this. Sherry Non. 
Suzuki gritted his teeth immediately. Big Brother Attacka started sharing on at the age of eight, and he is also eight years old this year, but he hasn't started sharing on yet. What Suzuki doesn't know is that if Luli doesn't intervene, he will also start sharing on at the age of eight. What stimulated him to start sharing on was the tragic death of his parents and the destruction of the entire Uchiha clan. All along, he has been following in the footsteps of Big Brother. So when Luli mocked him for not opening sharing on, he was really angry. I originally planned to keep my hand in the future, but now it seems that I don't have to. You'll regret it. Suzuki laughed angrily. It seems that you are going to use fire style. Luli said lazily. In addition to sharing on, fire style is also a must of the Uchiha family. You must know that the reason why the head of Kanaha village is called Hokage is derived from the fire style of the Uchiha family. No, is Suzuki really going to use that move? That's real ninjutsu. Maybe Senjo Luli will die. With Mr. Iruka here, if the situation is not good, he should make a move. The rest of the class couldn't help but tense up. Advertisement. Even Iruka's expression became serious, ready to rescue Luli at any time. Here we go. Suzuki formed a series of madras that have been practiced countless times, and the movements are done in one go. I saw him take a deep breath, and then exhale suddenly. Fire style great fireball technique. This is a syrinx ninjutsu that gathers chakra behind the throat and spews a huge fireball forward from the mouth, blasting enemies into the air. Boom. As he exhaled, a line of fire spewed out from his mouth, condensed into a fireball with a diameter of more than one meter in front, and smashed towards Luli. No one expected that. Seeing the fireball approaching, Luli stood still, as if frightened. Luli, get out of the way. Iruka yelled anxiously. However, Luli is also making the madra, and the movement is exactly the same as the madra that Suzuki just made, but the movement is a little jerky and looks very clumsy. What is he doing? Is he using what he has learned? Is it possible? You thought you were copying Ninja Kakashi with Sherry Non? Everyone is a little baffled. However, the moment Luli completed the seal, with his exhalation, boom, in an instant, the flames were raging, and a huge great fireball with a diameter of more than 10 meters rolled and crushed it. Scare? Suzuki backed away in horror until he slumped on the ground. Not just Suzuki, including Iruka, everyone was dumbfounded and froze on the spot. This is simply a freak. Ask for flowers. The new book needs everyone's care. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Ask for comments. Ask for rewards. Ask for everything. Thank you in advance. Advertisement. 013 Ayazumaki Naruto would like to call you the strongest. Ask for flowers. Advertisement. Hokage Office. Third generation fully saw the competition between Luli and Suzuki through the telescope technique. When Suzuki used the great fireball technique, third generation couldn't help feeling that the Uchiha family had produced another amazing genius. However, when I saw Luli using the great fireball technique that he learned and used, his third generation gasped in shock. It's so monstrous. The third generation, known as the professor of ninjutsu, has such a vicious vision. Judging from the situation of Luli's seal formation, it is obviously extremely unfamiliar, and he seldom practices this kind of ninjutsu. He couldn't even imagine that this was the first time in Luli's life that he performed ninjutsu with seals. But even so, third generation felt a chill. The test site. At the critical moment, Luli stopped in time. Only when Iruka came back to his senses did he have the chance to divert the frightened Suzuki out of the range of the fireball. Otherwise, Suzuki will basically explain here. The whole audience was silent. Judging from Luli's clumsy seal performance, no one would think that he practiced this fire style technique intentionally. Advertisement. But why is the power exaggerated to that extent? Of course they don't know that the full attribute chakra grandmaster obtained by Luli at the ninja school is not a chakra attribute grandmaster in the ordinary sense. The sign in reward was given to Luli's full attribute chakra grandmaster, which gave him an ability, ninjutsu with seven attributes below A level, fire, water, wind, thunder, earth, yin, and yang. You can easily learn the printing process and reach the level of Grandmaster. Therefore, Luli can perform this ninjutsu by imitating Suzuki's not seal once. It's kind of like Kakashi's ninjutsu copying. Of course, Luli's copying speed is relatively slow, and when Kakashi copies ninjutsu, it is almost synchronized with the opponent's ninjutsu, and even completes the seal one step ahead of the opponent. In terms of copying speed, Luli is far behind Kakashi. But in one aspect, Luli is far better than Kakashi's ninjutsu replication. That's right, that's the power of ninjutsu. The reason why Luli's great fireball technique is far more powerful than Suzuki is purely because there are too many chakra. You know, this is not the result of Luli's efforts. No way, chakra is more willful. The so-called quantitative change will lead to qualitative change, and this kind of willfulness will also lead to another kind of change. For example, if the sea level great fireball technique is cast from Luli's hands, its power can reach or even exceed B level. Back to the test site. The huge fireball hit the ground and formed a lava pit with a diameter of more than 10 meters. Everyone was still in shock except Iruka who reacted in time to save people. Advertisement. After all, they are all freshmen who have just entered school. Except for the genius Suzuki, no one else has mastered a single ninjutsu. I thought a Suzuki was enough, but I didn't expect this new Senjo Luli. Wait, this guy is already 13 years old. Could it be that the reason why he entered school at such a young age was because he practiced ninjutsu at home every day? By the way, it must be like this. A student who was the first to recover from the shock asked aloud, Mr. Iruka, if you cast the great fireball technique, the power will definitely surpass Senjo Luli, right? Iruka froze for a moment, smiled awkwardly, and said, well, I haven't actually learned this kind of ninjutsu. If I have to say it, I should be able to cast a fireball that is about the size of Suzuki through learning. Several students who had already regained their senses were stunned again after hearing this. Teacher Iruka is Jinan, so, where the hell is this Senjo Luli? This sparring should be over, teacher. Luli looked at Iruka with a smile. Ah, uh, Iruka didn't react for a while, ah, uh, yes, it's over, the actual combat competition is over, Luli, Suzuki, and, the seal of reconciliation. Luli stretched out the seal of opposition and waved it in front of Suzuki who was still in a daze. Suzuki was so frightened by Luli's action that he took a few steps back and almost sat down on the ground again. Hey, the seal of reconciliation, Luli reminded. With a blank mind, Suzuki mechanically completed the seal of reconciliation with Luli. Advertisement. Wow, Senjo Luli, you actually defeated Suzuki. You are worthy of being a man who is destined to become Hokage like me. I, Uzumaki Naruto, would like to call you the strongest. Little Naruto jumped up excitedly. Ahem. Iruka cleared his throat and said, let's continue with the class, next Uzumaki Naruto. What, is it my turn so soon? Little Naruto complained. Naruto, please choose your opponent. Iruka said while writing on the booklet with a pen. Little Naruto glanced over the faces of many students with a guilty conscience, and all he saw were eager and malicious faces. Where's Hinata? No way, she's not here today. If Hinata is there, Naruto will definitely choose her. Because even if you can't beat it, Hinata won't hit hard. However, Hinata is not here today. Sakura, I choose Sakura. 
Originally thought that the little Sakura, who is also a girl, would take it easy. What Naruto didn't expect was that, as Suzuki's little fan girl, little Sakura was furious after seeing Suzuki defeated by Luli. Result. Naruto, ah, Naruto, ah, Naruto, ah. It's too violent, not suitable for children, so I won't describe the scene of the battle. Advertisement. 014 pay tribute to our common ideals. All dads, please. Advertisement. Get out of class has ended. This is the end of today's actual combat lesson. Disband. Following Iruka's light clap, everyone dispersed immediately. Luli glanced at everyone present, except for a few guys who were alone. The students walked in twos and threes. Suzuki is a very proud person, and in today's situation, naturally no one is willing to run into this bad luck and go with him. Another person everyone respects and keeps away from is the bruised and swollen Naruto. Almost all the classmates have been severely warned countless times by their respective parents not to mix with Uzumaki Naruto, the broom star. So Naruto, who has been beaten up, looks and is in a miserable state at the moment. Hey, Uzumaki Naruto, do you want to come with me? Luli stepped forward and patted the guy on the back of the head. Naruto looked back at Luli in astonishment. A trance flashed in his eyes with dark blue eye circles. What? What did you say? Naruto thought he had misheard. I admire you very much. Let's go together. Luli showed a big smile, with clean and pure eyes. Appreciate me, really. Naruto felt flattered. Naruto knew that Luli didn't lie to him, because eyes can't lie. He has seen too many indifferent, even hostile eyes. He can keenly feel Luli's unbiased and discriminatory eyes. What are you going to have for lunch? Luli asked casually. Naruto rubbed his belly. The first thing he thought of was ramen, Ichiraku ramen. However, he can't afford it. Eating it once in a while is like celebrating the new year. Seeing that Naruto didn't speak, Luli suggested, Why don't you go to Ichiraku ramen restaurant to eat ramen? I treat you. Advertisement. Really? Naruto almost forgot about the injuries on his body, and was about to jump up excitedly. But the next moment, Naruto wilted again. Luli wondered, What's the matter? Don't you like ramen? Of course Luli knows that Naruto likes to eat ramen, but he just asked on purpose. Naruto quickly shook his head and said, Of course I like ramen. The question is, Why do you invite me to eat ramen? Invite people to dinner, but also ask why? Of course, Naruto doesn't feel that kind of friendship with Luli. That's 60 tales of Ichiraku ramen. It's no reason to invite people to eat for no reason. Yes, poverty limits Naruto's imagination, and even a bowl of ramen has become a luxury that can't be eaten casually. Why? Luli was taken aback for a moment. He really hadn't thought about this question carefully. To him, Naruto can be regarded as an old acquaintance. And he really admires Naruto, which can be regarded as a love house and black bar to some extent. For Naruto, Luli is a classmate who just met, and there is very little intersection between the two. Luli thought for a while, and said, It's a tribute, a tribute to Hokage, and a tribute to our common ideals. Common ideals. Naruto muttered. Yes, their common ideal is to be Hokage. The reason why Naruto wants to become Hokage is actually to gain people's approval. After all, Naruto is an orphan who lacks love. Because of being a Nine-Tails Jinchuriki, he was discriminated against by the whole village. In fact, when Luli was watching the Hokage anime, he imagined that if he was Naruto, with such a life experience and living environment, will you form an optimistic personality? The answer is probably no. Advertisement. The possibility of blackening is 99%. You know, Karema, the most powerful of the tailed beasts, is sealed inside Naruto. After so many years of miserable treatment, he didn't go berserk. It is a miracle. There were many victims in the Nine Tails Rebellion, but the biggest and most innocent of them was undoubtedly Naruto. Both parents sacrificed to save the village, not to mention being a container for sealing Nine Tails since birth, and he had to endure countless discrimination and white eyes. Not to mention that he is the son of a hero, Naruto himself should be a person worthy of pity and love by everyone in the village. Don't even ask for preferential treatment, just need to be treated equally, okay? The results of it? Is it too much? Of course, this is Luli interpreting these with the three views before time travel. In fact, the world of Hokage is a world where strength is the most important thing. Strength equals value equals status. It can be seen from the decline of the Senju clan, no matter how powerful your ancestors are, and no matter how much they have contributed. If your current strength is not enough to be valued, then I'm sorry, you can only be a subordinate? Naruto is an orphan of the fourth generation. Didn't his parents leave him enough material conditions for him to squander his whole life? The truth is, Naruto has been clinking poor, even drinking expired milk. Ah, it seems to be far away again. Closer to home. Reason for Luli's treat. Naruto recognized it, not only recognized it, but was so moved that his nose was sore and his eyes were red. Luli patted his head and said, Let's go, you can open it up to eat today, and if you make me poor, it's your fault. Naruto shouted excitedly, Of course I won't be polite, I want to eat two bowls. Advertisement. Luli joked, Just your little belly, can you hold it? It's hard to talk about other things, but ramen is of course not a problem. Now Naruto is really happy, not the usual forced smile. The two had just walked out of the school gate. Suddenly met an acquaintance, yes, it was Mizuki. Student Luli, come to school for the first day, do you feel anything? Ah, uh, Naruto is here too, you don't look very good, you have to work hard at ordinary times, even if you still can't beat your classmates, but at least you don't have to be so embarrassing. Mizuki looked at Luli and Naruto as if he was caring for mentally handicapped children. However, he was somewhat surprised that Luli appeared unscathed. Could it be because it's the first time to attend class, so I just watched the battle and didn't participate in the competition? Ah, uh, it must be so. It is said that things of a kind flock together, and people are divided into groups. The idiot and the tail of the crane should get along with each other. Mizuki felt that although there was a huge height difference between these two people standing together, they felt extremely harmonious to him. It feels good. Luli bared her teeth. Naruto didn't speak directly. He usually works very hard, but the effect is really unsatisfactory. Is it not bad? It seems that Iruka still takes good care of the freshman, and probably didn't let you play. Mizuki always had a smile on his face. No, Luli was the first to play, and he defeated Suzuki. Naruto clenched his fist and spoke for Luli, played, and defeated Suzuki. Wait, is that genius of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Suzuki? The smile on Mizuki's face froze. Which Suzuki could it be? There is only one Suzuki in our class. Naruto was a little proud, as if he was the one who defeated Suzuki. Mizuki opened his mouth wide. He still knows a little about Suzuki, who is the most talented student in this class. It is because of understanding that it is shocking. This guy, did he counterattack directly on the first day of school? With such strength, he must have good talent, so why did he wait until he was 13 years old to start school? Thinking of his previous misreading of Luli, he felt his face was a little hot at the moment, as if he had been slapped hard a few times, making crackling noises. Advertisement. 015 Danzo's Meticulous Analysis. Advertisement. Luli and Naruto come to Ichiraku Ramen Restaurant. 
Uncle Ichiraku, I'm coming. Naruto couldn't help but get excited as soon as he stepped into the noodle shop. Uncle Ichiraku, whose real name is Hand Playing, took a look here and said, So it's little Naruto. Uncle Ichiraku is one of the few people in the village who will not reject Naruto because he has nine tails in his body, and sometimes treats Naruto to eat ramen for free. So to Uncle Ichiraku, Naruto is very close. I brought my classmates to take care of the business today, isn't it fun? Naruto said proudly, Oh, really, then I have to thank you, please have a bowl of tonkotsu ramen. Uncle Ichiraku, who has always been serious, showed a rare smile. Naruto hurriedly said, No need, my classmate will treat you today. By the way, his name is Senju Luli. In fact, Uncle Ichiraku had noticed Luli a long time ago. The moment his eyes glanced at the Senju family crest on Luli's chest, he was slightly surprised, but it was only for a moment, and no one noticed the change in his expression. Luli also looked at the owner of the legendary Ichiraku noodle shop. He is a middle-aged man with a very ordinary appearance. However, many Hokage fans speculate that Uncle Ichiraku is a hidden boss like a sweeping monk. They believe that Uncle Ichiraku is actually very strong. The evidence is as follows. He once threw the rolling pin with his injured right hand and knocked down Peking Koji and Naruto with ease. When Itaka came to Konoha, Itaki used the pupil technique to kill Konoha's gatekeeper in seconds, but when he passed the Ichiraku ramen restaurant, he was discovered instantly. And then Pen destroyed Konoha with Shinra Tensei, but the Ichiraku ramen restaurant is still operating as usual. Advertisement. Therefore, some people speculate that the uncle of Ichiraku ramen restaurant is the one who hides the deepest. He is taciturn and stubborn. He has not revealed his identity, so it is very likely that Uncle Ichiraku is not an ordinary person, but a hidden big boss. Someone even imagined his unique trick, face shield thousand silk corset technique. It can rebound illusion, restrict physical skills, interfere with ninjutsu, balance immortal skills. Ah, uh, invincible Uncle Ramen? Just when Luli's brain hole was getting bigger and bigger. Sit down, Luli. Naruto patted the chair beside him, urging Luli to sit down. Naruto, you order. What you eat today is up to you. Luli smiled and sat down happily. Naruto was not too polite, just sat down, immediately got up and shouted, a bowl of tonkotsu ramen. As he spoke, he looked at Luli. Luli smiled and nodded. Naruto immediately changed his tune and shouted, no, two bowls, two bowls of tonkotsu ramen. Thank you. After a while, two bowls of the legendary Ichiraku tonkotsu ramen were placed in front of Luli and Naruto respectively. Steaming hot and fragrant. Naruto took a deep breath intoxicated, clasped his hands together, and shouted excitedly, I'm going to start. Luli picked up the chopsticks and started to move first. Seeing this, Naruto also began to gobble it up, unwilling to be resigned to others. The two of them ate all the soup and noodles almost at the same time. The taste is indeed a must. Regardless of whether Uncle Ichiraku is hiding the boss, in terms of food, the level of this bowl of ramen is undoubtedly cage level. Advertisement. Glancing at Naruto, who still couldn't get enough of it, Luli knew that even though he still wanted to eat it, he was too embarrassed to order it again, so he said, Boss, two more bowls of tonkotsu ramen. That's when Luli and Naruto gorged themselves on the sea at the Ichiraku ramen restaurant. Kanaha village, Root's headquarters. Danzo fell into deep thought after listening to the information collected by the Root members on what Luli did during the day. This lonely ghost of the Senjo family can actually copy the fire style technique of the Uchiha family, and its power even far surpasses. With that level of great fireball technique, the amount of chakra you have must reach at least Jonin's level. Could it be, he awakened the blood successor limit of the Senjo clan. Then, the person who killed Cloud Shinobi and saved Hineda that day may also be him. Thinking of this, Danzo's left eye burst out with a brilliant light. I stayed at home for three years, did I dare not go out, or I was cultivating silently? Then why do I dare to appear in the sun now? Is it because I feel that I already have the strength to protect myself? And now he's so close to Jinchuriki again, what does this guy want? The establishment of Kanaha village, in the final analysis, is just a few families getting together to keep warm. Senju, Uchiha, Sarutobi, Shimura, Haiga. The structure of Kanaha is controlled by a few big families. Senju has nothing to say, Sunade leaves, Luli is already the only man in the village with the surname of Senju, and the honor and disgrace of a family rests entirely with one person. Uchiha's current situation is already very embarrassing, basically marginalized, and genocide should be put on the agenda. Next. The Sarutobi family is currently the leader of Kanaha village, led by third generation, so it goes without saying that it is powerful. The Hayaga family, due to the conflict with Cloud Shinobi village, will probably fall to third generation. Advertisement. Now Senju Luli is mixed with Jinchuriki. If Senju Luli is a pawn secretly cultivated by third generation, Danzo gasped involuntarily, frightened by his own analysis. Sarutobi, is it your arrangement? Could it be that the kid in the Senju family was really cultivated by you in secret? If this Senju Luli really opened up the blood succession limit, added a Jinchuriki, and tried his best to win over the Hayaga clan in the conflict with Cloud Shinobi village, Sarutobi, what do you want to do? Here, Senju Luli saved Hineda, then the Hayaga family owes Senju a favor, and this is another disguised friendship with the Haiga family. On the other hand, Senju Luli didn't enroll early or late, but he entered the school at this time, and he was in the same class as Jinchuriki. On the first day of enrolling, he treated guests to ramen. What is this friendship? One link after another, what a meticulous plan. According to the analysis of the existing intelligence, Danzo is very sure that the third generation must be planning something. That's right, Danzo has been one step behind third generation since joining Night Aim's door. Hokage, Yusaru Tobi will be here, and I, Danzo, can only be a shitty consultant? You are Kanaha, I am Root, the prestige belongs to you, and I will take the blame? Saru Tobi, Saru Tobi, you are always one step ahead of me? Thinking of this, Danzo punched the desk in front of him. Can't let Saru Tobi get his way, he was a mistake sitting in Hokage's place. I must destroy his plan? Senjo, Jinchuriki, Haiga, whether the three points can be connected in series, the key lies in this Senjo Luli, therefore, he must disappear from Saru Tobi's plan. Pass me the order, summon the roots. New book, ask for everything? Thank you handsome for the reward of the monthly ticket. Advertisement. 016 who is Laozi? Anyone can see him if he wants to. Advertisement. Afternoon class is chakra extraction. For this course, Luli is naturally not interested. Because his chakra has been exhausted, learning these things is meaningless. Therefore, throughout the afternoon, he was basically wandering in the sky. System, has the new check-in task been released? Luli, who was bored, couldn't remember how many times he asked this question. Because, for the next check-in, he is full of anticipation. Ding, a new check-in task is being generated. Please wait patiently, host. It was this answer again. It seems that the tasks of signing in are not one after another, and there will be a certain window period during the period. Of course, Luli is not in a hurry, he has the determination. With the richness of the sign-in rewards, it's like doing some kind of special business. It doesn't usually open, and it takes three years to open. After school, Luli continues 
continued to hang out with Naruto. The two wandered around in Konoha village. Although Naruto is only eight years old, he knows more about the village than Luli. Although Luli has been through for three years, and has inherited all the memories that this body originally had. But Luli discovered that the original owner of this body was an aborigine, and his understanding of Konoha was not even as good as him, a time traveler, in many aspects. However, according to the memory of the original owner, Luli probably understands why this happened. Senja Luli lost her parents when she was six years old, in the second year of the Nine Tails Rebellion. This kind of encounter is somewhat similar to Naruto and Iruka. Advertisement. Since then, Senja Luli has not come out from the shadow of losing his parents until Luli crossed over. From his vague memory, it can be inferred that his parents were both ninjas in the village, and both died in a mission. To be precise, it should be missing. Because no one is alive, no corpse is dead. Then, the last Senja family in Kanaha village had only one seedling, Senja Luli. There are many theories about how the Senja clan died out. The first type, like the later Uchiha clan, was bloody exterminated, and the masterminds were third generation and Danzo. The evidence for this speculation is that the Senja clan disappeared abruptly, as if they disappeared together with the second generation's death in battle. Also, why does the Uchiha family always think about rebellion? Is it all because of being excluded? Is it possible that after seeing the end of the Senja clan, they worried that they would also be bloodbathed? After all, the two mainstays that established Kanaha are their two clans. The eldest brother's fate is so miserable. Isn't the second child worried? There are not a few people who hold this view. The second type is peaceful evolution. The Senja clan intermarried with other families in the village and were finally assimilated. In fact, there are many places where this statement does not make sense logically. Why are the strongest families assimilated by those weaker families, and are assimilated so thoroughly that even the surname Senju is about to be lost? Why did their descendants change their surnames? Don't tell me that after the first generation and second generation, the Senju family can't have a son? If Tsunade and Nawaki are grandsons of first generation, why don't they even use the last name Senju? Reluctant or they're not. You know, the Senju clan is a stronger clan than the Uchiha clan. The people of Uchiha are proud of their surname. Don't the people of Senju be proud of their surname Senju? This doesn't make sense. Advertisement. The third type is that the Senju family left Konoha and went into seclusion. There are many people who support this view. However, if it is a hermit, then why, as direct descendants of the first generation, both Tsunade and Nawaki remained in Konoha? Of course, there are still many speculations about the reason for the demise of the Senju family. For example, there is a saying that the Senju family was constantly consumed in the war, and the clan members continued to die, and finally the clan was exterminated. The evidence is that 10 year old Nawaka died on the battlefield. If possible, Luli also wants to find out the specific reasons for the decline of the Senju clan, but this is by no means the most important thing. Pull away, back to the present. Under the detailed explanation of the little tour guide Naruto, Luli has a more detailed understanding of the layout of Kanaha village. The two had a lot of fun at the night market in Kanaha, until many shops were closed, and they reluctantly went home. Luli, see you tomorrow. At the intersection where they had to part ways, Naruto, who was still smiling happily, was a little unhappy at this time. Well, see you tomorrow. Luli smiled slightly, pulled out his hand in his pocket and touched little Naruto's head, then turned and left. On the way home, Luli was thinking about what he was going to do next. Have you been studying with Naruto and others at the ninja school, sitting and watching Kanaha's Unjun Yunshu, and then wait until the Hokage plot is fully launched four years later? No, no, this kind of ordinary life that follows the trend is not what Luli wants. As a time traveler, there is nothing wrong with doing it occasionally, but if it is too much, it will be annoying. Luli doesn't want to be the kind of person who follows the trend, he wants to be the master who creates the trend of history. Just when Luli's thoughts were flying, he suddenly realized that the surrounding atmosphere was a little weird. It's so quiet. Before he knew it, he found that there were not even ghosts around him, not to mention people. Although it is quite late now, it is not yet the dead of night. Advertisement. Luli sniffled and continued walking. When turning a street corner, several figures appeared on the opposite side. Through the moonlight, Luli could clearly see their attire. Uniform uniforms, different masks. At a glance, Luli recognized the identities of these people, root members. Kanaha has two major underground assassination organizations, Umbu led by third generation, and Roots led by Danzo. Although the dresses of the two parts are basically the same, they can still be distinguished according to the difference in the masks they wear. Someone wants to see you. The leader's voice was blunt, without any emotion. The next moment, root members also appeared around Luli, and they surrounded Luli in the middle. Luli felt it a little bit, and there were ten people in total. The classic ten member squad is usually dispatched when dealing with extremely important targets. For example, the assassination of the third generation. Now, Danzo actually sent such a lineup to please Luli. While Luli was a little dumbfounded, he had a deeper understanding of Danzo's sophistication and caution. Shimura Danzo, known as Pot Shadow. If people don't know who invented a certain forbidden technique, it is basically not wrong to say that it was written by the second generation. And Danzo also has a similar effect, that is, if a scapegoat comes, if no one recites it, it will definitely not be wrong if it is pinned on Danzo's forehead. Did it come so fast? Luli didn't expect Danzo to move so quickly, he just showed his head, and he immediately reacted so strongly. Luli glanced at these dead men who only obeyed Danzo's orders, and said calmly, Master is in a good mood today, I'm going home to sleep, I don't see anyone. Who is Laozi, whoever wants to see him can see him. Advertisement. 017 A bag of rice can withstand several floors. Please collect. Advertisement. Someone wants to see you? Come with us. The leader repeated these words mechanically. Luli smiled faintly. Danzo, you are trying to die. Although Luli does not have many means now, he will not be afraid of Danzo and his roots. Relying on first generation's chakra, as well as physical skills and strange power. Well, there is also the newly learned fire style great fireball technique. Luli has the confidence to get rid of, no, to defeat, or even wipe out this 10 man team. However, Luli also wants to find out, what is behind Danzo's troubles. This is inside Kanaha village. Has Danzo reached this level of unscrupulousness? That's right, it seems that no matter how outrageous things this guy does, as long as it becomes a fait accompli fact, third generation will rarely pursue it. It's nothing more than lifting it up high and then putting it down gently. Even if Danzo wants to assassinate the third generation, after the failure, the third generation will be able to make the big and small things smaller. No wonder Danzo is so defiant. First of all, Danzo shot himself today, did third generation know about it? It's fine if he doesn't know, if he knows, what will he do? Most likely will sit on the mountain and watch the tigers fight, and test Lu Li's true strength by the way. In the Hokage plot, third generation most of the time showed a kind-hearted old man. 
But can a truly merciful person suppress the careerist Danzo and become the longest serving Hokage? The answer is definitely no. Secondly, Danzo asked Luli to meet him. What did he want to do? Advertisement. Win over or control. Or are you going to use it as a guinea pig for experiments, or simply slice it for research? It's all possible. Luli knows that Danzo has been studying first generation cells. As a member of the Senju clan, he suddenly behaved so abnormally. While Danzo will definitely have doubts, he will also have a strong interest in Luli's body. Wait, Luli suddenly thought of something. How to link his abnormality with Naruto, the Jinchuriki. A guy who seems to have awakened the Senju family's blood successor boundary, plus a nine tails Jinchuriki. This combination, not to mention Danzo, even Luli feels a bit scary when he thinks about it. Could it be that his getting too close to Naruto was the trigger for Danzo's reaction? What Luli didn't know was that his speculation was very close to the truth. Thinking of this, the corners of Luli's mouth twitched involuntarily. He doesn't think he is a person who is good at fighting wits. Because, he prefers to fight bravely. Okay, if you want to use force, do it quickly. I'm still in a hurry to go home and sleep. Luli yawned. He was indeed sleepy. I don't know what's good or bad. A root member stepped forward, condescending, and reached out to grab Luli's neck, trying to lift Luli away like a chicken. Luli narrowed his eyes slightly, and precisely controlled Chakra to burst out with his right hand, and then punched the root member in the abdomen. Strange power normal fist. Boom. Advertisement. The root member's body was bent into an extremely exaggerated range, and the whole person was already floating in the air, and flew backwards. However, before he flew upside down, Luli pulled the man's hair and slammed it to the ground. Boom. With a loud bang and a burst of brains, the root member who shot Luli first. He made a big hole in the ground with his head. The Kingshi ground within a radius of 10 meters then collapsed, and cracks spread like spider webs. The root member with Jonin's strength died on the spot, only his two legs were still twitching. A bag of rice can withstand several floors. Luli grinned grimly at the other root ninjas. No one expected that Luli's shot would be so vicious. However, as a root member, he has no name, no feelings, no past and no future, only missions in his heart. Even if they are all dead today, they will continue to follow like moths to a flame. Superior. The leading root member snarled. Puff puff. These root members threw out their samurai swords one after another, and charged towards Luli from all directions. The actions of these people are uniform, without any sloppiness. Whoosh. A root member appeared behind Luli strangely, wiping the back of Luli's neck with a samurai sword in his hand. Ordinary Jonin may find it difficult to resist such a ghostly assassination. But Luli is different because he has. Advertisement. Signed in. Chakra. Explode. Boom. As a layer of purple chakra coat appeared on Luli's body surface, the samurai sword smeared towards his neck instantly shattered inch by inch. At the same time, a tyrannical chakra storm swept out. Those root members who were charging all stopped, even couldn't stop backing up, staggering, and couldn't even stand firmly. Numerous cracks appeared in the surrounding buildings. The root member closest to Luli was the first to bear the brunt. His mask was shattered by the airflow, revealing a face that should have been expressionless but was actually horrified. Strange power immortal food dating. Luli's figure disappeared in a flash, and appeared behind that person, condensing the majestic chakra's palm, and suddenly slapped the root member's celestial cap. Boom, the root member's head exploded into a cloud of blood mist, and the remaining headless corpse was completely submerged in the ground. The next moment, Luli's figure disappeared again, appearing in front of another root member. When the root member reacted, Luli had already grabbed his neck with one hand. Do you want to dance too? Click. The root member's neck was directly twisted by Luli, and the body was thrown towards a root member who charged again. The root ninjas trained by Danzo are indeed all elite, and they are not afraid of death. Even if Luli has shown a terrifying strength enough to crush them, they still have no fear, let alone retreat. Please collect. Ask for flowers. Novices ask for everything. Advertisement. 018 who is 50% off. Advertisement. In the blink of an eye, Luli had already blown up the three root members. The remaining root members began to change formations, some through shurikens, some began to perform ninjutsu in yin and yin, and some tried to contain Luli in melee with teijutsu. Luli was not afraid at all, and the chakra in his body was boiling. Just when he was about to go on a killing spree, whoosh. Several cold rays shot out in the darkness, but the target was not Luli, but the root members respectively. Interrupt all the actions of those people. Um, it's not just those root members who are suddenly on the alert. Even Luli was a little surprised. The next moment, a person walked out from the shadow of a certain street corner. Long white hair, wearing a black mask, his left eye blocked by a forehead protector, and wearing a black combat uniform with green Jonin male armor on the outside. Umbu's red logo is tattooed on the shoulders and back. With such an obvious appearance style, it is impossible for Luli not to recognize it anyway. Hey take 50 50 -ths. oh no, it's the copy ninja Hey take Kakashi. How did Kakashi appear here? Is he needed here? Luli was a little puzzled. Senja Luli, I am ordered by the third generation to protect you secretly. Luli, what the hell? Do I need your protection? Advertisement. You appear now to protect them, do you know that? Luli said that he was unable to complain. Now that Kakashi has quit Umbu, isn't he already the role of Jonin to lead the graduates of the ninja school? The appearance of Kakashi made the remaining seven root members change their offensive formation again. Two of them headed for Kakashi, and the remaining five continued to attack Luli. Be careful, I'll get rid of them as soon as possible, and then I'll help you. Kakashi reminded Luli while fighting with the two root members. Luli has black lines all over her forehead. With your 50 to 50 fighting style, how can you tell the winner without dozens of rounds going back and forth? Forget it, let's make a quick decision. Luli ignored the five root members who were attacking each other, and started to form seals on his own. Not any other ninjutsu, but the great fireball technique, because he only knows this. Luli's sealing movements are still rusty, but not slow, and the whole process of sealing is only a moment. The moment he completed the seal, following his exhalation. Huh. In an instant, the flames were raging, and a huge great fireball with a diameter of more than 30 meters condensed out, rolling and crushing the three root members in front of Luli. The other two root members, who attacked from behind Luli, thought they had seized a once in a lifetime opportunity and exploded. However, after Luli spit out a fireball forward, he didn't look at the result either. He maintained the fire breathing position, took a deep breath, turned sharply, and exhaled again. Huh. Another fireball with a diameter of more than 30 meters appeared, and directly hit the two root members who wanted to launch a sneak attack from behind Luli. Advertisement. Because the fireball is too huge, the attack area is very wide, and there is no way to hide from such a short distance. And then, no more. At this time, Luli looked at Kakashi again. As expected, you come and go, and the fight is very lively. It's really 50 to 50. Luli, who had been watching the battle for a while, couldn't hold back, and said, it's 50 to 50. Uh, no. Kakashi, why don't you let them go and let me come? I'm going home in a hurry sleep. 
With Sherry Non, Kakashi was one against two, but he actually had the upper hand from the very beginning. Hearing this, he took the time to glance at Luli, and was immediately stunned. This guy, when did the fight end? Luli took out a handful of kunao from a headless corpse and played with it in his hands. It feels good, it's actually a throwing knife. Well, how about I also use Lee Sun Huan's special skill, Xiao Li's flying knife. Luli glanced towards Kakashi, and then began to pour chakra into the kunao in his hands. When a thin layer of purple chakra shell also appeared on the surface of kunao, Luli threw it abruptly. Bitterness is like a purple streamer, after a flash. Puff, after reappearing, it has penetrated the left eye of a root member. Ku Wu came out from the back of his head, and then turned a corner under Luli's control. Puff, nail again between the eyebrows of the last root member. All of Kunao's blade disappeared into the root member's brain, leaving only a small handle outside. Advertisement. It's time for work. Luli clapped his hands with a calm expression on his face. What kind of ninjutsu is this? Kakashi looked blank. It is too fast. Even with Sherry Non turned on, it only captured the fuzzy trajectory of the Kunao flight just now. Oh, I created it myself. Ninjutsu Senjo throwing knife. Luli shamelessly plagiarized Lee Sun Huan's copyright. You created your own ninjutsu. Kakashi couldn't believe it. He himself became Jonin at the age of 12, and even his teacher Namikaze Minato praised him. The guy in front of him, who was only 13 years old, actually wiped out a 10-man team at the root with ease. You know, such an assassination team can even pose a big threat to cage-level masters. Genius. Known as a genius, his old face couldn't help but feel a little hot. Kakashi, I leave this to you. Luli didn't want to waste time here anymore, so she went away. Kakashi nodded and said, I will deal with it here. As for what happened just now, I will report it to Lord Third Generation. That's your business. Luli had already walked away. That. Kakashi suddenly thought of something and shouted loudly. Don't ask me why I know you 50 to 50. Ah, no, it's Kakashi. The sound faded away, and could no longer be heard from behind. Kakashi pulled the forehead protector down to cover his left eye. He muttered, what I want to say is, who is the 50 to 50? Advertisement. 019 dogs look down on people? FKU? Advertisement. Hokage building, Hokage office. Third generation knocked on his pipe, and said lightly, I don't want to see you send someone to assassinate Senjo Luli again. Don't think I don't know that you have been secretly experimenting with Shodei cells. As a result, so many people were sacrificed Senjo, what have you got but a Yamato? Danzo looked at the crystal ball with no picture, and said coldly, his name is Tianzang. He is the only person after Shodei who can use wood style, isn't that enough? When he thought of the Tianzang he had carefully cultivated being taken away by the third generation, his heart was bleeding. The only one? I don't think so. Third generation refilled the pipe with tobacco, lit it, and took a light puff. Sarutobi, once Senjo Luli awakens wood style, do you think you can control him? You should know that no matter who has mastered that kind of power, it is impossible to bow to anyone, because no one is worthy of making him bow. Danzo he clenched his fist tightly. Third generation smiled, I don't need him to bow to anyone, I just need him to guard the village. We are all old, aren't we? Danzo snorted coldly, I should have cut the weeds and rooted them out. Third generation reprimanded, enough. Danzo, I warn you, you'd better not oppress the Uchiha clan too much. Isn't it enough to destroy a Senju? Danzo burst out laughing suddenly, and mockingly said, since you know that I have been experimenting with Senju people, why do you turn a blind eye? Now who will show me being a good old man, Senju Luli? Will he appreciate it? Don't forget, his parents both died in the experiment, and I personally injected them with the cells of Master Hashirama. Third generation narrowed his eyes and murmured, his surname is Senju anyway, the Senju who founded Kanahagakur. After Danzo left, third generation interviewed Kakashi in the middle of the night. Master third generation. Kakashi knelt on one knee, third generation nodded and said, how is it? Kakashi recounted the process of Luli killing the root team of ten people. Third generation let out an expressionless hmm. He had watched the live broadcast of that battle a long time ago. So when listening to Kakashi say these things at this time, I can naturally be calm. You know, when he and Danzo were watching the live broadcast, the two bigwigs heard each other gasp one after another. Although it is not uncommon for a hero to be born as a teenager in the Hokage world, there are not many geniuses who can have such combat power at the age of thirteen. Perhaps Uchiha Itake can be counted as one. Advertisement. Luli is the same age as Itake, both thirteen years old. There are still traces of the rise of the latter, and as for the former, it is simply born out of nowhere. Kakashi, what do you think of Senju Luli, this son? Third generation asked suddenly. Kakashi was slightly taken aback, he hesitated, and said, the talent is comparable to Uchiha Itake, no, even worse. The killing is decisive, but there is also a tender side. Tenderness. You mean that he is different from others, and he can interact with Naruto with a peaceful mind. Of course, third generation knew that Luli and Naruto had been hanging out all day. With a smile in Kakashi's eyes, he said, yes, Lord Third Generation. Okay, I see, you go down. The third generation cast its deep gaze beyond Kakashi, into the darkness outside the house, or beyond. By the way, when Luli got home, she was lying on the bed beautifully. He was already prepared for what happened today. Although it came a little earlier than expected, it was not a problem. Danzo, I may be crushed to death if I carry this pot on my back. Luli has listed this pot shadow as a must-kill target. As long as there is a chance, Luli will definitely kill without hesitation. Danzo, I don't care who you harm, if you mess with me, you're out of luck. After concluding what happened today, Luli subconsciously called out a system. System, has the new check-in task been released? Ding, the new check-in task has been released, do you want to check it? The voice I have been looking forward to for a day has finally appeared. As for the system's old problem of diving, Luli doesn't mind, just get used to it. Luli still remembers that when he first crossed over, he just talked about the system all day long. Finally, the system was called out in the middle of the night. Advertisement. Check out the check-in task. Can't wait to call out the system task interface. A new check-in task appeared in front of him. Sign in task. Location, Hokage building. Time, within three days. Reward, confidentiality. Status, incomplete. The Hokage building, isn't that the office space of third generation? Well, then talk to third generation about what happened tonight. My spirit has suffered a great blow, so I must let Danzo compensate some mental damage first. After all, I am Senjo Luli, not third generation, and I won't spoil you Shimura Danzo. The next day, when Luli woke up, it was already mid-sun. School, uh, pull it off. Sign in at the Hokage building first. I got up and tidied up my personal affairs, changed my clothes, and then went straight out. When passing by the Ichiraku Ramen restaurant, I simply combined breakfast and Chinese food. As one of the landmark buildings of Kanaha village, the Hokage building is very easy to find. Luli swayed along the street casually and arrived. Entering the Hokage building, but no sign-in is triggered, indicating that you have not yet entered the sign-in range. At this time, a guard of the Chinin level came to stop the inquiry. I want to see Master Third Generation, and let me know. Oh, by the way, my name is Senju Luli. 
Advertisement. The guard frowned and looked at Luli. He didn't have a ninja badge, and he didn't have the family crest of a big family on his body. So he said impatiently, You are not even a ninja. You want to meet Lord Third Hokage? Who do you think you are? Or do you think it is awesome to say your surname is Senja casually? Do you think Lord Third Generation will meet such a small person like you? Walk around. I really don't know what to say. As he said that, he was going to drive Luli out. Luli glanced at him and said lightly, Don't say I didn't give you a chance. Report it. The guard said disdainfully, Hey, you even pretended to be garlic? I gave you a chance. If you don't leave, I'll just throw you out. Before he could finish his sentence, Luli had already slapped his doggy looking face. Puff. A mouthful of old blood was sprayed out mixed with several teeth. Before the guard could react, Luli kicked his knee again, hitting him in the abdomen. With a scream, the doorman hugged his stomach and lay on the ground like a dead dog. Luli grabbed him by the neck, dragged him to the door of the building, and threw him out. Snob, FKU, it's too late, but it's fast. Luli's series of actions were actually completed in just a few seconds. Several other Chinin guards were stunned when they saw this scene. A Chinin, is this an understatement? This guy is not a ninja, who would believe it? Hurry up and report, don't say I didn't give you a chance. Luli's voice was still calm. It was as if he wasn't the one who just beat down the doorman and threw people. In Luli's view, if you can do it, you don't need BB. If you can't beat it, let's talk about it. The effect is immediate. Advertisement. 020 Sage Body plus Wood Style. Luli's Invincible Era has officially kicked off. Advertisement. After a while, someone brought Luli to Hokage's office. Just when Luli stepped into Hokage's office, Ding, host has arrived at the check-in location. Do you want to check in? Luli was overjoyed and said without hesitation, Yes. Ding, sign-in lasts for 10 minutes, and interruption in the middle will be regarded as sign-in failure. Sign-in to start. 600, 599. 10 minutes, not very long. Luli is very satisfied. System, display the sign-in area. The next moment, a red area that only Luli could see appeared. This red area is the check-in point, and it is not too big, it can cover the entire Hokage office. If you don't say anything, you will pretend to be dead. Luli is also very helpless about the system's lazy behavior. You don't go to school, what are you doing here with me? You even heard the doorman, what nonsense. The annoyed voice of third generation brought Luli back to reality from the joy of signing in. Luli took a look at Hokage's office and saw a stool, so he sat down unceremoniously, and even raised his legs. Master third generation, you should know why I came here. As for the doorman, his mouth is dishonest, so don't blame my hands for dishonesty, it's even. He's really a guy who will take revenge. Third generation didn't have any expression on his face. Advertisement. Luli chuckled and said, I'm overwhelmed. Thick-skinned. Third generation began to show signs of black lines on his forehead. It's okay. Luli still had a playful smile. I already know that Danzo sent people to assassinate you, and I have reprimanded him. I believe he will not do such a foolish act again. Third generation said lightly, just reprimand. Luli smiled brightly. I think Lord Third Generation must have misunderstood something. I came here today just to say that the matter between me and Danzo is handled by myself. No matter what the process and result are, I hope others don't get involved. Is it private? Third generation was slightly surprised. He thought that Luli came today to seek justice from him, and if he was more radical, he even put pressure on him to punish Danzo. I never expected that Luli's attitude would be like this. Third generation thought of a possibility. Could it be that Luli has awakened? Wood style, otherwise why would he dare to challenge the Danzo group by himself? Third generation pondered for a moment, and said, I still hope that the conflict between you can turn into friendship. Danzo, I will urge him to personally apologize to you. If Luli awakens Wood style, the meaning is very important, so there is no room for loss. Meanwhile, Danzo can't be bothered. All along, third generation has actually relied more on Danzo, who is operating in the dark. According to Nidame's philosophy, Kanaha needs both the bright hokage and the hidden roots in the dark. The two complement each other to ensure the long-term stability of Kanaha. Therefore, third generation does not want the conflict between Luli and Danzo to continue to expand. No matter which side is damaged, it will weaken the village. No, 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 I don't need a verbal apology. He has the final say on when the war will start, but I have the final say on when the war will end. You can convey this sentence directly to him. Lu Li's tone was soft the cloud is calm, but the domineering and killing intent contained in the words are obvious. Another troublesome guy. Finally, a wave appeared on third generation's face. For a moment, both of them fell into silence. Advertisement. Before I knew it, ten minutes passed. Ding, congratulations host, successful sign-in, sign-in reward, blood successor elimination wood style. The sound of the system sounded in Lu Li's mind on time. A kind of enlightenment that seemed to be born with him rose in Lu Li's heart. Wood style. It turned out to be wood style. Wait, blood successor is eliminated? Wood style is the fusion of water attribute, earth attribute, and yang attribute. Of course it is the elimination of blood successors. The blood succession boundary of water and soil fusion is not wood style, but lava style. And in the entire Hokage plot, only Hashirama can use the genuine wood style. The wood style cast by others is a copycat version that uses Hashirama's cells to launch. Wood style consumes a lot of chakra, not to mention thousands of real hands. Yamato without sage body, even birth of the tree world, wooden golem jutsu, wooden dragon technique, etc., are useless. So only Senju Hashirama with sage body can really unleash the power of wood style. Here I want to mention, what is sage body? To put it bluntly, it means possessing powerful resilience, extraordinary physical strength comparable to the tailed beast chakra, and even more importantly, any ordinary ninjutsu can turn decay into magic in its hands. Wait, the ability to turn decay into magic. Suddenly, Luli thought of something again. In the battle last night, the Teijutsu and Ninjutsu used by Luli are actually not very top-notch, but why killing Jonin is like playing? Can it really be explained by Chakra? Advertisement. System, the rewards I got for signing in for the first time are just the Chakra of First Hokage and Teiju Wulai. Ding, in fact, the first time the host signed in, he also got a hidden reward, awakening the Senju Clan's blood successor boundary sage body. Really, the conjecture in Luli's heart has been confirmed. In fact, he has always been quite strange. Even if he got the Chakra of First Hokage, without the sage body, he would be rootless and unable to perform at all. The real scary thing about sage body is that it can exert powerful power on any ninjutsu. After Uchiha Madara transplanted Hashirama's cells, he also had the ability of wood style, but when he got serious, first generation used wood style, and he had to use Suzano. That said, it's first Hokage that's strong, not wood style. The wood style in the hands of Yamato is the same thing. 
The wood style of first generation in the first part is simply a bonsai. The first generation with sage body is truly invincible. Let first generation roll his eyes, he can turn revolving heaven out of the range of Chaoshan Luo Tianjiang. Let first generation use explosion style, he can hit Diodara self-exploding power with one straight punch. Therefore, the real reason why Luli can crush the 10-man assassination team at the root is not because of the huge amount of chakra. It's because Luli has actually awakened the same blood succession boundary as the first generation, sage body. And the huge amount of chakra is an attribute attached to sage body? Now, Luli has mastered wood style again. Sage body plus wood style, Lu Li's invincible era has officially kicked off. Please collect. Ask for everything. Thank you, Yichen, for the reward of 2000 V points. Advertisement. 021 Laozi is about to graduate, right now? Please collect. Advertisement. The first sign in lasted for three full years, and the rewards on the surface were chakra from first Hokage and Teju Guai Lai. The second time you sign in, it takes only five minutes, and you will be rewarded with a full attribute chakra grandmaster. This third check in, lasting ten minutes, directly rewards wood style. I didn't think so at first, but now in comparison, the rewards for signing in for the first time seem a bit shabby. However, if you add a sage body to the reward for signing in for the first time, it's almost the same. The current Luli is the perfect successor to the mantle of first generation. Thinking of this, the corners of Luli's mouth could not be restrained from curling up. In Hokage office, there has been silence for a while. Seeing Luli showing such an expression, third generation didn't know why, and felt a thud in his heart for no reason. Oh, yes. Master third generation, I have one more thing to tell you. Lu Li's tone was very flat. Moreover, he made the statement in the context of informing, not discussing, or asking for opinions. Third generation frowned slightly. He really didn't like other people using this kind of equal or even superior context to him. Not even Danzo most of the time. But he quickly stretched his brows and said, What's the matter? Lu Li touched his nose and said, I have to graduate from ninja school, today is it? What? Third generation was stunned. He never thought that what Lu Li was going to talk about was this matter. This guy just entered school yesterday, and after only one day, he asked to graduate? That's it. The ninja school has nothing to teach me? Of course, if there is any assessment required for early graduation, I can accept it. Lu Li said very firmly. Think about what it's like to go to class with a bunch of kiddos at first Hokage? Advertisement. That picture is really, boring. Therefore, Lu Li asked to graduate after one day of school, which is by no means pretending. He doesn't know how to pretend to be evasive, does he need fancy pretend? From beginning to end, Lu Li is just stating a very real fact. Graduate early. Rao Yi, the city mansion of third generation, couldn't help but take a deep breath at this moment. A guy who can wipe out a 10-man assassination team at the root with a flip of his hand is eligible to graduate early. As for the graduation assessment, it doesn't really matter whether it is set or not. Could it be that he, the third Hokage, could end up in person? So the so-called assessment is nothing more than going through the motions. In fact, if you don't get wood style for the sign-in, Lu Li's graduation time may be delayed. Once you master wood style, it will be different. Lu Li can completely let go and do other things. Why bother to pretend to be tender among a group of brats? The Kanaha Shinobi school teaches the very basics. The main subjects are as follows, chakra extraction, three body technique, transformation technique, body replacement technique, clone technique, shuriken throwing, use of detonating symbols, and solutions to conventional illusions. As for summoning, attribute ninjutsu, body flicker technique, shadow clone, illusion, sealing, family secret, and blood succession boundary. There is also fine control over chakra, and even Kanaha fluid. These are all things that can only be obtained by making meritorious deeds or inheriting from a teacher. It is not taught in ninja schools, and it is impossible to give it to ordinary students for nothing. Moreover, Luli already knows that teaching ninjutsu is not the main task of the ninja school. You should know that most graduates of ninja schools will not engage in ninja industry. The real core curriculum of Kanaha Shinobi school should be ideological and political education. The purpose is to allow children from different ninja families to receive a common education from an early age, infiltrate the will of the country, form a common identity of Kanaha Shinobi, and dilute the consciousness of family ninja. This idea of running a school was put forward by the first generation, and it was implemented when the second generation established the ninja school. Advertisement. As for the effect, it is hard to say. It's just one sentence. Luli doesn't want to go to such a boring school anymore. Laozi is going to graduate. Now, right now, what's more, graduating early is a very normal thing in ninja schools. Itaka graduated at the age of seven, and Kakashi graduated at the age of five. They are both precedents for early graduation. Let me think about it. A guy who has not been brainwashed by the ninja school education, and has no companions. Once it grows up, it is really hard to say whether it will be a blessing or a curse to the village. This feeling of being unable to control made third generation feel bad. Luli knew that the third generation would make a delay, so he looked directly into the third generation's eyes and said bluntly, I'm going to get the ninja forward protector today. Sir third generation, I'm a rather impatient person, really. So far, the ninjas who have fought against Luli, not to mention the ones who are alive, even leave the whole body are few. This guy is indeed an impatient master. Third generation was silent for a moment, not knowing what to think. Finally, he let out a sigh of relief and said, I will inform Irika about this. Luli knew that third generation would definitely compromise. He nodded and said, when the time comes, the ninja forward protector will be sent directly to my house. If there is nothing else, then I will resign first. Third generation let out a huh. Luli got up, nodded to third generation, turned around and was about to stride away. At this time, the voice of third generation suddenly sounded. Oh, yes, I have something to tell you too. Luli paused and looked back at third generation. Third generation smiled and said, I have to go to Hayaga's house later, you're fine anyway, why don't you, go visit that girl Hineda. Luli frowned. Advertisement. Hineda, I have known her for a long time. He often tells her some fairy tales, such as Snow White, Cowherd, and Weaver Girl. And she, during his stay at home, often helped him purchase food and daily necessities. Yes. Naturally, Luli would not refuse, and there was a rare gentle expression on his face. All this falls in the eyes of the third generation. Is there no bond? Then I will create a bond for you. Third generation naturally knows that Luli and Hineda have a lot of intersections. A Senju surname may not be enough, then add a Hineda, if it is not enough, Naruto is also included. Senju Luli, if one day you really awaken wood style, I, Sarutobi Hiruzen, hope you can take good care of this village with Senju, Hineda, Naruto, and even more that have various bonds with you. As for the hidden thoughts of third generation, Luli is naturally not clear. He agreed to go to Hayaga's house with third generation, really just wanting to visit Hineda. Then let's go, we can still catch lunch in the past. Third generation picked up the Hokage hat and put it on his head. Ah, Luli rubbed his still bulging stomach. He came here only after eating two bowls of Ichiraku ramen. If he knows, he can go to Hayaga's for a meal. Also eat ramen with a hammer? Sixty tails for a bowl of ramen. Do you think it is not expensive? What's the matter? 
Third generation couldn't help asking seeing Lu Li's annoyed look. Ah, nothing, just suddenly feeling a little, hungry, yes, hungry. Lu Li said nonsense. Third generation let out a groan, and said, then you can eat more later, the food at Hai Ga's is still very rich. Lu Li secretly complained, how could Hineda, the big stomach queen, be raised without being rich? Hineda ate 46 bowls of ramen within 30 minutes at the Ichiraku Ramen restaurant. This record has been maintained and no one can surpass it. Please collect. Ask for flowers. Advertisement. 022 visit Hineda, meet Niji. Advertisement. An old man and a young man walked out of the gate of the Hokage building. As for the retinue, do you need it? Basically every Hokage is the strongest in Kanaha village at that time, let alone in the village, there is no need for followers at all. Lu Li followed third generation one body behind. The two talked about various gods along the way. Lu Li's many views and opinions made third generation look sideways. For example, when talking about the conflict with Cloud Shinobi Village, third generation casually asked how to deal with it. Lu Li's answer is, including Cloud Shinobi Village, all reactionary forces are paper tigers. It seems that Cloud Shinobi Village has perfect Jinchuriki, which looks terrible, but in fact there is no great power. The famous sayings of great men are full of philosophy. After hearing the words, third generation was silent for a long time before saying, it makes sense. It's not the first time for Luli to come to Haiga's house, he's quite familiar with it. When Luli stepped into the door of Haiga's house again, a lot of information about the Haiga family came to mind. The Haiga family, the oldest and famous family in Kanaha, has many ancient traditions, such as adult men wearing kimonos. The status in Kanaha is extremely high, and its unique blood successor enchantment White Eye has supernatural insight. According to the characteristics of White Eye, the Haiga tribe also created Haiga's unique body art gentle fist method. Its method of using chakra as an internal force attack is very powerful. Coupled with the 8 trigrams palms method, Haiga has researched melee combat to the ultimate level. Because of his powerful ability, the legendary Tenon, the ancestor of the Haiga sect, established the rules of the clan and branch house. According to the order of birth, the eldest son is counted as the clan, and the rest of the children become the branch house. The Zong family used the sealing technique on the branch house to form a seal on the head of the branch house. It is known that the Zong family can destroy the brain nerves of the branch house at any time. Such a large number of branch houses are used to protect the main family and ensure the safety of the Haiga family's descendants. But this move has buried many outstanding talents, making the Haiga family slightly mediocre. Advertisement. Among the buried talents is Haiga Niji, the super genius of the Haiga family. The Haiga family is the elders who established Kanaha, and they got the title of Kanaha's strongest family in the end. This is an enduring family just because they have supercilious eyes among the three pupils. Master third generation. Haiga patriarch personally came to the door to greet him. Hayashi, is he Neda okay? Third generation smiled. Of course, he came to Haiga's house not to eat, but to further discuss how to deal with the anger of Cloud Shinobi Village. Patriarch Haiga forced a smile on his haggard face, and said, basically he has recovered. Third generation nodded, pointed to Luli behind him, and said, he is Senja Luli, the guy who sent Hineda back to Haiga's house that night, and also Hineda's classmate. He came to visit Hineda today. The head of the Haiga family had noticed Luli a long time ago. He nodded slightly to Luli and said, thank you for taking care of the little girl, it was really thanks to you for sending Hineda back that day. The Haiga family owes you a favor. Luli chuckled, Haiga patriarch, you're being polite. Hineda and I are classmates. What happened that night was just a matter of little effort. It's not worth mentioning, but it's not humane. Master third generation, Mr. Luli, please come inside. After exchanging pleasantries, Patriarch Haiga personally led third generation and Luli straight into the hospital. When reaching a crossing, a person from the Haiga branch house suddenly stopped Luli. Miss is here, please follow me. So Luli separated from third generation. Under the guidance of the people in the branch house, Luli came to the inner courtyard of the Haiga clan. Then, Luli saw a petite figure sitting on a swing in the small courtyard. Apart from her, there was no one around in the courtyard. It is Haiga Hineda. Advertisement. Luli big brother. Hineda discovered Luli immediately. She jumped off the swing in surprise and ran towards Luli like a gust of wind. The little girl who was extremely shy in front of others, met Luli, but she was lively like an elf. She held Luli's hand and begged, Luli big brother, as I said last time, Su Xian flooded the Jinchen temple and beat up Fahai, the old bald donkey, until he didn't even recognize Fahai's mother. And then, did Su Xian rescue Bai Sahan? Luli smiled slightly and started his own unscrupulous adaptation. Of course, Su Xian not only rescued Bai Sahan, but also suppressed Fahai under the Lifefang Pagoda and sealed it with the Forbidden Technique. Unless the Lifefang Pagoda falls and the West Lake dries up, Fahai will live forever. Do not leave the tower. Just when Luli was talking about his new philo style version of Legend of the White Snake, and Hineda listened intently. Who are you and why are you here? Stay away from my sister. An unfriendly voice sounded behind Luli. Huh. Luli looked back. I saw a young boy with long brown hair tied into a small bundle at the end, looking at his back with vigilance. There was an X mark on the boy's forehead, and he seemed to be from a branch house. However, Hineda is called a younger sister. Then his identity is easy to guess. The genius of Haiga branch house, Haiga Niji? Are you Haiga Niji? Luli said with a smile. Niji was obviously taken aback for a moment, and he asked in confusion, How do you know me? Hineda said, Niji big brother, don't act like this, Luli big brother is not a bad guy. Also, it was Luli big brother who saved me that night. Are you Senja Luli? Niji opened his mouth, seemingly surprised. It's not like it. Luli chuckled. Advertisement. Only then did Niji relax his vigilance a little, and said solemnly, Thank you for sending my sister home that day. Luli waved his hand and laughed it off. Hineda said happily, Luli big brother is telling me the story of new legend of Su Xian. Su Xian is a very powerful ninja. Even Fa Hai and Buddha Demon King Kong is not his opponent, but it is wonderful. Do you want to listen to it with Niji big brother? The country of Hang, is there such a country? Ruin Fanyan village. Ruining, haven't heard of it either. Boundary of blood successor Buddha Demon King Kong. Ah, uh, is there such a limit of blood successor? Niji was stunned. Luli laughed and said, that's a story from another time and space. You must have never heard of it. I also read it from the ancient books handed down by the Senja clan. Niji let out an expressionless O. Oh. Luli found that the geniuses in the Hokage world are generally aloof. Strong strength, harsh words, the title of genius. For example, Suzuki and Niji in front of him. Niji has developed a very calm and silent personality since he was a child, but also because of this, he has the ability to be smarter and more sensitive than ordinary people. Recalling Niji's appearance and ending in the Hokage plot, and looking at the real Niji in front of him, Luli's mood is actually quite complicated. Some people complain that the only existence value of Niji is as a cheat for Hineda. When Hineda was in danger, he folded his hands and looked up to the sky and shouted, Niji big brother? Then Niji will show up and start cheating and beating up the
opponent. It is also said that Niji was forcibly sacrificed by Kishimoto. In Hokage, many people died in battle, including Naruto's parents who sealed nine tails, third Hokage who sealed the soul of second Hokage, Jiraiya who died in the sea against pain, and Itake who used his life to help his younger brother become stronger. Their deaths are all soul-stirring and shocking, only Niji's death is so inexplicable, so cheap, so unreasonable. As a genius of the Hayaga clan, Niji's brilliance cannot be concealed. He has mastered the family's secret ninjutsu, revolving heaven, by himself, and can use it to its ultimate in battle. Niji appeared extremely extraordinary when he appeared on the stage. Niji can be said to have combined the backgrounds of the two Hokage protagonists of Naruto Suzuki. He not only has the same strong family background as Achiha, but also bears the shackles of life experience similar to Naruto as a branch house, which is difficult to break free. Advertisement. 023 Hayaga Hisashi's Choice. Advertisement. Lu Li's magical modification Legend of the White Snake has another small fan. Xiaoqing awakened Sweji Boundary Green Snake, and became elite Jonin of Ruin Fanyan Village. Later, she worshipped and practiced under the disciple of Guanyin Immortal. Twenty years later, when she came out of the mountain again, her strength was not weaker than that of Fahai. In order to develop a lowly, Lu Li's brain cells were killed or injured. Xiaoqing really paid a lot for her sister Baisahan. Xiao Hinedo was so moved that her eyes were full of tears. Is Baisahan's boundary of blood succession white snake stronger, or Xiaoqing's boundary of blood succession green snake better? Niji's focus is different. Niji's father, Haiga Hisashi, for some reason, did not die instead of Haiga Hisashi. So at this time Niji, psychologically not distorted, is basically a normal child. Luli asked back, then do you think the white eyes of your Haiga family are worse, or the Sherinan of the Achiha family? Niji took it for granted, of course it's a blank stare. Luli rolled her eyes. Although Bian is powerful, compared with Sherinan, there is still a gap. Just when Luli was arguing with Niji whether the white eyes are more powerful or the Sherinan is more powerful, Haiga Hisashi came to the courtyard where Hinata was. Hisashi knew that Niji must be here because Niji said to protect his sister. Hisashi stood at the gate of the small courtyard, looking at Niji who was blushing because he couldn't beat Luli with his mouth, and a very bitter smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. In a recent meeting, a resolution was passed on how to deal with Cloud Shinobi Village. This resolution was led by Danzo, acquiesced by third generation, and unanimously approved by the elders of the Haiga family. The content of the resolution is to let Hisashi die instead of Hayashi, so as to appease the anger of Cloud Shinobi Village. However, Haiga Hayashi, who has a veto power, consulted Hisashi before the resolution passed. If Hisashi disagreed, Agrees, Hayashi will veto the resolution without hesitation. Advertisement. Although Hisashi is a member of the branch house, he is Hayashi's younger brother after all. No matter how cruel Hayaga Hayashi is, it is impossible for him to force his brother to die. No one expected that Hayaga Hisashi accepted this decision very calmly. He is willing to die on behalf of Big Brother? This is the first time he has the freedom to choose, but unfortunately it will also be the last time. Please tell Niji that I didn't die because the branch house protected the clan, but because I died protecting my brother and the village. These are the last words left by Hayaga Hisashi. He came here at this moment just to see Niji one last time, and die generously. Niji, my son, you were supposed to be an eagle soaring in the blue sky, but because of the shackles of the family, you became a caged bird. Hayaga Hisashi knows that Niji owes the most to her decision today. At the same time, Hayaga Hisashi also wants to use his own death to tell Niji. The reason why the branch house wants to protect the family is because of love for relatives, not because of an established responsibility. He didn't want Niji to live like himself, carrying the resentment and resentment of being a branch house all his life, and he didn't understand it until he died. Unbeknownst to Hayaga Hisashi, Niji's life ended up repeating his mistakes. Hayaga Hisashi resented the clan during his lifetime, and even had murderous intentions towards Hineda, and finally died for the big brother. Hayaga Niji resented the clan because of his father's death, but in the end he died to protect his sister. How similar the fate of the father and son is, and how sad it is. If Hisashi knew that his choice today would lead to such a result, would he still do it? Call. Hayaga Hisashi took a deep breath and let it out slowly. Advertisement. Looking at his son, Hisashi suddenly felt good to be alive. If he can live, he won't care about the identity of the branch house anymore. He really wants to watch Niji grow up, wants to see him marry a wife and have children. Even if one's grandchildren are destined to be members of the branch house from birth, what does it matter? It's a pity, it's too late at this moment. Father, why are you here? Niji found his father standing at the gate of the courtyard. Hayaga Hisashi came over, squatted down, and gently touched his son's head. Niji froze for a moment, flattered. His father is usually very strict with him, and such intimacy is rare. Uncle, Hineda called out sweetly. Hayaga Hisashi nodded with a smile. Then, he turned to Luli and said, You left in such a hurry that day that I didn't have time to thank you properly. Luli said with a smile, Hineda and I are classmates, but there is nothing to thank. Hineda froze for a moment, she said blankly, Luli big brother, are we classmates? Obviously, the little girl doesn't know that Luli has entered school yet. Luli nodded and said, That's right, the school I entered yesterday was assigned to teacher Irika's class. Wow, really? Hineda almost jumped up with joy. Luli thought for a while, then changed the subject, and said, However, I have graduated today. So, graduated? What do you mean? The little girl still smiled happily, and it seemed that she didn't understand what graduation meant for a while. Advertisement. Hisashi and Niji were visibly taken aback. Enrolled yesterday, graduated today? That said, Luli graduated from ninja school in just one day. You know, Itaki, who is known as a genius, also took a year to graduate from the ninja school. Graduated in one day? Hineda and Niji may not know the heavy message behind this refraction. But as an adult with a good mind, Hisashi made a simple analysis and was immediately taken aback by his guess. To graduate from the ninja school, the traditional way is of course to complete all the courses of the school and pass the graduation assessment. Obviously, Luli only attended school for one day, and it was impossible to complete the school curriculum. Then he can graduate from school only because the school can can't teach him anything. What kind of person has nothing to teach before he starts learning? Those who are strong enough must surpass Jenin, even Shinin, and possibly Jonin. Wait. Strong enough? Is this guy the one who killed Cloud Shinobi and saved Hineda? Hisashi never thought about this before. He just thought that Luli was the one who ran errands to send Hineda back, and someone else actually saved Hineda. He went to the scene to investigate and suspected that the person who actually saved Hineda was Jiraiya, one of the Sunin. Many people hold the same judgment. But at this moment, Hisashi seriously suspects that the person who rescued Hineda is actually far away and right in front of him. He was going to die anyway, and Hisashi wanted to find out about it. Hayaga Hisashi said suddenly, Mr. Luli, can I take a step to speak? Luli glanced at Hisashi and nodded. Advertisement. 024 special check-in task, ask for collection. Advertisement. Luli and Hisashi came to the other side of the yard and sat down on a stone bench under a sycamore tree. Mr. Hisashi, what's the matter? Luli said with a slight smile. 
Hizashi nodded and said, I have something to ask you for confirmation. Luli, but it's okay to say. Hizashi, was it you who saved Hineda from Cloud Shinobi that night? Luli actually guessed that this might be the problem, and he said frankly, yes. After getting an affirmative answer, Hizashi couldn't help but gasp. If that's the case, then it's no surprise to Hizashi that Luli graduated from ninja school in one day. This guy has strength comparable to the legendary Sunin? Hizashi does not hesitate to make bolder conjectures. Will it be even stronger? His last name is Senju, is it? Hizashi was blown away by his bold idea. He swallowed, and said, did you awaken the blood succession limit wood style like Shodei? Even if he already knew that the person who eliminated Cloud Shinobi was right in front of him, Hizashi never thought of using this to change anything. He had already resigned to his fate. Of course, his blunt questioning is very rude. It feels like, you grab someone on the street, and then ask him, how much money do you have at home, where is it? But Hizashi didn't care about his rude behavior anymore, and he didn't care if he could get an answer. He just wanted to let go before he died. At this moment, he has got rid of the shackles of secular reason and can express his thoughts unscrupulously. After all, after today, there will be no Haiga Hizashi in this world? Luli frowned, really displeased with Hizashi's rudeness. Advertisement. Seeing this, Hizashi suddenly laughed and said, I was the one who was rude. He glanced at his son standing by Hineda's side, it was his concern that he couldn't let go even if he died. At this moment, looking at the boy in front of him again, Hizashi suddenly had an urge to entrust Niji to him. Mr. Luli, as a father, I have an unfeeling request. Hizashi restrained his madness and said sullenly, Huh, Luli was a little strange. Although he is not familiar with Hizashi, he can obviously feel that Hizashi's current state is a bit weird. Hizashi whispered, What do you think of my son Niji? Luli was stunned for a moment, stunned by this question. Damn, you also know that is a son, not a daughter? How about your son is none of my business? Do I know you well? Luli complained wildly in her heart. Niji is very good, extremely talented. I think he can even break some restrictions of being a branch house with his own understanding. According to what he knew, Luli gave a very high evaluation in Hizashi's opinion. Hizashi was taken aback for a moment. He knew that his son's talent was very high, but he never thought it would be that high. You must know that the curse seal caged birds restrained on the people in the branch house is very powerful. The zone family can control and destroy the brain nerves of the branch house members through this spell seal, thereby controlling the branch house. It is also possible to seal Bean's ability through this curse seal, and the curse seal cannot be lifted until the person dies. Now Luli actually said that Niji can break this bondage with his own ability. Well, it should be just a polite remark. But this also aroused Hizashi's interest in talking. He is a member of the Hayaga branch house, and he usually has too many constraints. I've been aggrieved all my life. Now, it's rare that someone not from Hayaga's family is here, and he suddenly has a lot to say. It's just that my son and Hineda are next to me, so it's not convenient to say a lot. Advertisement. So, Hizashi invited, Mr. Luli, can you come to the humble house for a cup of tea? Of course. Luli was no longer surprised by Hizashi's various weird behaviors. However, he didn't feel bad for the younger brother of the Hayaga patriarch, on the contrary, he had some sympathy. This is a man who loses at the starting line and loses his whole life. In the Hokage plot, even if he dedicated his life to his brother and family, he said before he died that he asked Hayashi to tell Niji his last words. As a result, Hayashi concealed it. Niji didn't know why his father died until many years later. This directly led to Niji's tragic life. If Niji hadn't shown a powerful talent, I'm afraid he wouldn't be able to know the truth for the rest of his life. Luli followed Hizashi to a very ordinary courtyard. At this time, ding, congratulations to host for triggering a special check-in task. Do you want to check? The system's voice suddenly appeared. Luli, the system actually actively prompts that a new check-in task has been released. Has the system changed? Or is the sun coming out in the west? Check. Special check-in task, change Hayaga Hizashi's fatal ending due to the Cloud Shinobi Village hijacking of Hineda incident to check-in. Location, unlimited. Time, unlimited. Reward, confidentiality. Status, once Hayaga Hizashi dies due to a Cloud Shinobi Village hijacking of Hineda incident, the mission fails. Advertisement. What? Luli was dumbfounded. Is this also a sign-in task? It's clearly a boring nosy task. What happened to Hayaga's house is none of my business. System, don't you worry about salty carrots? System, are you kidding me? Luli slandered. Ding, the host has the right to choose to execute or give up the task. Well, that's right too, but are you willing to give up? This is a special check-in task. Although Luli complained wildly, he was looking forward to the reward of this task. Isn't it difficult to save a Hayaga Hizashi? If there is no mission, Luli will definitely not make a move. As long as Hineda is not involved in the affairs of Hayaga's family, Luli will probably stand by and watch. So, although I sympathize with the father and son Hizashi and Niji, it's not enough to make Luli feel like a virgin. As for now, he's in charge, in Hizashi's courtyard. Luli sat opposite Hizashi. At this point, Hizashi, who wanted to vomit the lump in his chest, was silent at the moment. Luli picked up the teacup and drank it in one gulp, and then said firstly, why, have they already negotiated that you will replace your brother and hand it over to Cloud Shinobi Village? The first sentence Luli spoke was a bold from the blue, ask for flowers. It's so quiet, I'm so happy JPG, is there anyone else watching? Can you come out and take a few steps coquettishly? It's okay to beat me up? Beg for flowers and evaluation votes. Advertisement. 025 I'm speaking the truth. Advertisement. The first sentence Luli spoke was like a thunderbolt exploding in Hayaga Hizashi's ear. You. Hizashi looked at Luli dumbfounded. It is impossible for Luli to know that this resolution has just been passed. Could it be that third generation had given Luli a pass beforehand? But how does the third generation know that he will die willingly? Luli didn't look at Hizashi, poured himself a cup of tea, and said, You don't care how I know? I just ask you, if you know your choice, it eventually caused Niji to repeat your tragedy, will you still stick to your choice? This sentence is much more powerful than the gentle fist of Hayaga's family, and it directly hit the Achilles heel in Hizashi's heart. Hayaga Hizashi was willing to die for his brother, so he wanted to use his own death to change Niji's situation and even his fate. Now, someone told him that his death not only could not change Niji's fate, but even made Niji fall into the same doom as he did. For some reason, Hizashi has no doubts about Luli's judgment, so Hizashi is very panicked at the moment. My life is already aggrieved enough, it is sad enough. Should his own son be like himself? How can this be? He wasn't even afraid of death, but he was terrified of such an arrangement. Is this the fate that a person in a branch house should have? He clenched his fist tightly, even his fingernails pierced into the palm of his hand, and blood oozed out, but he remained indifferent. But in the end, he still let go of his hand slowly. Advertisement. You're right, but it's too late. Hayaga Hizashi said dejectedly. Luli's words not only did not arouse Hizashi's fighting spirit, but made him accept his fate even more. Luli glanced at the X-shaped curse mark on Hizashi's forehead, and immediately understood. For Hizashi, his fate is sealed at this moment, and there is no room for maneuver. Resist. With just one thought from the Zone family,
to die for the sake of the family, does it matter how he died? The main family only needs to deliver Hisashi's body to Cloud Shinobi Village, saying that this is the head of the Hayaga family. This matter is declared over. Therefore, since struggling is futile, it is better to accept fate. If his voluntary sacrifice can't get even the slightest sympathy for Niji from the clan, then his resistance will definitely bring disaster to Niji. Hisashi can't change his destiny, but Luli can. Take me to the meeting hall, I have a different opinion on this matter. Luli said bluntly. Hayaga Hisashi looked at Luli in surprise, but shook his head and said, It's useless. If possible, I would like you to take care of my son Niji for me. This is also the unfeeling thing I said before. Please, is it useless? What if I tell you that, as you guessed, I have actually awakened Woodstyle? Luli picked up the teacup and wrote lightly, Woodstyle? Hayaga Hisashi looked at Luli in horror. Luli took a sip of tea, smiled lightly and said, Don't you believe me? No, I believe it. Hisashi took a deep breath, suppressing the shock in his heart. Luli put down the teacup, stood up and said, Then let's go. Drink this tea when you come back. Hayaga Hisashi hesitated for a while, but got up to leave Luli. Advertisement. He knew that if Luli forced his way, no one could stop him, but it would make things more complicated. Soon, Luli and Hisashi came to the meeting hall of Hayaga's house. Luli saw at a glance that the entire Kanaha high level, except for the representatives of the excluded Uchiha clan, were almost all here. Third generation, Danzo, Hayashi, Kohara, Homura, and the elders of the Hayaga family. Luli, why are you here? Third generation was a little surprised when he saw Luli. Seeing that Hisashi brought Luli here, Hayaga Hayashi frowned slightly. For Luli, Hayashi is not good to blame, after all, he is the one who saved his daughter. He looked at his younger brother, subconsciously wanting to scold him, but when he thought of something, he had no choice but to remain silent. Hisashi, this is an important place for Hayaga's family to discuss, what do you want to bring an outsider here? One of the elders of the Hayaga family was not polite at all, and directly challenged him. In their eyes, Hisashi's death for the main family is his duty as a branch house, and it is a matter of course. They don't feel ashamed or embarrassed about it. Facing the elders questioning, Hisashi instinctively lowered his head, but did not speak. He has given up on his own family and doesn't want to explain anything. Luli walked straight into the lobby and said with a smile, I didn't want to do anything, I just wanted to talk to you old guys who have lived for decades, but have lived on dogs. These words hit a wide range, and even third generation scolded them together. Reasonable? Listening to your tone, there is no reason to be reasonable. As soon as these words came out, a stone immediately stirred up waves. Bold. Presumptuous. Advertisement. A fool who is not even a ninja dares to speak wild words. Come on, break his hands and feet, and blast me out. Just when the elders of Haiga's house were furious, the third generation has spoken. Since it's about reasoning, let's talk about it. Third generation took a deep look at Luli, feeling a little complicated. Danzo sneered, Senja Luli, do you have a share here? Although it was the first time seeing Danzo, Luli recognized him immediately. Luli squinted at Danzo, and said coldly, I don't want to kill you today, so you better shut up. Danzo shot up at the case and said angrily, you. But it was interrupted by third generation scolding, enough. Danzo, sit down for me. The pupils of Koharu, Homura, Hayashi, and all the senior members of Haiga's family shrank. They were surprised by Luli's rude words, and even more shocked by third generation's attitude. Anyone with a discerning eye can see that third generation is maintaining Luli. Danzo gritted his teeth and finally sat down. As a wily fellow, he was never so restless. But for some reason, when he saw Luli, he couldn't help but become irritable. To be precise, it was a kind of uneasiness, as if meeting a nemesis. Danzo even wants to get rid of Luli here if he can. Because he had a feeling that the longer the time dragged on, the more uneasy he would be. Can you talk now? Third generation cast a reproachful glance at Luli. This kid is too worrying. Advertisement. 026 Danzo, you are courting death. Advertisement. Are you going to sacrifice Hayaga Hisashi to appease the anger of Cloud Shinobi Village? Tell you, I, Senju Luli. Don't agree. Luli continued to chatter endlessly. That night, I was the one who killed the Cloud Shinobi Village envoy? If you have the ability, come at me. As soon as this remark came out, except for a few people such as third generation and Danzo who could maintain their composure, everyone present was stunned. It turned out to be you. Hayaga Hayashi said in shock. He had witnessed the terrible chakra storm with his own eyes. The battle scene was even more of a mess, the level of destruction was no weaker than the tailed beast bomb. This guy, has a terrifying chakra and destructive power comparable to Jinchuriki, Senju. Could it be? Not only Hayaga Hayashi, but everyone else present also thought of this. The Senju family has declined to such an extent, how can there still be a pervert like First Hokage? Why is the Hayaga family willing to take the blame for the destruction of the Cloud Shinobi village mission? In fact, this is also the helpless move of the Hayaga family. First of all, this incident was a murder caused by White Eyes, and Hineda, the eldest daughter of the Hayaga clan, was kidnapped. Regardless of who killed Cloud Shinobi, the Hayaga family has an unshirkable responsibility. Second, they don't know exactly who killed Cloud Shinobi and saved Hineda. Moreover, even if they knew, they would not be able to deal with a terrifying existence comparable to Jinchuriki. Therefore, this blame, whether the Hayaga family is willing or not, has to bear it. Originally, as long as Hayaga Hisashi was handed over, the matter would be over. No one expected that at this juncture, a Senja Luli who had taken the wrong medicine suddenly appeared halfway. At this moment, the meeting hall of the Hayaga clan fell into an eerie silence. Advertisement. Only the sound of heavy breathing came and went. At this time, Hayaga Hisashi suddenly said, Mr. Luli, for the sake of the family and the village, it is not a pity for a Hayaga Hisashi to die. Please don't get angry about this matter, and don't hurt the harmony between you and the village. He is grateful that Luli stood up for him, but in the end it was his choice. The reason why I brought Luli to the meeting hall is that I don't want Luli to make too much noise, and the second is to use this matter to beat the clan, hoping that they will treat Niji kindly after his death. Hisashi said this. The elders of Hayaga's family immediately found the target of the attack. Hayaga Hisashi, you are so courageous. You say you are willing to die for your brother and family, but then you bring out an outsider to support you. Have you forgotten that you are from the Hayaga branch house? A Hayaga elder directly attacked, and his attitude was extremely arrogant. Another Hayaga elder scolded angrily, Hayaga Hisashi, you are colluding with outsiders to mess with my Hayaga family. According to the family law, you should die. At this moment, the elders of Hayaga's family just want to convict Hayaga Hisashi, and then launch the curse seal caged bird to kill him directly. Only once Hisashi dies, it will be a foregone conclusion. Presumably this kid from the Senja family couldn't be serious about a dead person. However, Luli already has a way to deal with this. He shouted loudly, if you dare to kill Hayaga Hisashi, I will destroy your Hayaga clan. I swear in the name of Senju, I will do what I say. As soon as these words were said, the entire meeting hall was blown up. How dare you? Hayaga Hayashi, the head of the Hayaga family, was the first to respond. Although Luli is the benefactor who saved her daughter, it is not
Luli stands proudly in the center of the meeting hall. Next moment. Townfield dedicated strange force. Open. Advertisement. Boom. Luli's whole body was instantly covered with purple chakra, and cracks like spider webs appeared on the floor, walls, and ceiling of the meeting hall. What? This chakra. Hiss. There were gasping sounds at the scene one after another. This. This is Shoday's chakra. How is this possible? An elder of the High God tribe, who was much older than the third generation, was so shocked that his voice trembled. White eyes are able to see the flow of chakra, and some powerful white eyes can even tell whose chakra it is. First generation. As long as it is connected with the legendary ninja god, no one dares to underestimate it. Even if Lord Madara is here, he still has a dignified expression. Haiga Hizashi stared blankly at Luli, who was exuding turbulent chakra all over his body, with a dazed expression. He obviously knew a lot in advance, but when he saw it with his own eyes, the shock from the heart still couldn't be reduced by half. At this moment, Danzo spoke again. He sneered, even if you have a chakra comparable to Shode, judging from his words and deeds today, he will only be the next Achiha Madara. Punishment? In a word, the hearts of everyone present were shocked. Madara, there is no doubt about the strength of this man. He was originally one of the founders of Kanaha, but in the end he became Kanaha's enemy. Everyone, why don't you leave him here today to avoid endless troubles? Danzo strikes while the iron is hot, this is to put Luli to death. Advertisement. In his opinion, Luli must be eradicated before he awakens wood style, and now, it is obviously a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. At this time, third generation finally couldn't sit still. He scolded angrily, Danzo, are you crazy? Third generation didn't expect that things would develop to this point. If they didn't stop it, it might develop into a big battle within Kanaha. He didn't expect Luli to intervene in this matter suddenly, with such a tough attitude. As for Danzo, he has always been a crazy guy, it's just that today's performance is particularly vivid. Danzo, you are courting death. However, Luli has already made a move. He stumped his foot on the ground suddenly, and the whole ground collapsed, like a landslide and a crack in the ground. And Luli used this to show amazing explosive power, rushing towards Danzo like a shell. Enough. Focusing on the moment, third generation got in between Luli and Danzo. Luli, I can understand that you are fighting for Hisashi, but this is no child's play. If you don't handle it well, it may trigger an all-out war with Cloud Shinobi Village. Third generation said earnestly. Luli stopped in front of third generation and taunted, because you are afraid of war, can you sacrifice your compatriots with peace of mind to pray for that pitiful peace? Sarutobi Hiruzen, this is the will of fire you inherited? Can you do it today? Sacrificing one Haiga Hisashi will sacrifice the entire Uchiha clan tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. When Luli said Uchiha, everyone's expressions changed. Especially Danzo and those high-level officials who participated in the plan to exterminate Uchiha are all trembling. Did this guy say something unintentionally, or did he already know something? The commotion in the council hall was so loud that it naturally attracted the attention of everyone in the Haiga clan. A large number of Haiga family ninjas appeared around, and the assembly hall was surrounded by water, and the nearby non-combatants were evacuated urgently. Advertisement. 027 Wood Style Mystery, Birth of the Tree Realm. Advertisement. War is not a child's play, and many people will die. Third generation is not a child, and is indifferent to Luli's ridicule. Peace won by kneeling down will not last long. Peace is a pure land created by the powerful ability to stop war. I still say that, even if Haiga Hisashi is going to die, he should die in the hands of the enemy, not his own people. Hands. Luli recalled the history of the Celestial Dynasty. The century of humiliation in modern times was actually the result of kneeling down and begging for peace. Only by standing up, taking up arms, and striking the enemy head on, will peace truly come. The ability to stop fighting. Does Kanaha still have the ability to stop fighting? Third generation side. Of course there is. Luli exudes a strong self-confidence. I saw his hands put together to form a seal. His seal movement shocked the third generation, Danzo, Koharu, and Homura present. Especially the third generation, even with just a quick glance, immediately recognized this ninjutsu. What is he going to do? The answer will be revealed in the next moment. Wood style mystery, the birth of the tree realm? Bang bang bang. The entire ground fell apart in an instant, and countless trees burst out of the ground, growing rapidly, and the trees seemed to be uprooted. In just an instant, most of the residents of the Haiga clan turned into a primeval forest. All offense and defense in the forest are controlled by Luli. This, this is wood style. It's impossible. Danzo was in hysterics. It's the wood style secret technique, birth of the tree realm. Isn't this kind of technique only Shodei can perform? Mitokato Homura looked at the trees around him that had replaced the buildings, and he couldn't be more shocked. Advertisement. Even the third generation, known as the professor of ninjutsu, who was used to seeing the wind and rain, witnessed the brilliance of the first generation and the second generation, was dumbfounded at the moment. It felt like a hammer hit the head, buzzed, and fell into a blank. He thought that Luli might awaken wood style, but never thought it would be so soon. This is the wood style secret technique that only first Hokage can perform. It's true wood style. It is not the same concept as Yamato created by Danzo using Hashirama's cells, Shodei's wood style art. Hayaga Hayashi and everyone in Hayaga's family gasped in unison. No wonder this guy dares to destroy the Hayaga family. No wonder he dared to say that he has a strong ability to stop fighting. You know, Shodei ended Sengoku with wood style, established Kanaha village, and defeated Achiha Madara. This is the power that the god of ninja deserves? Now, a 13-year-old kid from the Senjo family has inherited this power completely. Is this guy in Kanaha village about to change? No, I'm afraid the sky of the entire ninja world will change. While third generation was shocked, he felt a little relieved. He is indeed old, as evidenced by the decaying chakra. In the past few years, he has been worrying about Hokage's successor and the future of the village. Therefore, he longed in his heart for the emergence of individual heroes among the younger generation of the village. After the Nine Tails Rebellion, with the death of the fourth generation, Jinchuriki, instead of becoming the fighting force of the village, became a time bomb. Kanaha Village has entered a period of lack of top combat power. Cloud Shinobi Village saw this and was so aggressive. Advertisement. In fact, after the death of the first generation, the method of sealing the tailed beast was lost along with the wood style. Nine Tails has become a constant hidden danger in the village. So third generation and Danzo mobilized the whole village to carry out research on Hashirama cells, hoping to make Kanaha have wood style again. But as a large number of volunteers died in the experiment, third generation had to stop, and all relevant records were sealed as black history. A large part of these sacrifices were members of the Senja clan, but Danzo didn't give up. He didn't care how much he had to sacrifice, and he didn't give up until he reached his goal. Together with Orikimura, he secretly plundered the Senja tribe, and even kidnapped babies from surrounding villages to conduct experiments on his own. But at the price of cruelty, there was really one case that succeeded. Danzo cultivated another ninja Tenzo who could use wood style besides Hashirama. Danzo almost sacrificed the entire Senja clan for a Tianzang who only knew half of wood style. 
A large number of Senja people died in the experiment, and many Senja people ran away out of fear, and changed their surnames. This is the real reason for the decline of the Senja clan. And Luli, is one of the few survivors in this disaster? Out of selfishness, Danzo did not tell third generation about the existence of Tianzang. But when the third generation discovered the wood-style ninja later, they did not punish Danzo. He just led Umbu to surround Danzo's lair on the third floor and the third floor, and took the wood-style ninja under his command. The third generation is very tolerant towards Danzo, as long as his crimes don't make a fuss and the whole village knows about it. He keeps one eye open and one eye closed. Third generation always believes that where there is light, there must be shadows. He is the Hokage who is always warm in the sun, and Danzo is the decisive root in the dark. The two complement each other, and indeed once made Kanaha village the strongest tolerance village. In order to obtain wood style that can suppress nine tails, third generation sacrificed the entire Senja clan. His hands were stained with the blood of his compatriots, but he only got a Tianzang who was not in his eyes. Advertisement. In the end, it was Senja, the dead tree, that came back to spring again and bore the most successful fruit. Third generation's heart is extremely sad at the moment. The truth is, it's not just third generation. As the same period as third generation, Kohara and Homura, who are now high-ranking Kanaha, were even more shocked. Shocked, Kohara and Homura looked at each other, seeing the irrepressible excitement in each other's eyes. Their minds are much darker than those of the third generation. The rise of Luli is already unstoppable, as long as it does not conflict with their own interests, they will not hesitate to side with Luli on most issues. Therefore, they have made up their minds, since Luli wants to protect Haiga Hizashi, they overturn the previous resolution. It doesn't matter if you fight against the Haiga clan, Haiga's family is gone, and the big deal is to support the branch house. Anyway, their descendants will inherit the white eyes, and there will be no curse mark, caged bird. Anyone else want to sacrifice Haiga Hizashi to beg for mercy from Cloud Shinobi village? Luli's voice resounds throughout Haiga's house, needle drop can be heard in the audience. After a long time, an elder of the Haiga family took a deep breath, suppressed the shock and fear in his heart, and explained, whether it is the main family or the branch house, they are all children of my Haiga family. Kill your own child. If it weren't for the aggressiveness of Cloud Shinobi Village, for the sake of the peace of the village, we would have reluctantly made this move. Hisashi is the child I grew up with, if there is no other way, how can I bear it? Yes, it's all about protecting the secrets of the Haiga clan and the hard-won peace of the village. The elders of the Haiga family spoke up to explain. The attitude has come to a 180 degree reversal. The contrast between the front and back was so strong that Luli's mouth Kakuza twitched involuntarily. Ask for flowers. Gentlemen, beg for everything. Advertisement. 027 Wood Style Mystery, Birth of the Tree Realm. Advertisement. War is not a child's play, and many people will die. Third generation is not a child, and is indifferent to Luli's ridicule. Peace won by kneeling down will not last long. Peace is a pure land created by the powerful ability to stop war. I still say that, even if Haiga Hizashi is going to die, he should die in the hands of the enemy, not his own people. Hands. Luli recalled the history of the Celestial Dynasty. The century of humiliation in modern times was actually the result of kneeling down and begging for peace. Only by standing up, taking up arms, and striking the enemy head on, will peace truly come. The ability to stop fighting. Does Kanaha still have the ability to stop fighting? Third generation side. Of course there is. Luli exudes a strong self-confidence. I saw his hands put together to form a seal. His seal movement shocked the third generation, Danzo, Koharu, and Homura present. Especially the third generation, even with just a quick glance, immediately recognized this ninjutsu. What is he going to do? The answer will be revealed in the next moment. Wood style mystery, the birth of the tree realm? Bang bang bang. The entire ground fell apart in an instant, and countless trees burst out of the ground, growing rapidly, and the trees seemed to be uprooted. In just an instant, most of the residents of the Haiga clan turned into a primeval forest. All offense and defense in the forest are controlled by Luli. This, this is wood style. It's impossible. Danzo was in hysterics. It's the wood style secret technique, birth of the tree realm. Isn't this kind of technique only Shodei can perform? Mitokado Homura looked at the trees around him that had replaced the buildings, and he couldn't be more shocked. Advertisement. Even the third generation, known as the professor of ninjutsu, who was used to seeing the wind and rain, witnessed the brilliance of the first generation and the second generation, was dumbfounded at the moment. It felt like a hammer hit the head, buzzed, and fell into a blank. He thought that Luli might awaken wood style, but never thought it would be so soon. This is the wood style secret technique that only first Hokage can perform. It's true wood style. It is not the same concept as Yamato created by Danzo using Hashirama's cells, Shodei's wood style art. Hayaga Hayashi and everyone in Hayaga's family gasped in unison. No wonder this guy dares to destroy the Hayaga family. No wonder he dared to say that he has a strong ability to stop fighting. You know, Shodei ended Sengoku with wood style, established Kanaha village, and defeated Uchiha Madara. This is the power that the god of ninja deserves? Now, a 13-year-old kid from the Senju family has inherited this power completely. Is the sky in Kanaha village about to change? No, I'm afraid the sky of the entire ninja world will change. While third generation was shocked, he felt a little relieved. He is indeed old, as evidenced by the decaying chakra. In the past few years, he has been worrying about Hokage's successor and the future of the village. Therefore, he longed in his heart for the emergence of individual heroes among the younger generation of the village. After the Nine Tails Rebellion, with the death of the fourth generation, Jinchuriki, instead of becoming the fighting force of the village, became a time bomb. Kanaha Village has entered a period of lack of top combat power. Cloud Shinobi Village saw this and was so aggressive. Advertisement. In fact, after the death of the first generation, the method of sealing the tailed beast was lost along with the wood style. Nine Tails has become a constant hidden danger in the village. So third generation and Danzo mobilized the whole village to carry out research on Hashirama cells, hoping to make Kanaha have wood style again. But as a large number of volunteers died in the experiment, third generation had to stop, and all relevant records were sealed as black history. A large part of these sacrifices were members of the Senja clan, but Danzo didn't give up. He didn't care how much he had to sacrifice, and he didn't give up until he reached his goal. Together with Orikimura, he secretly plundered the Senja tribe, and even kidnapped babies from surrounding villages to conduct experiments on his own. But at the price of cruelty, there was really one case that succeeded. Danzo cultivated another ninja Tenso who could use wood style besides Hashirama. Danzo almost sacrificed the entire Senja clan for a Tianzang who only knew half of wood style. A large number of Senja people died in the experiment, and many Senja people ran away out of fear, and changed their surnames. This is the real reason for the decline of the Senja clan. 
And Luli, is one of the few survivors in this disaster? Out of selfishness, Danzo did not tell third generation about the existence of Tianzang. But when the third generation discovered the wood-style ninja later, they did not punish Danzo. He just led Umbu to surround Danzo's lair on the third floor and the third floor, and took the wood-style ninja under his command. The third generation is very tolerant towards Danzo, as long as his crimes don't make a fuss and the whole village knows about it. He keeps one eye open and one eye closed. Third generation always believes that where there is light, there must be shadows. He is the Hokage who is always warm in the sun, and Danzo is the decisive root in the dark. The two complement each other, and indeed once made Kanaha village the strongest tolerance village. In order to obtain wood style that can suppress nine tails, third generation sacrificed the entire Senja clan. His hands were stained with the blood of his compatriots, but he only got a Tianzang who was not in his eyes. Advertisement. In the end, it was Senja, the dead tree, that came back to spring again and bore the most successful fruit. Third generation's heart is extremely sad at the moment. The truth is, it's not just third generation. As the same period as third generation, Kohara and Homura, who are now high-ranking Kanaha, were even more shocked. Shocked, Kohara and Homura looked at each other, seeing the irrepressible excitement in each other's eyes. Their minds are much darker than those of the third generation. The rise of Luli is already unstoppable, as long as it does not conflict with their own interests, they will not hesitate to side with Luli on most issues. Therefore, they have made up their minds, since Luli wants to protect Hayaga Hizashi, they overturn the previous resolution. It doesn't matter if you fight against the Hayaga clan, Hayaga's family is gone, and the big deal is to support the branch house. Anyway, their descendants will inherit the white eyes, and there will be no curse mark, caged bird. Anyone else want to sacrifice Hayaga Hizashi to beg for mercy from Cloud Shinobi village? Luli's voice resounds throughout Hayaga's house, needle drop can be heard in the audience. After a long time, an elder of the Hayaga family took a deep breath, suppressed the shock and fear in his heart, and explained, whether it is the main family or the branch house, they are all children of my Hayaga family. Kill your own child. If it weren't for the aggressiveness of Cloud Shinobi Village, for the sake of the peace of the village, we would have reluctantly made this move. Hisashi is the child I grew up with, if there is no other way, how can I bear it? Yes, it's all about protecting the secrets of the Hayaga clan and the hard-won peace of the village. The elders of the Hayaga family spoke up to explain. The attitude has come to a 180-degree reversal. The contrast between the front and back was so strong that Luli's mouth Kakuza twitched involuntarily. Ask for flowers. Gentlemen, beg for everything. 028 War and Peace. Advertisement. In fact, in the eyes of the Hayaga clan, the people in the branch house are similar to servants, and sometimes even worse. Hayaga's elders performed a show, people who didn't know it thought that their family really regarded the branch house people as their relatives. Unfortunately, Luli knows the truth. Now, since everyone is here, let's talk about the truth. Luli restrained Chakra and said calmly, Makes sense again? Is it reasonable to directly hit us in the face with the tree world like just now? All the people present were crazily complaining in their hearts. However, this time Luli really only spoke the truth. This is called Moyai. In other words, soldiers first and then salutes. The world of Hokage values strength the most. If you are not strong, people will dare to stand on your head and shit, and force you to eat it after shit. Obviously, Luli's appearance is strong enough, and his strength is scary enough. So when he speaks the truth, no one dares not to listen. Even Danzo can only shiver in a corner at the moment. At any time, I can't agree to exchange the lives of my compatriots for humble peace. That is not the will of fire, and it is not the original intention of Kanaha village. If a Hayaga Hizashi is sacrificed today, Cloud Shinobi village will only see our weakness and think we are easy to bully. What follows will be endless coercion and demands. Luli turned into a big fool and started his own political propaganda. Peace cannot be obtained through compromise, only through struggle can we obtain real peace. Not only can we not hand over Hayaga Hizashi, but we must also investigate Cloud Shinobi village for kidnapping Hayaga Hineda. Cloud Shinobi village must give us an explanation. If Cloud Shinobi village cannot give us a satisfactory explanation, then we will not hesitate to fight. Anyone who offends my Kanaha village will be punished no matter how far away. This is the real will of fire. Advertisement. Only in this way, Kanaha village regains the initiative, and those who pray for peace will be our enemies, then the long-term peace and stability of Kanaha village will truly come. In fact, Luli has even more powerful political ideals, such as unifying the ninja world, deposing daimyo, and establishing a unified ninja country. Of course, now is obviously not the time to talk about this. Luli's voice rang through Hayaga's house, everyone here could hear clearly, including Niji who was still with Hineda at this time. When I heard Luli say that the family was going to sacrifice their father to meet the difficulties of Cloud Shinobi village, Niji is out of anger. Since he was a child, he was indoctrinated with the idea of protecting his family. If his father was killed in the hands of the enemy, he would be proud of his father even though he was sad. However, if his his father is to die at the hands of his own people, Niji cannot accept it anyway, because he felt that such a clan was not worthy of their protection, no wonder what his father did today was so weird, Niji couldn't help but feel chills when he thought about it, if it weren't for Luli's action, he might lose his father forever, compared to Niji's anger, Hineda's expression was blank, in fact, it is not the first time Cloud Shinobi Village has done this kind of kidnapping, back then, they held young Uzumaki Kushina hostage in order to get nine tails, years later, the old trick was repeated, Luli later recalled that in the original Hokage plot, Hineda was kidnapped at the age of three by the head of the mission at Cloud Shinobi Village, during the whole incident, there was no Senja tribe, but in the world he traveled to, the hijacking incident was five years late, advertisement, Luli suspected that the Hokage world he traveled through should be a parallel world of the original book. Of course, it is also possible to say that his time travel distorted the time and space, and the butterfly effect produced. However, according to Luli's observation and understanding, the situation in this world is roughly in line with the Hokage world he is familiar with. In fact, Luli's speech was not as deafening as imagined. If this remark was made before Luli showed his powerful wood style, then everyone present would scoff. It was Luli's powerful strength that made Kanaha's senior management seriously consider these words. Such situations, no matter where they are, abound. The so-called people speak lightly, a person who has no weight, no matter how nice and reasonable his words are, they are useful. But if it is a person who has the ability to control the fate of others, even if he farts, others can smell chakra. Just when everyone was silent. In your opinion, what should we do next? The third generation has spoken. Simple. Luli looked directly into third generation's eyes and said, while denouncing Cloud Shinobi Village and asking them to give us an explanation. At the same time, we are preparing for war with all our strength, showing the courage to start an all-out war with it. Our goal is not war, but peace. If if they don't know what is good or bad, we don't mind fighting on the battlefield until they pray for peace. Third generation pondered for a moment, and said, why don't you negotiate with them directly, and talk about other things if you can't agree? Luli sneered, what you can't get on the battlefield, you can't get it on the negotiating table. Third generation's gaze was fixed, the shock that Luli gave him today was
when things come to an end, they will always choose the solution with the least loss in the short term. Advertisement. Sacrifice a high gahizashi and a possible war, as long as a normal person chooses the former no matter how you look at it. They also know that this is a palliative, not a permanent cure. It's like chopping off the hand if the hand is broken, or chopping off the foot if the foot is sore. But a person has only one body, chopping off hands today, chopping off feet tomorrow, will be beheaded the day after tomorrow? Third generation looked at the others present and said, what do you think? Koharu and Homura looked at each other and took the lead in expressing their views. Now Kanaha village, there is no need to compromise. This is Koharu's attitude. We don't want war, but if it's for peace, we have no choice. Homura agrees with Luli, third generation secretly cursed, two old foxes. After a brief discussion with the senior members of the Hayaga family, Hayaga Hayashi stated, if war is unavoidable, the Hayaga family will not hesitate to fight. As a result, most of Kanaha's senior management are on Luli's side. At this moment, Danzo, who had been silent all this time, spoke up. He sneered, don't forget, Kanaha and the Uchiha clan are ready to move. Once the war starts, there is no guarantee that Uchiha will turn to the enemy and fight back. This is indeed a problem that cannot be ignored. Everyone looked at Luli. Luli knows the whole process of Uchiha being exterminated in the original book and all the causes and consequences. If there is anyone here who can perfectly solve the hidden danger of Uchiha, it must be Luli. Luli said loudly, Uchiha is nothing, you don't need to worry too much, just leave it to me. As soon as these words came out, everyone thought that Luli must be planning to use his powerful strength to force the Uchiha clan to bow their heads. Advertisement. 029 I announced the abolition of the Hayaga clan clan and branch house system. Advertisement. After Luli promised that he would solve the troubles of the Uchiha clan, the Kanaha executives present had no worries, and agreed to resolve the dispute with Cloud Shinobi Village according to the policy proposed by Luli. It's just that they still need to study the details. The birth of Luli has completely changed Kanaha's situation, and many current policies need to be improved. At this moment, the voice of the system sounded in Luli's mind. Ding, congratulations to host for completing the check-in task and checking in now. 1%, 2%. 51%, 99%, 100%. Ding, congratulations to host for successfully signing in. Get the sign-in reward, illusion immunity. Ding, you will get an extra reward for signing in this time, sweaty boundary white eyes. Ding, you will get an extra reward for signing in this time, curse breaking cage breaking. Three rewards? I even got three kinds of rewards for signing in once. Luli herself was taken aback. Illusion immunity? Then, the Sherry non of the Uchiha clan will be invalidated in front of Luli. Roll your eyes. Wait, I don't have a 360 degree view right now. Luli felt it slightly, and immediately understood. The white eyes he got can be opened when needed like Sherry non, and closed at any time when not needed. Not bad. Luli was very satisfied with this setting. Otherwise, it would be quite creepy to walk around with a pair of pale eyes. This is not the most important thing. What Luli really cares about is that he doesn't want to lose his pair of black eyes that can fascinate thousands of girls. It is worth mentioning that Luli's current body looks exactly the same as before time travel. Advertisement. If Luli hadn't obtained the memory of the former owner of this body, he would have thought that he had traveled over with his body. As for the spellbreaking technique, breaking the cage, what the hell is this? Luli thought about this question for a while, and a hint of understanding immediately appeared in his mind. Unspell breaking cage is a spell unraveling specifically for the curse seal caged bird. As we all know, the curse mark, caged bird on the forehead of the person in the Hayaga branch house is unsolvable, and it will be automatically released only after death. However, now that Luli has gained the understanding of the spell, breaking the cage, this iron law will become history. Luli can easily remove the curse mark caged bird on the foreheads of those Hayaga branch house people. If I undo Niji's caged bird, judging from the talent it exhibited under the suppression of the curse seal, will it create a genius among geniuses? This idea is very interesting. In one day, Luli completed two check-in tasks. Wood style, illusion immunity, roll your eyes, break the cage, the rewards are so rich that it's frightening to death. He suddenly had a bold idea, after he crossed over, although his surname was Senjo, he was alone. You must know that the other high-level members of Kanaha are backed by family forces. So, now is the time for Luli to cultivate his own influence? It is inaccurate to say that it is cultivated, because he is going to plunder directly. Just when everyone thought that today's matter had come to an end, Luli suddenly said loudly, there is one more thing, I want to announce. When he opened his mouth, everyone listened attentively. I declare that, from now on, the Hayaga clan will abolish the clan and branch house systems. The clan is still the head of the clan, but it is forbidden to use the spell caged bird on clan members. Advertisement. As soon as this remark came out, the whole Hayaga family boiled. Third generation, Danzo, Kohara, Homura, these high-ranking Kanahas who are not from the Hayaga family, all looked stunned and unbelievable. This guy, how dare. Hayaga Hayashi was already on the verge of fury, if Luli hadn't shown his strength before, he would have made a move now, and it's immortal. Hayaga Hayashi's whole body was full of momentum, and he shouted angrily, Senjo Luli, don't bully people too much, why do you need an outsider to point fingers at the internal affairs of my Hayaga family? Luli said unhurriedly, the clan and branch house system of the Hayaga clan, although it is to protect Bian, the bloodline, but at the same time, it also buried countless talented clansmen, it was almost at the cost of sacrificing the whole clan, it's not fair to come to support the zone family, this sentence simply expresses the aspirations of everyone in the Hayaga branch house, especially Hayaga Hizashi who escaped from the dead, not to mention, at this time, Hayaga Hizashi was already in tears, no matter what, he never imagined that Luli forcibly reversed the original mortal situation. Who would want to die if they could live well? From his point of view, Luli is risking the entire Kanaha as an enemy today to save him, Hayaga Hizashi. It is Luli who is using actions to defend him. It is no exaggeration to say that this also completely changed Hayaga Niji's life. For Hayaga Hizashi, this grace is like rebirth. What moved Hayaga Hizashi even more than saving his life was that Luli, as an outsider, challenged the family system that has oppressed the branch house for generations. If Luli is a member of the Hayaga family, at this moment, Hayaga Hizashi will follow him without hesitation. Even if he ends up being wiped out by the clan, he will never regret it. The grace of saving life is already a great grace that is hard to repay. But there is something more important than life in this world, and that is freedom. Luli is now fighting for the freedom of their branch house people. Fight for liberation? Advertisement. This kind of kindness is greater than the grace of saving life, greater than the sky. Whether it is fair or not is a matter of my Hayaga family. What has it to do with you as an outsider? The elders of the Hayaga family spoke in support of Hayaga Hayashi. Luli laughed, very loudly. Ha ha ha, an outsider? 
Although my surname is Senjo, who in the Hayaga family would dare to call me an outsider. Roll your eyes, open. Lu Li's originally pitch black eyes instantly turned blue white, the veins around the eyes bulged, and black marks appeared in the pupils. After Lu Li's white eyes opened, he entered the battle mode directly. Unlike Niji's white eyes restricted by caged bird, Lu Li's white eyes are the same as those of the Hayaga clan, with 360 degrees without dead ends. At this moment, Lu Li gained an unprecedented visual experience. He doesn't need to turn his eyes or head at all, he can see everything around him, including the meridians in the surrounding human body and the flow of chakra. Hayaga Hayashi, open your old dizzy white eyes and see clearly, am I an outsider? Lu Li's voice shook people's hearts. Blind eyes, how can you have white eyes? It's impossible. Hayaga Hayashi seemed to have seen the most terrifying thing in the world, and staggered back a few steps before standing still. Blind eyes, how is this possible? It's a supercilious look, but his surname is Senju. Is Senju Luli the outcast blood of the Hayaga family? Why does his eyes open differently from ours? The people present in the Hayaga family, no matter the main family or the branch house, can clearly see Luli's white eyes through the ability to roll their eyes. For a while, the entire Hayaga clan fell into a strange situation. Ho 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 ho, is anyone still watching? Where are the flowers? What about comments? Are there rewards? Advertisement. 030 The Hayaga clan is completely divided. Please collect. Advertisement. If it is said that Luli shocked everyone when he performed wood style. Then after he opened his eyes, he directly caused the Hayaga clan to be in a mess, and even began to doubt life. People who were not from Hayaga's family were also shocked for no reason. Wood style? Roll your eyes. Two powerful blood inheritance boundaries appeared on a person's body. Moreover, it seems that it is still awakened innately, and it is not the same concept as acquired plunder. Among these people, Danzo's eyes are red with envy. Danzo also has two kinds of blood succession boundaries, wood style, and sherry non. But the former was obtained by transplanting cells from first Hokage, and the latter was obtained by transplanting sherry non from the Uchiha family. He racked his brains and went through untold hardships to get these things. Now, the person in front of him has awakened two kinds of blood inheritance boundaries at the same time. There is really no harm without comparison? At this moment, Danzo's heart has received 10,000 real damage. And for Haiga Hayashi, Luli rolled his eyes at this time, and the blow to him was like being bombarded by 10 tailed beast bombs in a row. You must know that the oppression of the branch house by the Haiga family has reached a very terrible level. Think about what happened to the father and son Haiga Hizashi and Haiga Niji. It is not an exaggeration to say that the life of the father and son is a tragedy. Don't forget, Haiga Hizashi is Haiga Hayashi's twin brother. Brother, the result is that sacrifice is sacrificed. After Hizashi's death, Niji was not treated kindly by the main family either. Even his father's last words were not told until years after he had been tormented by hatred. Advertisement. Niji even tried to kill Hineda many times. Such a knot in his heart was finally untied lightly. What's even more bloody is that Niji sacrificed himself to save Hineda and Naruto in the end. This plot can be said to be very poisonous. The owner's younger brother is treated like this. Imagine how the other people in the branch house will live in dire straits. And Luli went to war with Cloud Shinobi village for a Haiga Hizashi. Now it is to liberate the people in the branch house and directly turn against the Haiga clan? How will the people at Haiga branch house see Luli in comparison to the two? At this moment, I am afraid that in the eyes of the Haiga branch house, Luli is the savior, be the liberator. What makes the people in Haiga branch house feel excited is that Luli also has supercilious eyes. It's not the clan, but there is no blind eye sealed by caged bird. What are people most afraid of? I am most afraid of no hope, and Luli let the people of Haiga branch house see the hope of freedom. At the same time, the unwillingness, resentment, frustration, helplessness, and despair that have been suppressed for a lifetime in the hearts of the people in Haiga branch house. At this moment, it exploded. Haiga Hizashi, who was in tears, walked up to Luli, knelt down on one knee, and said in a loud voice, Master Luli, I, Haiga Hizashi, from now on, I will leave the Haiga clan and only want to follow you, I will never regret it, although die without regrets. He wants to break away from the Haiga clan, for freedom, he wants to follow Luli. What Haiga Hizashi did at this time was undoubtedly the gunpowder curry who fired the first grenade in the Haiga branch house. Isn't this throwing a grenade at Haiga Hayashi's head? Haiga Hizashi, how dare you betray the Haiga clan? I will kill you. Haiga Hizashi was furious. He was about to activate the curse mark, caged bird on Haiga Hizashi's forehead when he formed a Madra with one hand. Advertisement. At this time, back off. Luli snorted coldly. A huge coercion suddenly radiated from his white eyes, which directly shocked Haiga Hayashi to stagger back, and even blood oozed from Kakusa's mouth. Your eyes, how is this possible? Haiga Hayashi looked at Luli in disbelief. Luli has just used Pian to activate a legendary pupil technique that is only recorded in the Haiga family's tome. According to speculation, only the superciliously pure white eyes can activate that kind of pupil technique. That's right, only at Satsuki Kagaya can do this kind of pupil technique performed by Luli in the Hokage plot. The huge coercion is emitted through the white eyes, directly shaking the surrounding people into a state of dizziness, and even causing substantial damage to the space. Haiga Hizashi is now my Senjo Luli's man, who dares to touch him. Luli's voice echoed over Haiga's house, who dares to touch him, dare to move him, move him, he, and Luli's next move not only made the Haiga clan completely crazy, but even people with foreign surnames like third generation and Danzo felt unbelievable. Haiga Hizashi, since you are willing to follow me, then I will help you break out of the cage, and you will be free. Luli reached out and caressed Haiga Hizashi's forehead, and the X-shaped curse mark, caged bird on Haiga Hizashi's forehead then turned into dots of fluorescent light and dissipated in the world. Curse seal caged bird. Break. In an instant, Haiga Hizashi felt the shackles on his brain break. Advertisement. A sense of relaxation that I have never experienced before fills my whole body. Is this what freedom feels like? Very nice. Master Luli, Haiga Hizashi's life will be yours from now on. Haiga Hizashi burst into tears. If you haven't lost your freedom, you won't realize its preciousness. Crazy? The whole Haiga family is crazy? The scene is completely out of control. Lord Luli, I, Haiga Desi, from now on, I will leave the Haiga clan and only wish to follow you. I will never regret it. Even if I die, I will have no regrets. Master Luli, I, Haiga Peng, from now on, I will leave the Haiga clan and only wish to follow you. I will never regret it. Even if I die, I will have no regrets. Master Luli, I, Haiga, inverted, all Haiga branch houses are separated from the Haiga clan. However, Haiga Hayashi and other clans can only watch. Because of Lu Li's existence, Curse Mark, Caged Bird completely lost its deterrence at this moment. On this day, the main family of the Haiga clan and the branch house completely separated. Meanwhile, in Kanaha village, a powerful faction headed by Lu Li is beginning to emerge. All of them have powerful white eyes, which are not sealed by Caged Bird. Ask for flowers. Are there any collections? Are there any flowers
From showing great strength to gaining the followers of Haiga Branch House, what Luli did undoubtedly caused an unprecedented shock in Kanaha Village. This young man surnamed Senju, while having the terrifying strength of First Hokage, also has the political acumen and iron-blooded skills of Second Hokage. A powerful family that had been passed down for hundreds of years was disintegrated in minutes. Let the Haiga family almost become a bear commander? The method may not be so clever, but it is enough to shock people. Even third generation not only side, this is a person who was born for Hokage. And Danzo, he has heart palpitations and excitement. Kanaha Village, the former Senju resident. This used to be the most prosperous family residence in Kanaha Village, with an excellent location. Since the decline of the Senju clan, this place has been empty. Later. For some reason, it became the headquarters of Root. Danzo's lair is here. Now, Luli leads thousands of people from the original Haiga branch house to come here in mighty force. They dragged their families with them. Except for children and the elderly, everyone was carrying on their shoulders, and their luggage and packages were piled up like a mountain. More than 90% of the population of the Haiga family is here, and it is not impossible to say that the whole family relocates. Among them are father and son Haiga Hizashi and Haiga Niji. They betrayed the Haiga clan and chose to follow Luli, so they left the Haiga clan's residence. In order to resettle them, Luli had no choice but to bring them to the original Senju family residence. But, now Danzo and his roots take over here. In Luli's eyes, the things of the Senju clan are his Luli's things. So, Luli wants to get back his things? Looking at the root headquarters that are as strong as a fortress in front of you. Without any hesitation, Luli directly seals and activates the wood-style technique wood-style secret technique birth of the tree realm. Bang bang bang, the thick tree roots broke through the ground and exploded all the buildings in front of them. Advertisement. In the collapsed building, the root members rushed out like bereaved dogs in disgrace. Senja Luli, you will pay dearly for what you did today. Danzo stood on a jutting tree trunk, his face somber. Luli sneered, and didn't bother to pay attention to him. The second wood-style technique hit him directly in the face wood-style wooden golem jetsu. The tree trunk under Danzo's feet grew wildly, and in a blink of an eye a giant wooden golem appeared. Danzo's complexion changed, and he jumped off wooden golem in a hurry, trying to escape. Danzo, don't be in such a hurry, let's dance. Wooden golem stretched out two fingers and pinched Danzo, who was still in the air, between them. That way, it's like a person pinching a bedbug. Danzo's horrified dead soul spit out a sharp breath similar to a weasel from his mouth wind-style vacuum wave. Vacuum wave is a wind style that Danzo is good at. It can easily cut off the target's body and the chopper that protects the body. However, the vacuum wave hit wooden golem's finger at this time, but it couldn't cause any damage to wooden golem. But this is also the most normal situation. You know, the wooden golem jutsu cast by Luli is at the same level as first generation. Wooden golem's combat power is comparable to that of a full-body Susano. It can catch tailed beast bombs with one hand and counterattack with tailed beast bombs. Both offensive and defensive are strong, especially good at physical attacks. Even the nine tails controlled by Lord Madara, Luli's wooden golem can compete with it without losing the wind. Wooden golem also has room for Luli in his head and is also very solid defensively. This is a technique that only first generation and Luli, who possess both sage body and wood style, can perform. A bag of rice can withstand several floors. Luli controlled the wooden golem, directly pressed Danzo to the ground, and rubbed hard. Rub rub, it's the devil's pace. Soon, only a blurred pool of flesh remained in the big pit on the ground, and Danzo's chakra disappeared. Dead? It's not that easy, really. The next moment, Danzo's chakra appeared in another position. Advertisement. And the flesh and blood in the pit also disappeared. Watching Danzo disappear into the distance in a flash. Is an aggie. The corners of Luli's mouth curled up slightly. He knew that Danzo had mastered that forbidden technique, but could he escape for a while, for a lifetime? Hayaga Hizashi and all the original Hayaga branch house people have witnessed this one-sided devastation? That's the fearsome Shimura Danzo who holds the root? But in Luli's hands, it is no different from a bedbug? Squeeze it if you want to explode it. Squeeze it if you want to crush it. You can play however you want. It's too, brutal? Is this the strength of the ninja god? No wonder first generation is able to bring peace to troubled times. They looked at Luli with reverence and admiration in their eyes. It's this man who will free them from their cages? Next, Luli took control of the wooden golem and raised the former Senju clan settlement to the ground. A large piece of flat land appeared in front of my eyes. Then, Luli launched wood style Lian Zijia. In an instant, with the earth shaking and loud bangs, rows of single family villas rose from the ground. This kind of wood style technique that even Yamato can perform is like playing house in Luli's hands, so simple and effortless. Finish. Luli clapped his hands and thought to himself, FK, if you return to the previous world with this ability, you will be a proper real estate tycoon. A luxury villa complex will be built in minutes. Infrastructure maniac? That's it. Wood style is amazing, it can fight, and it can also do construction, it is a versatile little helper. After finishing the residency, Luli immediately held a general fan meeting. Hi Gahizashi, I appoint you as their leader. I leave everything here to you. Advertisement. This is the arrangement that Luli had thought of long ago. Of course, it is impossible for him to waste time and energy on these trivial things. Hands off the shopkeeper, isn't it fragrant? Master Luli, Haiga Hizashi had a respectful attitude. He stepped forward and said, since we have separated from the Haiga clan, we don't want to use the surname Haiga anymore. After discussing with several of our representatives, we decided to change the surname, change Haiga to Qian Xiang. I hope Master Luli will grant you, Qian Xiang. Luli was taken aback. Senju and Haiga, Luli doesn't care about this kind of thing. He thought for a while, and said loudly, in this case, I will announce that from today onwards, the Sengxiang clan will be formally established. Haiga Hizashi, no, Sengxiang Hizashi, I appoint you as the first Sengxiang clan patriarch. As soon as these words came out, the scene immediately erupted into cheers like a tsunami. Long live, long live, long live, long live Master Luli, long live the Qianxiang family. Hizashi stretched out his hand and pressed it, and the whole process fell silent immediately. Hizashi roared, I swear in the name of the patriarch of the Senju clan that I, the Senju clan, would like to enshrine Senju Luli as the master and protect Senju Luli to the death. Let my Qianxiang clan and the whole clan suffer a terrible death, just like this eye. As he said that, Qianxiang Hizashi stabbed his finger directly into his right eye in front of everyone. Hizashi, father, the owner, everyone, including Luli, was taken aback. But it's too late to stop it. Qianxiang Hizashi cut out his right eye and held it in the palm of his hand, ignoring the bleeding right eye. He just walked up to Luli, knelt down on one knee, and respectfully said, Master. The next moment, all the Qianxiang clansmen knelt on one knee and shouted, Master, ask for flowers. It's too quiet, can't it be that no one is watching? Advertisement. 032 missing a maid to warm the bed, 
Please collect. Advertisement. When he was at Hayaga's house, Luli just had the mentality of trying, thinking that it would be good if he could abduct the father and son, Hisashi, and Niji. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be an overwhelming response, almost hollowing out the Hayaga clan. If I bully his father like this, that girl Hineda will bite me next time she sees me. Luli put his hands in his pockets, and when he walked out of the gate of King Ziyang's family residence, he suddenly turned around. Then I saw two little guys hiding behind the gate in a panic. Hey, I saw it, come out. Two little heads poked out from behind the door. It was Niji and Hineda. Hineda, why did you run out? If your father finds out about this, he will break your leg. Luli is a little speechless, this cheating girl is so heartless. Hineda ran over bouncingly, stuck out her little tongue, and said, Daddy doesn't have time to take care of me right now. That's right, Hayaga Hayashi probably can't even cry now, master. Niji also followed, just about to speak. Luli interrupted him, just call me big brother Lu. Now Luli is four years older than Niji, more than enough to be his big brother. If the age before time travel is also added, it will be enough for Niji to call him uncle, brother Lu. Little Niji was still very obedient. Luli touched his head and said, your father's eyes. Well, it's completely unnecessary. Advertisement. Niji clenched his fists and said excitedly, no, I can completely understand my father, he has always been my hero. Luli nodded and said with a smile, that's good. Brother Lu, you too. Niji looked at Luli adoringly. Really, ha ha ha. Luli scratched her scalp, laughing so hard that her mouth almost split to the base of her ears. Niji slattering, comfortable. Luli big brother, you are also a big hero in my heart. Hineda hugged Luli's thigh, looking forward to hope. Luli tipped a chestnut on the little girl's forehead, and said angrily, If you bend your elbows out at such a young age, I will teach you a lesson for your father, but, I like it. Leaving King Ziyang's station, Luli went straight to the Hokage building. Third generation had already sent someone to inform Luli to attend Kanaha's high-level meeting. There is no doubt that Luli has become Kanaha's top management, and it is the kind that plays a pivotal role. Now Luli doesn't have to worry about everyone including third generation, it can be said bluntly that in the current ninja world, Luli can walk sideways. At this moment, the Xiao organization is still recruiting troops everywhere. Orikimuro is still studying the Book of Reincarnation, and Yakushi Kabuto has not mastered Impure World Reincarnation either. As for Obito, let alone a tailed beast, he doesn't even have a root-tailed beast hair. There is no one who can fight. Moreover, wood style and supercilious eyes are already the limit of their imagination. Actually, that wasn't Lu Li's peak at all. Advertisement. His peak will always be after the next check-in. However, Lu Li has always felt that he is a reasonable person. Of course, if someone doesn't want to listen, Lu Li doesn't mind warming him up first before reasoning. Lu Li was the last attendee to reach the Hokage building. When Lu Li walked into the door of the conference room, third generation, Kohara, Homura. Kanaha's big bosses all looked at him with resentment. As for Danzo, it's like eating a dead child, it's called a blue skinny mushroom. In addition, Daimyo from the Land of Fire also came to participate. Ah, I was a little late helping the old lady across the road on the way here, so I came a little late. Luli blushed and found a lame excuse for being late. As he spoke, he glanced at Danzo. This guy Danzo dared to come, he's kind of kind. Of course, in this case, Luli really wouldn't make a move. It's like two mortal enemies who are officials in the court. In private, they want to tear each other into pieces, but when discussing matters in the court, they have to use their mouths but not their hands. Once everyone is present, the meeting begins. Third generation cleared his throat and said, everyone is very clear about what happened recently. The envoys from Cloud Shinobi Village clearly came here to form an alliance, but they secretly wanted to get the secret of being blind. Fortunately, Senjo Luli stopped Cloud Shinobi Village in time. However, Cloud Shinobi Village complained first, saying that we executed their envoys for no reason, threatening that if the body of Patriarch Hayaga is not handed over, we'll never give up. In the beginning, someone suggested to use Hayaga Hisashi from Hayaga Branch House to pretend to be the owner of Hayaga Branch House, so as to calm down the matter. And we didn't think it through. If it wasn't for Senjo Luli, we almost caused a catastrophe. As he said this, third generation glanced at Danzo. The latter, who barked the loudest in every high-level meeting, was sitting in his seat at this time, looking at his nose, nose, and heart, as honest as a dog. Advertisement. In the whole incident, it was Cloud Shinobi Village who broke their promises first, and they treated the Sacred Alliance contract as a trifle that can be trampled on and used at will, and we have to sacrifice our compatriots to cater to Cloud Shinobi Village, isn't it a slippery world? Funny. The voice of the third generation gradually became louder. I, Sarutobi Hiruzen, as a third Hokage, will not agree, nor will I forgive this behavior. These words of the third generation basically set the tone for this Kanaha high-level meeting. But the words below third generation directly made Luli's face full of black lines. Third generation took a breather and said, but war is cruel. It will not only kill people, but also destroy our poor economy. Therefore, I propose to sit down and talk with Cloud Shinobi Village first, and we can't agree. Before he finished speaking, he saw Luli standing up. Third generation had no choice but to stop his speech and said instead, Senjo Luli, do you have anything to say? Luli glanced at the people present at the meeting, and said, of course countries must coexist peacefully. Peace is the goal, and struggle is the means of peace. Peace is relative, but struggle is absolute. Only through struggle can there be peace. True peace. There is a great man who said this, if unity is sought through struggle, unity will survive. If unity is sought through retreat, unity will perish. I also said before that what cannot be obtained in war cannot be obtained at the negotiating table. So, talk, there is nothing to talk about. Just tell Cloud Shinobi Village that you must give us an explanation within the time limit. If not, then we have to fight each other on the battlefield. I heard that there are two perfect Jinchuriki in Cloud Shinobi Village. Killer B is fine, I am not interested in rough muscular men. I heard that the second Jinchuriki with two tails, wooden golem, is a rare big beauty, and I, we just need a maid to warm the bed. Lu Li's words immediately caused the whole room to burst into laughter, but it eased a lot of the tense atmosphere. Don't laugh, I'm serious. I know that you are worried about the rebellion of the Uchiha clan, and I said before that I will solve this matter. Everyone held their breath when Lu Li said Uchiha. It is not a day or two for Uchiha to rebel. He had planned a revolution before, but it failed because of Uchiha Shisui's suicide. Once Kanaha goes to war with Cloud Shinobi Village, Uchiha will be an internal ticking time bomb. Please collect. Ask for flowers. Advertisement. 033 finalized the strategy. Please collect. Ask for flowers. Advertisement. Danzo, who has always been well-behaved like a little daughter-in-law, suddenly said, Uchiha is a group of wolf cubs who are not familiar with it. Just exterminate the family. Luli didn't even look at him, but said indifferently, When I talk, the dog had better not bark. In the conference room, the already tense atmosphere suddenly became tense. Everyone here, as a high-ranking member of Kanaha, knows something about Danzo sending a team of ten people to assassinate Luli. After all, there was so much movement that night, anyone who wasn't blind could see it. Luli is not the third generation, if you dare to assassinate him, it
It's because I'm in a good mood that I didn't rub you Danzo on the floor of the conference room. Being insulted by Luli as a dog, Danzo must be furious. But he only dared to grit his teeth and didn't even have the courage to talk back. The previous fight at King Zeong Station let Danzo know a fact. He knew that existences at the level of first Hokage were very powerful, otherwise he would not have tirelessly experimented with cells from first generation. However, he thinks that he is already very strong now, even if he is still invincible in the face of an existence of that level, he will not be powerless to fight back, right? But the reality is very cruel, Luli can really crush him like a bug. Let's continue, as we all know, the Uchiha clan was one of the elders who founded Kanaha. Although Uchiha Madara came out later, the rest of the Shiyu's Haibo clan were all on the side of the village. Although the Uchiha clan has not been very peaceful, it cannot change the fact that they are part of the village. Just like in a family, just because a certain child is mischievous, you can't say that he is a child of another family and kick him out of the house. Everyone here is a parent, and you should understand what I mean. The so-called son doesn't teach, it's the father's fault. Uchiha is very naughty, and he has a bad habit of going to the house without fighting for three days. The village has an inescapable responsibility for the current situation. Advertisement. So, the village's policy towards the Uchiha clan needs to be re-established, and that's one of them. Secondly, it's not enough to just give sweet dates, you have to prepare big sticks too. This time, if a war breaks out between us and Cloud Shinobi Village, we will give priority to sending those restless guys from the Uchiha clan into the battlefield. Aren't they screaming and fighting every day? Then let them go to the field and practice hard with the Cloud Shinobi people, so as not to be too energetic and keep making troubles at home. In this way, it will not only eliminate Uchiha's restless factors, but also attack Cloud Shinobi Village, enhance the sense of belonging of the Uchiha clan, and improve the attitude of other people in the village towards Uchiha. It will serve multiple purposes, what do you think? As soon as this remark came out, everyone's eyes widened. In fact, Lu Li's approach is not wise at all, it is nothing more than using external struggles to divert internal conflicts. But listening to these people whose layout only revolves around one village, it is tantamount to opening up a whole new world in front of their eyes. The original work of Hokage is very good looking, with wonderful fights and gorgeous skills, but it has to talk about politics and the art of war. Luli is really ashamed of them. If you randomly pull out one from the history of the Celestial Dynasty, let alone a first-rate, even a second-rate counselor, you will beat them in terms of strategy and vision. In fact, there is no way to do this. In the final analysis, Kanaha Village is equivalent to the existence of a city-state. It is impossible to raise giant whales in a small pond. To put it simply, Kanaha's internal conflicts are actually related to the following three parties. The status is very low in the family, the second son who is excluded, Achiha Group. Very pampered and violent young son, Danzo Group. Good old man, the owner of the family who likes to be kind and muddy, third generation group. Just such a matter that is equivalent to a family, it turned out to be a mess, and in the end even brothers fought against each other. However, the head of the family of the third generation group not only failed to play its due role, it was either a cheerleader or a melanating crowd. Luli really wanted to say, is it fun in the nest? Can your eyes see the world outside the village? Why stick to one village? Advertisement. Go to Raiders Ninja World. Moreover, in Lu Li's view, the so-called Ninja World War is just a scale of hundreds of thousands of troops invested by a few countries. Unlike the world before Luli traveled, once a world war breaks out, dozens of countries join the war, and billions of people are involved in protracted wars. Even if it was any civil war in the history of the Celestial Dynasty, the scale was much larger than the Ninja World War. In addition, personal force in the Hokage world can be so powerful that it can influence the situation of a country or even the entire continent. In the face of absolute power, all conspiracies and tricks are just clouds. So sometimes they really don't use their brains strategically. When a man has a hammer, everything looks like a nail. When a man has a nail in his hand, everything looks like a hammer. This is sometimes a very frustrating thing. Both Koharu and Homura looked at Luli in astonishment. They didn't expect that Luli could plan such an ingenious strategy. It doesn't sound complicated, but they never thought about it that way. Danzo clenched his fists, shocked in his heart. He is originally a hawk inside Kanaha, and he has great ambitions. But he was a 205 who was an expert in fighting inside and an outsider in fighting outside. He held a meeting with the Five Shadows and ended up killing himself. Some say Danzo is the anti-hero who dedicated his life to Kanaha village. In Luli's view, Danzo is a shit stirring stick inside Kanaha. For my own self-interest, I can do everything, sell my teammates in various ways, and then I have no ability to reap it. This kind of person may be useful in individual matters, but for the overall situation, he is simply a pig teammate who is holding back. After third generation heard about Lu Li's plan, they had mixed feelings. Advertisement. Having been Hokage for so many years, his vision is not as good as that of a 13-year-old guy. You know, in the original work of Hokage, it was the third generation who couldn't think of a way to deal with the Uchiha clan, coupled with his inaction, that led to the extermination of the Uchiha clan. According to Lu Li's plan, it can not only counterattack Cloud Shinobi Village, but also check and balance the Uchiha clan. It may damage the vitality of the village, but it will make the whole village twist into one again. The power of his Hokage can also be strengthened and consolidated. And they have the King Bomb Luli in their hands, so the chances of winning are great. The loss of Kanaha can be made up from the defeated side after the battle. Internal and external problems are solved together. Killing many birds with one stone? Senja Luli, how did this guy's head grow? What a freak. Third generation slapped the table with a slap, and said in a deep voice, show your hands and vote. If you agree with Senja Luli's plan, raise your hand. As he spoke, third generation raised his hand first. Kohara and Homura are not far behind. The daimyo hesitated for a moment, but also raised his hand. Only Danzo didn't raise his hand while not saying a word. Okay, most of them pass, we will follow the layout of Senja Luli's plan. The final word on third generation. Ask for flowers. Everyone, if you have flowers and evaluation tickets, please use your little hand to get rich. You send me flowers, and I will give you tsunade. If you don't want tsunade, there will be some yui. What? Boda can't stand it. Don't panic, there are Eno and Sunset. What? You want Hineda? I won't tell you, I won't give this one unless you donate it. Of course, if you like handsome guys, Naruto, Suzuki, Kakashi, Gara, Madara. Take your pick. Advertisement. 034 This is Itaki, alive. Favorites please? Flowers please? Advertisement. After the Kanaha high level meeting ended, it was already dark. Luli was walking on the road, but her thoughts flew far away. As a powerful family that could once rival the Senjo family, the Uchiha family could have become a very powerful military unit in the village. In the end, he was wiped out by the clansmen who encouraged him in the village. This is actually a pity. It is also an irreparable loss for Kanaha. Luli's first small goal is of course to become Hokage. The second small goal is to unify the ninja world. For real peace, a hammer? Does that have something to do with Luli? Luli's purpose is to enjoy life, and become a god of ninja after unifying the ninja world. Wake up and grasp the ninja power, lie drunk on the lap of a beauty, isn't he fragrant? Therefore, for Uchiha, 
a wage earner, Luli will not let him be laid off easily. As a genius of the Uchiha family, Uchiha Itake has a very strange brain circuit. Luli decided to accept him as a little fan, a guy who just fooled around and went to kill his whole family. If you are under the hands of Luli, a big fool, you can't help but rob people's girls with all your heart. Ahem, it seems that I accidentally revealed someone's dark thoughts. In any case, Itake's strength is still very good, and he has always been hiding his strength. Don't talk about the later stage, just at the time of extermination, it's a proper cage level. It's just that Luli needs to help him correct his strange three views. Advertisement. In fact, the period that Luli is in now is very close to the extermination of Uchiha. Therefore, Luli can completely analyze the current actual situation. First of all, the Uchiha clan is indeed very powerful, but it should be the top experts in the clan who really control the overall situation. That is, those who opened Mangekyo. After Shisui's death, among the Uchiha clan, there were only two people who opened Mangekyo. They are Uchiha Itake and the patriarch Uchiha Fugaku. And these two people are against the coup. Then these two people are worthy of being father and son, and their brain circuits are extremely clear. Let's talk about Itake first. He actually has many better ways to deal with this matter than exterminating the clan. As a double agent, he knows the situation on both ends. He can take advantage of intelligence and work on both sides to prevent conflicts from intensifying. If this kind of contradiction is really irreconcilable, when it has to explode, he has at least the following two most basic handling methods. Methods. First, he clearly confessed to his father as the patriarch that he was on the side of the village, and showed his true strength, so that Uchiha Fugaku could recognize the reality and give up the coup. Then urged the Uchiha clan to cooperate with the village's investigation, hand over the few radicals in the clan, and preserve most of the clan members who are still law-abiding. The second is to clearly stand on the side of the family and participate in the coup d'etat. With the top combat power of the two Mangekyo sharing on in the family, they launch a sneak attack, take down Konoha's senior management, and then reorganize the power structure. Although this method will cause a small number of casualties, it does not conflict with the principle of everything for the village. After Uchiha gets power, as long as it doesn't go too far, the village is still a village, and everyone's life has to continue. Why is it so bloody? Or do it yourself? Even if it's for the sake of the village, won't everything be fine if we kill the radicals in the clan? Why bother to wipe out the whole clan? Don't you think of your clan members as part of the village? This logic is really a bit anti-human. Moreover, Uchiha wanted to rebel, and most of them were forced to go to Liangshan. Advertisement. He is also one of the heroes who established the village. He even drove away the old patriarch Madara who loved to dance for the sake of the village. During the Nine Tails Rebellion, the entire Uchiha clan who had not yet rebelled at that time disappeared, and the roots of Danzo did not participate in the war. If Uchiha joins the battle, use Sherinan to suppress Nine Tails, maybe fourth generation won't die in battle. However, the situation is so weird. Afterwards, the Uchiha family was held accountable by Danzo and other high-level Konoha officials, and they were pushed out to the outskirts of the village. No matter how you look at it, it looks like a deliberate conspiracy to suppress the Uchiha clan through the Nine Tails Rebellion. If it is said that the Uchiha clan are all villains who harm the village, then me will also be destroyed. But most of the people in the clan are ordinary villagers, and they are also very kind, such as Itaka's parents, Kwan. Thinking of this, Luli felt that it was necessary for him to meet someone. According to the plot of Hokage, Uchiha was exterminated one night when Itaka was 13 years old. In other words, it could happen tonight. So this matter cannot be delayed. Then, Luli's swagger appeared at the Uchiha clan's residence. It's really remote here, far away from the center of the village. No wonder the Uchiha clan feel aggrieved. The appearance of Luli immediately aroused the vigilance of the Uchiha clan. You know, they discuss the rebellion at Nanhi Shrine every three days. It's no wonder they weren't nervous when an outsider suddenly appeared. Who are you? What are you doing here? A ninja from the Uchiha clan appeared and blocked Luli's way. I'm here to find someone. Luli smiled faintly. Who are you looking for? The man frowned. Luli, Uchiha, Itaki. Advertisement. What do you want him for? When he heard that the person Luli was looking for was Itaki, that person didn't have a good face. Luli thought about it, and immediately understood. The current Itaki's status in the family is not good. In the past, he was considered to be the hope of the Uchiha clan, but after Shisui's death, the clan saw the fact that he stood on the opposite side of the clan. Itaki's relationship with his father was even strained. So in the family, Uchiha Itaki is not popular, and sometimes the situation is even worse than that of an ordinary clansman. You just have to tell me if Uchiha Itaki is here. Luli glanced at the ninja of the Uchiha clan. With just one glance, the man felt as if he had fallen into an ice cellar, and couldn't help shivering. He swallowed and said, he, he's not here now. No, I should have said it earlier. Luli turned around and left. If you keep beeping with this guy, Luli may not be able to resist a tree world hitting him in the face. Not far from the Uchiha station, passing a small tree Linshi on the way. Luli said suddenly, Uchiha Itake, I know you've been watching me secretly, come out and have a chat. After a few seconds, a figure steps out from behind a tree. Senju Luli, you seem to know me well. That person was none other than Uchiha Itake. Luli opened his white eyes, and the night immediately brightened like day, and then he saw a handsome and cool guy walking towards him. This is Itake, the ruthless man who slaughtered his whole family, he's alive. This is Luli's mental activity at this time, ask for flowers, ask for everything, although no one throws flowers, I still have to ask for it, I'm more miserable than Itake, is there any, advertisement, 035 fool Itake around, please everything, advertisement, two peers, one with the surname Senjo and one with the surname Uchiha, stand together, and they are all leaders in their respective families, this style of painting seems to see Senjo Hashirama and Uchiha Madara back then, what do you need from me, Itake asked straight to the point, obviously, he is also a person who doesn't like beeps, when he saw Luli's white eyes, he was actually quite shocked, as an Ambu member engaged in intelligence work, what happened in the village must not be hidden from him, that's why he can recognize Luli at a glance and know what Luli is doing these days. Enrollment slaps Suzuki, and I kill the 10-man team at the root, save Hayaga Hizashi and destroy the Hayaga clan, destroy the root HQ and rub Danzo on the ground, turn Konoha's compromise policy on Cloud Shinobi village into an offensive strategy. And what surprised Itaka the most was that this guy of his own age actually possessed two types of blood succession limits Wood Style and White Eyes. In fact, if Wood Style is regarded as a kind of blood inheritance limit, Luli should have three kinds of blood succession boundaries. Don't forget, Luli also, sweet to just sage body, Luli has done so many horrific things in such a short period of time. Of course, hitting Suzuki doesn't count. Thinking of this, Itaka's eyes on Luli changed. He could even feel a huge pressure from Luli, this guy in front of him is not weaker than him, no, even stronger than him. Advertisement. The wrist is even more than dozens of blocks away from him, and Kanaha's pattern can be controlled as soon as he debuts. On the other hand, he clearly has a strong strength. 
Amaterasu, Tsukuyomi, Suzanu, Shikunjian, Izanami. But he became a double agent, and found that everything he did was wrong. In contrast, Itaka feels like a failure? Blue skinny mushrooms? Is there any? What Itaka didn't expect was that Lu Li's answer was simply, inexplicable. Tisk tisk, it's really handsome, but it's a pity that my big brother only responds to beautiful women. Lu Li poked up and down Itaka's whole body, incarnate to harass the little devil. Itaka had black lines on his face, and his blood pressure was soaring upwards. It was good that Sherry Nan was not stimulated to evolve again. What are you looking for? If you don't say anything, I have to go, Itaka said impatiently. Oh, it's nothing, I just asked you to ask someone. Luli wrote lightly. Who? Itaka narrowed his eyes slightly. Uchiha, Madara. Itaka was calm on the surface, but secretly he was taken aback. Did he know that he was in contact with Uchiha Madara? But how is this possible? In fact, Luli is not talking about Uchiha Madara, but Uchiha Obito. It's just that Itaka now thinks that the masked man is Uchiha Madara, so Luli has no choice but to say it's Madara. In fact, except for the IQ drop when the genocide was exterminated, Itaka's IQ is still online most of the time. In the original plot of Hokage, he also counted a lot of things, but he didn't count the Madara in his eyes is actually Obito. He calculated that if Suzuki killed himself, he would transplant his own Mangekyo after knowing the truth in the future. Advertisement. Then Suzuki would take revenge on Kanaha village, so he gave Naruto distinguished heavenly gods. The actual plot is different from Itaka's calculation because Itaka did not calculate Obito accurately. He counts on Orikimaru's attempt, and during the fight with Suzuki, exhausts Suzuki's chakra to force Orikimaru out, and then seals him. He figured that Madara, Obito, would attack Suzuki after his death, so he injected Suzuki with pupil art to guard against it. Although it still failed, the reason is that Itaka did not calculate the details of Obito. Itaka still tried his best to procrastinate in Xiaozhong, delaying the time to capture nine tails. After Itaka was killed by Suzuki, Obito immediately asked Pen to attack Kanaha to catch Naruto. To be honest, Itaka's mind is quite smart, and his strength is very strong. Being an undercover agent will definitely bury his talent. Luli looked at Itaka trying to keep calm with a half smile. Luli was thinking, if he told him that the so-called Madara was actually Obito, will this guy surprise himself? Although Itaka was shocked, but calm, he directly activated his Sherry Nan and activated the illusion. Since Luli is now in a wide-eyed state, it has a 360-degree viewing angle. So Itaka felt that he could definitely drag Luli into his illusion, and then get the information he wanted. Result. Wow, three Tomo Sherry Nan? So beautiful? Not only did Luli not take any measures to avoid his Sherry Nan, but he also took the initiative to come forward and comment on his Sherry Nan? Itaki. 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 His illusion didn't work on Luli? Luli's next sentence made Itaka start to doubt life even more? Advertisement. Luli looked expectant and said, Quick, quick, open your Mangekyo for me to appreciate. Itaka feels that the whole person is terrible now. How does this guy know he has activated Mangekyo Sherry Nan? He didn't even tell anyone? Could it be that he has mind reading skills, or that he can see through everything at a glance? Whether it's contact with Madara, Obito, or opening Mangekyo Sherry Nan by myself, it's impossible for others to know about it. Or, the other party is also a master of illusion, and I have fallen into his illusion from the very beginning? No, my Sherry Nan already has the ability to see through illusions and even bounce back illusions? The Itaki at this moment is really messed up in the wind? Who are you? Itaki said quietly. Senja Luli, don't you know what to ask? Luli chuckled. I thought to myself, this guy seems really scared by himself. Then what's the purpose of you looking for me? Since you know so much, why don't you open the skylight and tell the truth? Itaka didn't have much patience. This feeling of being seen through by others at a glance is too depressing. Seeing that Itaka had been restrained by himself, Luli said with a playful smile, then let's talk about serious business. I came to you to talk to you about the Uchiha clan's plan to launch a rebellion. Well, Itaka is no longer surprised why Luli knows that Uchiha is planning to launch a coup in the near future. He was silent for a while, and said, I already have a solution for this matter. Don't tell me, your solution is to cooperate with Madara to kill the whole family, including your own family, right? Luli continued to put pressure on Itaka mentally. Itaka definitely has the heart to kill in silence at this moment, but unfortunately he knows that he should not be able to defeat the pervert in front of him. Thank you enemy fights everywhere in the sky and afternoon for the reward of the monthly ticket. The author is dying, but he still shouted out with his last strength. Please everything. Advertisement. 035 fool Itaki around. Please everything. Advertisement. Two peers, one with the surname Senju and one with the surname Uchiha, stand together. And they are all leaders in their respective families. This style of painting seems to see Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara back then. What do you need from me? Itaki asked straight to the point. Obviously, he is also a person who doesn't like beeps. When he saw Lu Li's white eyes, he was actually quite shocked. As an Umbu member engaged in intelligence work, what happened in the village must not be hidden from him. That's why he can recognize Luli at a glance and know what Luli is doing these days. Enrollment slaps Suzuki. Anti killed a 10 man team at the root. Save Hayaga Hizashi and destroy the Hayaga clan. Destroy the root HQ and rub Danzo on the ground. Turn Kanaha's compromise policy on Cloud Shinobi village into an offensive strategy. And what surprised Itaka the most was that this guy of his own age actually possessed two types of blood succession limits Wood Style and White Eyes. In fact, if Wood Style is regarded as a kind of blood inheritance limit, Luli should have three kinds of blood succession boundaries. Don't forget, Luli also, sweet to sage body. Luli has done so many horrific things in such a short period of time. Of course, hitting Suzuki doesn't count. Thinking of this, Itaka's eyes on Luli changed. He could even feel a huge pressure from Luli. This guy in front of him is not weaker than him, no, even stronger than him. Advertisement. The wrist is even more than dozens of blocks away from him, and Kanaha's pattern can be controlled as soon as he debuts. On the other hand, he clearly has a strong strength. Amaterasu, Tsukuyomi, Suzanu, Shikunjian, Izanami. But he became a double agent, and found that everything he did was wrong. In contrast, Itaka feels like a failure? Blue skinny mushrooms? Is there any? What Itaka didn't expect was that Luli's answer was simply, inexplicable. Tisk tisk, it's really handsome, but it's a pity that my big brother only responds to beautiful women. Luli poked up and down Itaka's whole body, incarnate to harass the little devil. Itaka had black lines on his face, and his blood pressure was soaring upwards. It was good that Sherry Nan was not stimulated to evolve again. What are you looking for? If you don't say anything, I have to go. Itaka said impatiently. Oh, it's nothing. I just asked you to ask someone. Luli wrote lightly. Who? Itaka narrowed his eyes slightly. 
Uchiha, Madara. Itake was calm on the surface, but secretly he was taken aback. Did he know that he was in contact with Uchiha Madara? But how is this possible? In fact, Luli is not talking about Uchiha Madara, but Uchiha Obito. It's just that Itake now thinks that the masked man is Uchiha Madara, so Luli has no choice but to say it's Madara. In fact, except for the IQ drop when the genocide was exterminated, Itake's IQ is still online most of the time. In the original plot of Hokage, he also counted a lot of things, but he didn't count the Madara in his eyes is actually Obito. He calculated that if Suzuki killed himself, he would transplant his own Mangekyo after knowing the truth in the future. Advertisement. Then Suzuki would take revenge on Kanaha village, so he gave Naruto distinguished heavenly gods. The actual plot is different from Itake's calculation because Itake did not calculate Obito accurately. He counts on Orikimaru's attempt, and during the fight with Suzuki, exhausts Suzuki's chakra to force Orikimaru out, and then seals him. He figured that Madara, Obito, would attack Suzuki after his death, so he injected Suzuki with pupil art to guard against it. Although it still failed, the reason is that Itake did not calculate the details of Obito. Itake still tried his best to procrastinate in Xiaozhong, delaying the time to capture Nine Tails. After Itake was killed by Suzuki, Obito immediately asked Pen to attack Kanaha to catch Naruto. To be honest, Itake's mind is quite smart, and his strength is very strong. Being an undercover agent will definitely bury his talent. Luli looked at Itake trying to keep calm with a half smile. Luli was thinking, if he told him that the so-called Madara was actually Obito, will this guy surprise himself? Although Itake was shocked, but calm, he directly activated his Sherry Non and activated the illusion. Since Luli is now in a wide-eyed state, it has a 360-degree viewing angle. So Itake felt that he could definitely drag Luli into his illusion, and then get the information he wanted. Result. Wow, three Tomo Sherry Non? So beautiful. Not only did Luli not take any measures to avoid his Sherry Non, but he also took the initiative to come forward and comment on his Sherry Non. Itake. 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 His illusion didn't work on Luli? Luli's next sentence made Itake start to doubt life even more? Advertisement. Luli looked expectant and said, Quick, quick, open your Mangekyo for me to appreciate. Itake feels that the whole person is terrible now. How does this guy know he has activated Mangekyo Sherry Non? He didn't even tell anyone? Could it be that he has mind reading skills, or that he can see through everything at a glance? Whether it's contact with Madara, Obito, or opening Mangekyo Sherry Non by myself, it's impossible for others to know about it. Or, the other party is also a master of illusion, and I have fallen into his illusion from the very beginning? No, my Sherry Non already has the ability to see through illusions and even bounce back illusions? The Itake at this moment is really messed up in the wind? Who are you? Itake said quietly. Senja Luli, don't you know what to ask? Luli chuckled. I thought to myself, this guy seems really scared by himself. Then what's the purpose of you looking for me? Since you know so much, why don't you open the skylight and tell the truth? Itake didn't have much patience. This feeling of being seen through by others at a glance is too depressing. Seeing that Itake had been restrained by himself, Luli said with a playful smile, then let's talk about serious business. I came to you to talk to you about the Uchiha clan's plan to launch a rebellion. Well, Itake is no longer surprised why Luli knows that Uchiha is planning to launch a coup in the near future. He was silent for a while, and said, I already have a solution for this matter. Don't tell me, your solution is to cooperate with Madara to kill the whole family, including your own family, right? Luli continued to put pressure on Itake mentally. Itake definitely has the heart to kill in silence at this moment, but unfortunately he knows that he should not be able to defeat the pervert in front of him. Thank you enemy fights everywhere in the sky and afternoon for the reward of the monthly ticket. The author is dying, but he still shouted out with his last strength. Please everything. Advertisement. 036 fighting with a pervert. Please collect. Please flowers. Advertisement. For an arrogant genius like Itake, it is necessary to psychologically combat his sense of superiority. Otherwise, he won't listen to what you say. And Luli is to make Itake have an illusion, he knows everything about himself. In fact, it's about the same. Don't be stupid, isn't the Uchiha clan a part of the village? The ones who are at fault are a few people. Why do you want to hurt innocent people? Don't tell me it's all for the village. After psychologically breaking Itake's resistance, Luli began to reason. I think, if a person doesn't even know how to cherish his relatives, and still wants to fight and kill, how can he love a village? Don't rush to refute, listen to me. You must not know that your father also opened Mangekyo Sherry Non, and he didn't really want to rebel, he was just coerced by the family. My arrangement for you is, first, give up your identity as a double agent, and be your Uchiha genius with peace of mind. If you want to practice ninjutsu, practice ninjutsu, and fall in love if you want to fall in love. On the side of third generation, you can directly say that's what I mean, as for Danzo, a dead man. Second, give up the idea of killing, show your true strength to your father, and then persuade him to give up the coup. Your father will understand the fact that Uchiha's coup cannot be successful, because I am here. Third, I know that your original plan was to kill the whole family, become a traitor, follow Madara to join that mysterious organization as an undercover agent? Actually, it's really unnecessary. I know that Xiao better than anyone else organize. Fourth, uh, no more, let's do it for now. With the strength of both of you father and son who have activated Mangekyo Sherry Non, it should be very easy to suppress the rebellion in the clan. Shut down all the dishonest guys, Xiao Hei House, let them go to the battlefield to fight their fill at that time. Okay, I'm done talking, it's your turn. Luli leaned against the trunk of a tree with a calm expression on his face. As for Uchiha Itake, he looked dull. After a long time, Itake took a deep breath, then exhaled slowly, and then said, Is the war between Konoha and Cloud Shinobi Village inevitable? That depends on the attitude of Cloud Shinobi Village. Luli said lazily. Itake nodded. In fact, if Luli hadn't turned out, advertisement. Itake will do everything possible to prevent the war from happening. Why does he want to destroy the Uchiha clan, ostensibly to prevent the Uchiha rebellion? In fact, he is preventing war. If Uchiha launches a coup, it will inevitably shake the foundation of Konoha. This is very deadly when Konoha is at its weakest. Other surrounding countries will definitely take advantage of the situation to launch an attack on the nation of fire. Although the land of fire is the most affluent country, its geographical location is not good. It is surrounded by big countries countries, and it is in the place of the Fourth World War. Not only the land of thunder is ready to move, but the arid land of wind needs water, the island country of water needs land, and the barren land of soil needs fertile land. Then came the Fourth Ninja War. Itake has experienced war since he was very young, and he has seen the cruelty of war, which made his mind extremely precocious. In order to avoid war, he chose to sacrifice his family and complete the village. This is his big picture? The appearance of Luli completely disrupted Itake's plan. Because, the current Kanaha is not afraid of war. 
So Itaka's heart is joyful? Who is willing to kill their parents and clan members with their own hands? If it wasn't for having no choice, Itaka wouldn't want to either, I will do as you arranged. Itaka said seriously. Luli smiled slightly and said, well, it's necessary, if you don't do what I say, I'll break your leg, I know. Itaki also laughed, advertisement. Oh, right. Luli suddenly seemed to think of something. Itaka became inexplicably nervous, what's wrong? Luli sneaked into Itaka's ear and said, I plan to pursue Uchiha Izumi, how about we compete fairly? Itaka was stunned for a moment, then roared angrily, get lost. Then, there was a short-lived fierce battle in the grove. In the end, Luli returned home in a good mood. Uchiha Itaka limped back to Umbu with a bruised nose and face. Itaki, what are you? Kakashi, who happened to come to Umbu, saw the embarrassed Itaki, and asked with some doubts. Itaka gritted his teeth and said, I had a fight with a pervert. Kakashi, you know it's a pervert and you still fight him. Itaka said depressedly, although I knew he was pervert before the fight, I didn't expect him to be so pervert. Oh, your opponent won't be Senja Luli, right? Kakashi's eyes curved into crescent moons when he laughed. Itaka became even more depressed, and swears directly, Hey, how did I find out that everyone can see through what I think and do at a glance? Luli returned home. What needs to be explained here is that Luli did not move. Although he took back the original Senju clan resident occupied by Danzo, he didn't plan to move there. He feels that his current home is also very good, and he is used to it. I took a shower and went back to my room. There is no girl to exchange life with in a lonely night. Advertisement. Luli had no choice but to fall asleep. In the dream, he became a tyrant who ruled the ninja world, with thousands of genin followers and 3,000 beauties in the harem. Just as he was holding the uncovered conference, his consciousness was suddenly pulled back to reality. Damn, don't you know that disturbing a person's sexual dream is as irreconcilable as the hatred of taking his wife? Luli was furious, and rolled his eyes directly. Then he found dozens of black shadows breaking into his small courtyard without making a sound. Then, a person swaggered into Luli's room. None other than Shimura Danzo. Oh, Mr. Guoyin came to my house in the middle of the night. It really makes the humble house flourish. Luli leaned on the edge of the bed, crossed her legs, and joked casually. Guoying. Danzo was slightly taken aback, but he didn't bother with such incomprehensible details. I didn't ask Ru to assassinate you that night, but I wanted you to come and talk to me, but there was a deviation in their execution of my order. As for what happened afterwards, it all stemmed from that misunderstanding. After a pause, Danzo continued, I am not here today to be your enemy, but to form an alliance with you. You sent Genbu to surround my house to form an alliance with me. Luli sneered. As soon as Danzo waved his hand, those root members who were lurking nearby immediately left Luli's small courtyard like a tide. You should also see very clearly that Sarutobi Hiruzen being a Hokage is a mistake. With your powerful strength, as long as you cooperate with me, when I become fifth Hokage, you will be the root of Kanaha. Danzo thinks that he opened the price tag is high enough. However, Uncle Yu, Luli sprayed him all over the face. Danzo frowned slightly, but did not show any disappointment, but silently tore off the bandage wrapped around his right eye. Ask for anything? Advertisement. 037 Distinguished Heavenly Gods, invalid for me? Please collect. Advertisement. Danzo tore off the bandage wrapped around his right eye, revealing a blood red right eye. Three Tomo Sherinon? Huh. Luli was slightly surprised. As expected, this should be the Distinguished Heavenly Gods that Danzo snatched from Shisui. Distinguished Heavenly Gods, only available from Shisui's main Jikyo Sherinon. It can directly invade the opponent's brain and modify the opponent's will without being discovered by the opponent. Even the official said that this technique can turn all the people the caster sees into his puppets, and it is known as the strongest illusion. It's a pity that the current Luli already has the ability to restrain illusions through signing in, immunity to illusions. Distinguished Heavenly Gods is awesome, but no fart is lethal in front of Luli. Danzo looked directly at Luli, and Sherinon directly switched from Sanguyu to Mangekyo. Distinguished Heavenly Gods, open? Danzo kept the secret of his right eye very well, no one knew about it except the dead Shisui. So he came to Luli this time, saying that the cooperation was just to paralyze the other party. The real purpose is to use Distinguished Heavenly Gods on Luli. As long as he reveals his right eye, it will be a big deal. No matter how strong Luli's wood style is, it's all in vain. Even Danzo himself would be terrified of the power of the Distinguished Heavenly Gods. At the beginning, Shisui wanted to use Distinguished Heavenly Gods to prevent Uchiha's coup, but was once looked down upon by Danzo very much. This is the strongest illusion that can change the structure of the ninja world. It is really a waste of money to use it in a mere coup. Danzo laughed maniacally after confirming that he had used Distinguished Heavenly Gods on Luli. Ha ha ha. Shisui, although Distinguished Heavenly Gods is your illusion, you don't know how to use it? Can you see it with your right eye now? This is the most heaven-defying usage of Distinguished Heavenly Gods. After laughing. Advertisement. Danzo said in an undeniable order, Senjo Luli, forget your name and past, I will give you the code name Jia, from now on, you will only obey my orders Shimura Danzo. You will be the sharpest in my hand the butcher's knife, remove all obstacles for me to ascend the Hokage throne. At this moment, Danzo seems to have become a high god, and everything in the world is under his control. He is going to use Luli, the sharpest knife in the world, to kill the third generation? This time there is no need for an assassination, he needs a public trial. All voices against him becoming Hokage will disappear in front of Luli's powerful wood style. Kakashi, the last time I failed because of you, this time, let's see what you used to block it. Danzo said in a dominant tone, bring me Kakashi's body. Just when Danzo thought that he was going to reach the pinnacle of his life from this moment on, the corner of Lu Li's mouth twitched slightly, looking at him as if he was mentally retarded. The strongest illusion has no effect on us, what should we do? Waiting online, very urgent. Lu Li picked out his ears and teased, tisk tisk, Mr. Guoying is really a hacky leak, almost scared me to death. You, this, this is impossible. You obviously hit my distinguished heavenly gods, why? Danzo's eyes widened in disbelief. It shouldn't be. I obviously used the distinguished heavenly gods, why couldn't I control him? Can anyone tell me why this is? Danzo had an extremely bad premonition. Distinguished heavenly gods. He unleashed the power of his right eye on Luli. It's a pity that Luli still looks at him like a fool. Distinguished heavenly gods. Distinguished heavenly gods. Still useless? Not only was it useless, but there was also an unimaginable pain in the right eye, and even black blood oozed out. Advertisement. This is the backlash of his forcibly using the power of his right eye. Danzo feels that this is a cool rhythm. Why would the distinguished heavenly gods be of no use to you? What the hell have you done? At this moment, Danzo really began to doubt life. Want to know the answer? Take your dog's life for it. Luli jumped up from the bed and stepped on Danzo's forehead. Weird power painful foot. Boom. On the second floor of Luli's room, the floor collapsed instantly. Danzo's whole body fell to the ground on the first floor, forming a big pit. The commotion was so loud that it immediately attracted all the root members lurking outside the small courtyard. When Luli jumped down from the second flo
He still couldn't believe that the distinguished heavenly gods had no effect on Luli. Luli kept his eyes open the whole time, and he didn't have a method like Sherry Nan that could break the illusion. Why didn't distinguished heavenly gods work on him? Go away. Luli let out a loud shout, and the purple chakra instantly covered his whole body. At the same time, a tyrannical chakra erupted, and the entire courtyard was raised to the ground. And those root members also flew out one by one, spraying blood. If it wasn't for his deliberate control, most of Kanaha village would disappear. Don't forget, he bursts out the power of chakra at full strength, which is not weaker than tailed beast bomb at all. Danzo didn't come back to his senses until then, he pulled out Kunao, and roared, since you can't control your will, then you can only take your body back and transform it? Everyone obeys the order and hacks to death regardless of the cost. He. Advertisement. Dozens of root members pulled out Kunao one after another and launched a suicide attack on Luli. The dense shadow shuriken shot towards Luli. Luli smiled contemptuously, and clasped his hands together wood-style mystery the birth of the tree realm. Bang bang bang. Countless tree roots broke out from the ground, forming a forest in an instant, blocking all those shurikens. And those thick vines grow rapidly, winding towards those root members, controlling them all. All offense and defense in the tree world are controlled by Luli. Danzo took a deep breath and activated his best wind style wind style vacuum breaker. A stream of sharp breaths whizzed out from his mouth, cutting the vines that were entangled with him to pieces. Wind style is the most powerful escapism among the five elements escapism, and its power is still very powerful. He used this trick to break through Suzuki Suzano in a later battle with Suzuki. Luli snorted coldly and launched the second wood style technique, wood style wooden golem jutsu. A big tree at Luli's feet grew wildly, and in the blink of an eye, a giant wooden golem appeared. My territory. I rule life and death. Luli controlled the wooden golem and stomped on Danzo. For the toughness of wooden golem, Danzo has already experienced it. He didn't dare to be careless, and directly revealed a secret hole card of his own. Wood style thrusting spear. I saw Danzo quickly raised his right arm, and the bandage wrapped around his arm was broken, and his right arm instantly created a huge tree, facing the kick that wooden golem stepped on. However, Danzo's copycat version of wood style is almost like tofu dregs in front of the real wood style. Wooden golem's big feet directly trampled the giant tree to pieces. Danzo frantically backed away desperately, so he didn't get trampled by wooden golem? Ask for anything? Advertisement. 038 Danzo's true purpose of destroying the Uchiha clan? Advertisement. The commotion on Luli's side was so loud that it naturally attracted the attention of the entire Kanaha village. Third generation immediately led the Ambu ninjas to surround the area where Luli was located, and set up an isolated area to evacuate all the villagers in the area. Master third generation, aren't we going to stop it? Kakashi looked at third generation. Third generation looked at the giant wooden golem controlled by Luli, and said slowly, Danzo is looking for death? Senja Luli is not me, so naturally I will not tolerate Danzo's repeated assassinations and provocations. The previous Kanaha needed the coexistence of light and darkness, now it's no longer needed. If Danzo's death can give Senja Luli a sense of belonging to the village, then he deserves to die. Kakashi nodded, I see. You are ready to take over the roots. Remember, the roots have conducted many secret experiments over the years, and those are things that cannot be seen, especially those materials that Danzo used the Senja clan to do research on, and must be destroyed as soon as possible. I don't I hope Senja Luli sees this, even a word of information. Third generation solemnly said. Kakashi looked serious and nodded heavily. At this time, third generation was wearing a black height fitting combat uniform, a ninja hat with green laminated armor on both sides, and an extra long protective belt on the back of the hat. He is ready to fight, and if the situation gets out of control, he will shoot. Danzo, Danzo, you will die if you don't die, I'm afraid no one can save you this time. A bear may take root, cover me out of here. Danzo, covered in blood, fled in a panic under the attack of wooden golem. At this time, Danzo is like an ant played by Luli in the applause. No matter which direction he flees, he will be blocked by wooden golem, or simply slapped back. Leave? Danzo, where do you want to go? Where can you go? Here is your burial place. Luli stood on wooden golem's shoulders, looking down at him from a height. Advertisement. No, I can't die yet. I haven't become a hokage yet. I still have to lead Kanaha to glory. I still have a lot of ideals to come true. Danzo howled heart piercingly. I really don't know. What else can you do besides selling your teammates and cheating your own people? You deserve to have such things as ideals. Luli controlled wooden golem, slapped Danzo to the ground with a slap, and pressed one finger directly to the ground. Master Danzo. A bear may took the root and yelled, leading more than a dozen root ninjas to rush over. Go away. A wooden golem's giant hand slammed down, forcing a bear and the root ninjas back. Luli jumped off wooden golem's shoulders and came to Danzo. I know you have Izanagi, but I don't know how many times you can use it. Luli controlled the wooden golem and slightly increased the force of the press. Puff. Danzo spurted blood immediately, and he could feel himself numb from the chest down. It's just strange to me, your Sherry Non arm should be given to you by Orikimuro after you wiped out the Uchiha clan. In Lu Li's impression, Orikimuro transplanted many Sherry Non collected by Shimura Danzo in Uchiha genocide on Uchiha letter. In Shin's right arm, where various Sherry Nons have been transplanted, Hashirama cells are implanted to increase physical energy, which is balanced with the extremely strong spiritual energy possessed by eleven Sherry Non. It was later given to Danzo as Danzo's new right arm. But the current situation is that Uchiha has not been exterminated, so how did Danzo's Sherry Non right arm come from? What are you talking about? Danzo coughed blood, not understanding why Luli said such strange words. Advertisement. After all, the Uchiha clan has not been wiped out. I see, in fact, after the Third Ninja World War, you have been collecting Sherry Non. But you are not satisfied with this, so you have been consciously suppressing the Uchiha clan. The purpose is not for the so-called village, but to force the Uchiha clan to rebel. If you use this as an excuse to exterminate the Uchiha clan, the real purpose is to collect Sherry Non. Because you have mastered the forbidden technique Izanagi, as long as you have enough Sherry Non, it is equivalent to a lot of lives for you. Shit is for the village, from beginning to end, Udenso is only for yourself. So, your current right arm should still be a half-finished product, right? Are you planning to collect enough Sherry Non after killing Uchiha, and then go to Orkimuro to help you rebuild a new Sherry Non right arm? Am I right? Nebekage Sama. Luli expressed his guess in one breath. No wonder in the original plot of Hokage, Itaka did not take the Sherry Non after killing his own people, but left all of them to Danzo. Danzo was stunned and said in horror, How can you know my plan so clearly? It's impossible. Even Orikimuro only knows a little bit. Sure enough, if I remember correctly, the right arm that Orikimuro made for you should have 11 Sherry Nons. So now, how many Sherry Nons do you have on your right arm? 
Three, four, or five. I should no need to kill you ten times in a row. Lu Li stepped on Danzo's neck, fixed his head, and then reached out to grab Danzo's right eye. What are you up to? Danzo's face twisted, looking at Lu Li's hand in horror. Distinguished heavenly gods. He struggled desperately, although he knew that the power of his right eye had entered the cooling time, but he still did not give up. Lu Li didn't give Danzo a chance to resist at all, and directly pulled his right eye out. Distinguished heavenly gods, I accept it. Danzo suddenly stretched out his right hand like lightning, and firmly held Lu Li's arm holding the distinguished heavenly gods with his back hand. He grinned grinningly and said, I knew you would definitely be fascinated by distinguished heavenly gods, so you can take it with you to death. Advertisement. Wood style burial burial of tree roots. Danzo's right arm swelled rapidly, creating a huge tree that swallowed himself and Luli in an instant. This is the opportunity Danzo has been waiting for, and he will use this trick to die with Luli. But the person who will die will only be Luli, because he still has his Inagi. Losing the distinguished heavenly gods hurts him, but as long as he can kill Luli, Danzo feels he has earned it. Master Danzo. A bear may took the root and brought a few root ninjas out of trouble to the giant tree that swallowed Luli and Danzo. Is this, to die together? Looking at the dirty blood oozing from the cracks in the tree trunk, a bear may swallowed his saliva. After a while, Danzo broke away from the tree trunk, staggered and lay down on the ground, panting heavily. Master Danzo, it's great that you're fine. A bear may greeted him in surprise. Danzo laughed strangely and said, although this boycer named Senjo has mastered Shode's wood style technique, but when it comes to his understanding of wood style and combat skills, he is not worthy to lift my shoes. It's just a pity that distinguished heavenly gods. Yeah, a teasing voice came from behind Danzo. Danzo looked back in astonishment, and saw Luli walking out from behind the giant tree, gently throwing an eyeball in his hand. It was Shisui's right eye, distinguished heavenly gods. This, it's impossible, you, you, was involved in my root explosion. Danzo's voice began to tremble. Luli chuckled and said, oh, that's actually my wood clone. It turned out that when Danzo launched wood style tree root burial, Luli used wood clone instead of himself, and the deity took distinguished heavenly gods away from that area. Ask for flowers. Ask for an evaluation ticket. Advertisement. 039 Danzo. Pot shadow? Die? Advertisement. During the Nine Tails Rebellion, Danzo ordered the Roots to take care of all the ninjas of the Uchiha clan, with the purpose of imposing an unwarranted charge on the Uchiha clan afterwards and achieving the purpose of crowding out Uchiha. It's just that he didn't expect the fourth generation to die in battle. After the death of the fourth generation, in order to succeed the next Hokage, he brazenly sent an assassination team to assassinate the reinstated third generation. In the whole incident of the Nine Tails Rebellion, what did Danzo do for the village? It is clearly for selfish gain, not hesitate to destroy Kanaha's foundation. Later, when Orikimaru invaded Kanaha, he did the same thing and stood still. When Pain came to capture Nine Tails, he even killed the contact frog Kasuk who was about to go to Mount Mayaboku to inform the war trying to conceal the war to contain Naruto's range of action, and summoned the past root members, and ordered Kanaha to be caught in the bitter battle of Pen's invasion without lending a helping hand. Every time Kanaha is in crisis, Danzo starts to move around, and will do anything for the position of Hokage. Some also say that Danzo is a tragic hero who dedicated his life to Kanaha village. I bother? Danzo also deserves to be called a hero? Calling him a bear is an insult to the bear? Even if Danzo doesn't take the initiative to provoke Luli, Luli will definitely find a chance to kill him. Not because he can't get used to Danzo being a scumbag, it's because, Luli doesn't want that when he is fighting the world in the front, there will always be a Danzo behind him who will disgust him, so, Danzo must die. It's just a matter of time? And now, since Danzo wants to seek death, Luli will naturally fulfill his wish of dying early and being reborn early. With Luli's terrifying strength comparable to that of first generation, killing Danzo is a piece of cake. After using his Inaga for the third time, Danzo has no ability to regenerate. Advertisement. Because he only has three Sherry Non in total on his right arm now, it was used once in Xianxiang Station, once when it wanted to die with Luli, and it was used for the last time when it was pinched and exploded by Wooden Golem controlled by Luli. If it is after Uchiha's genocide, there will be as many as 11 Sherry Non on his right arm. However, even if you give him 20 Sherry Nons, it won't change anything. It's just a matter of being killed by Luli for a few more minutes. At the moment of absolute strength, this kind of trick is useless except for wasting a little time. Without Shodei cells, even if you get the distinguished heavenly gods, you will have to wait more than 10 years to use them, and I will take away the last cells of Shodei before I die. Danzo growled ferociously, like a trapped beast fighting. Lee Sixiang seal. The blood of Danzo's whole body spurted out, and the four image marks engraved on his body in advance appeared on his chest. Immediately afterwards, the seal of Lee Sixiang expanded in a spherical shape, pulling the surrounding things into Danzo's body and sealing it completely. Luli looked at Danzo's body lying on the ground, pouted. First Hokage's chakra can reduce the cooldown of distinguished heavenly gods, can't mine. What Senjo Hashirama can do, Luli can do too. Tuan, Master Zhang. A bear may plopped down on his knees beside Danzo's body. He never imagined that Danzo's final ending would be like this. In fact, not only him, but all the root ninjas present stood there in a daze. Lord Danzo. Died? Master Danzo. All the root ninjas were silently chanting this name, shocked in their hearts. As the leader of the roots of Kanaha village, the land of fire, he is also a wily guy. Advertisement. He wants to be Hokage at all costs, so he will stop at nothing to achieve his goal. He is an ambitious man who wants to unify the ninja world like Senjo Hashirama. Shinyura Danzo? He died in Luli's hands like this. Luli glanced at Abarame and those root ninjas. In the battle just now, Luli did not kill these people. Not because of Luli's heart, but because they are Kanaha's ninjas. After Danzo's death, these powers will be incorporated. And Luli regarded Kanaha as his back garden from the very beginning, and naturally he would not hurt them if it was not necessary. There is another reason, as soon as Danzo dies, there will be a vacancy in the head of the root, and Luli has ideas about this. Luli's white eyes were always open, even if Danzo used the Lee Sixion seal, he did not take it lightly. This time, he wants to make sure that Danzo is dead for good. Ten minutes passed, and Danzo's chakra did not appear again. Luli knew that it was impossible for Danzo to be resurrected. At this moment, the third generation and his direct subordinate Umbu finally arrived long overdue. Third generation looked at Danzo's corpse with a complex look on his face. For this old partner, third generation is both love and hate. Although Danzo always does some things to cheat his teammates, but at the same time, he doesn't know how many scapegoats he has taken for third generation. Without Danzo's bad reputation, there would be no Sarutobi Hiruzen's good reputation. Kakashi has gone to deal with the roots, so now close guard with third generation is Yamato. Before Luli turned out to be born, as the only existence who mastered wood style, Yamato was quite proud in his heart. But after witnessing Luli performing wood style with his own eyes just now, after being shocked, Yamato finally understood what 
what the real wood style is. Whether it is the wood style secret technique of Luli, birth of the tree boundary, or wood style, wooden golem jutsu, Yamato has no ability to perform it. Advertisement. Because he doesn't have a sage body like first generation and Luli, although the amount of chakra is more than ordinary ninja, but compared with the real sage body, it is nothing but a giant witch, not worth mentioning. Is this the wood style mastered by Shode? Yamato looked at Luli, fascinated. According to the official statement, the power of wood style that Yamato casts is only about one-fifth of that of first generation. Moreover, Yamato cannot perform slightly advanced wood style techniques, such as birth of the tree realm, wooden golem jutsu, wooden dragon technique, arrival of the flower and tree realm. As for immortal art wood style through several thousand hands and top transformation Buddha, it is even more unnecessary to think about it. In fact, Yamato can also cast wooden golem jutsu like through several thousand hands, but it is not much compared with the real through several thousand hands. Ah, uh, can that compare? Master third generation. Luli smiled slightly at third generation. Third generation had black lines on his face, and this guy could still smile. You kill people too, those root ninjas, leave it to me to deal with. Or, of course, Luli never thought of killing the roots from the beginning. Yamato, after obtaining Luli's permission, third generation spoke. Master third generation. Yamato responded quickly. Detain all the personnel at the root first, and deal with them later. Third generation ordered. Yamato used to be a core member of roots, and he is the one who knows roots best. So third generation entrusted this matter to him to handle, and it was very relieved. Yes. Without hesitation, Yamato commanded the Umbu ninja to take away all the people at the root. After a while, there were only a few people left here, including Luli and third generation. No one gives, but also begs. Ask for flowers, ask for everything. Advertisement. 040 I'm not afraid of you taking responsibility, but I'm afraid you have nothing to desire. Advertisement. Old man, what are you going to do with the roots? When no one is around, Luli's name for third generation is more casual. Third generation said unhappily, how else to deal with it? Naturally, it is disbanded. Luli hurriedly said, don't, it's not easy to set up. It took a lot of manpower and money from Konoha. How can you disband just because a danzo died? Third generation stared and said, isn't it enough to kill a danzo? Do you want to see the roots he built? I said old man, this should not be confused. Danzo is looking for death, and I am the victim. As for the root, just treat it as compensation for me. Luli blamed Danzo's death on Danzo himself without blushing. People can die, but they still have to bear the blame. This is the true nature of Guoying. Third generation was annoyed by Luli's logic. Hearing your tone, even if Danzo doesn't take the initiative to provoke you, you will find a chance to kill him, right? Third generation is really a good person, and he sees it very clearly. Luli quibbled, how can I? I'm not a mad dog like Danzo, how can I bite anyone I see? Everyone is dead, it's meaningless to talk about it now. Third generation sighed. Grandpa, you never thought of killing Danzo. Luli asked curiously. Hokage's original official evaluation of third generation is very high. Gentle and tolerant, Kanaha's loving father? Kanaha Shinobi, the village guardian who shines on the village with a calm smile? Insight into all truths in the world, the highest point of Kanaha? Famous and dubbed the title of Professor Ninja, he is the third Hokage who has dedicated himself to the construction and development of the village? Third generation's reputation is indeed very good, but as far as Luli knows, his handling methods and attitudes on many things are very confusing. And Luli doesn't believe that third generation can become the longest serving Hokage just by being kind. Advertisement. Danzo is like another side of me. I hate him sometimes, but it's impossible to kill him with my own hands. Third generation said slowly. Luli said oh, expressing understanding. The bond between third generation and Danzo is really deep, and it is indeed not easy to go all the way for decades. This is the so-called love and kill each other. You boy, just emptied Hayaga's house, why did you target the roots so quickly? Third generation glanced at the guy. Luli smiled, as the saying goes, the greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. With my ability, I have to help the village to share more responsibilities. What do you think, old man? You have a good idea? I'm going to let Kakashi take over the roots, said the old god of third generation. 50 to 50, this guy, I think it's okay to be the roots deputy. Luli still didn't give up. 50-50, third generation wondered. My nickname for Kakashi, Luli bared her teeth. You can also want the roots, but you have to promise me one request. Third generation said with a sigh of relief. Luli's eyes lit up, what request? The third generation laughed and said, repair all the houses you destroyed. What? Luli was taken aback. This requirement is not high at all, it is very simple for Luli. Luli also thought that the third generation would ask him to complete some S-level tasks. Then what do you think I want you to do? Third generation left slowly with hands behind their backs, leaving Luli with a confused face. Grandpa, did you intend to hand over the roots to me from the very beginning? Luli called out to third generation's back. The third generation didn't look back, but whispered to itself, Stinky boy, I'm not afraid that you will take responsibility, but I'm afraid that you have no desires or desires. Although he got the root, but for some reason, Luli was a little depressed. It feels like you are asking someone for something that belongs to you. Well, let's fix all the destroyed houses first. Advertisement. Luli directly launched wood style in Zijia, and houses rose from the ground. After finishing these, Luli immediately began to think. Although third generation has given him the roots, it is impossible for him to manage it himself. It's tiring to manage such a large department, isn't it? Luli's style should be to be a hands-off shopkeeper. Therefore, you only need to find someone who can execute your own will to preside over the root affairs. Thinking of this, he took out Shisui's eyes. Distinguished heavenly gods. Transplant to yourself? Luli is not so boring. Distinguished heavenly gods is awesome, but it's not necessary for Luli. What's more, eye transplantation hurts even thinking about it, and he won't ask for trouble. Sherinan is indeed a strong pupil technique in the Hokage world. With just one three Tomo Sherinan, Kakashi can become a copy ninja and gain a great reputation in the ninja world. It is conceivable that the Manjikyo Sherinan who can cast distinguished heavenly gods is so tempting to ninjas. This is enough power to start a war. But it is still not enough to let Luli self-destruct image to transplant him. Then give it to him. Luli thinks of a person who just fits this eye. Next, Luli came to King Xiang station and found Hisashi who changed his surname to Qian Xiang. My lord. Hisashi respectfully knelt down in front of Luli. Luli laughed and said, We still had some tea last time. Hisashi hurriedly got up to make tea. Advertisement. Luli looked at Hisashi's new home, as expected of a famous family that has been passed down for hundreds of years, and all the furnishings are well made. 
It was the middle of the night, and Niji, who was supposed to be sleeping, also ran over. Brother Lu, why are you here? Niji asked sleepily. Lu Li touched little Niji's head and said, That old boy Danzo came to trouble me again. I can't sleep because of this. Danzo? Is that the old bastard who advocated handing over my dad to Cloud Shinobi Village? Niji gritted his teeth. That's the old boy. Lu Li nodded with a smile. Niji clenched his fists and said fiercely, One day, I will kill him. That's no use. I've already slaughtered him. Lu Li wrote lightly. Bang, Hisashi, who was making tea by the side, slipped the teapot in his hand and smashed it to pieces, but he still didn't know it. Danzo is the Hokage advisor, the leader of Root, and Kanaha's second in command. Such a character would kill him right away. Good job, great job. Niji shouted excitedly. Hisashi came over, slapped Niji on the back of the head, and said, Go to sleep. Niji went back to the house with an aggrieved face. Hisashi looked at Luli, swallowed his saliva, and said worriedly, My lord, if you kill Danzo, will there be any troubles? Third generation. Luli, when I killed Danzo, third generation was cheering beside me. It's okay. Hisashi opened his mouth, really not knowing what to say. Luli's next sentence didn't make Hisashi feel speechless, but directly made his mind go blank. The root of Danzo, it's up to you to take over. Ask for flowers. Ask for everything. Thank you Josio for the monthly ticket reward. Advertisement. 041 left eye, right riding wheel. Favorites, flowers, advertisement. That is the root of Kanaha, one of the two most powerful underground organizations in Kanaha. If Umbu is Jinyue, the root is Dongchang. Luli actually asked him to take over such an important organization. Hisashi felt like he was bruised and dizzy from being hit by a pie falling from the sky. Seeing that Hisashi didn't speak, Luli frowned and said, Say something, why are you standing there? Hisashi came back to his senses, took a breath first, and then said, Master, this information is a bit large, please let me digest it first. Then you should digest this together by the way. Luli took out Shisui's eyes and threw them directly. Hisashi subconsciously stretched out his hand to catch it, and when he saw clearly what he had received, his hand shook so as not to throw it out. This is, Sherry Non. Hisashi naturally knew the Sherry Non. To be precise, Uchiha Shisui's Manjikyo Sherry Non, Distinguished Heavenly Gods, I got it from Danzo. Luli wrote lightly, Distinguished Heavenly Gods, Distinguished Heavenly Gods known as the strongest illusion in the ninja world. Advertisement. Hisashi's feet went limp, and he sat down on the ground. As the younger brother of Hayaga Hayashi, Hisashi's strength is that he can rank in the top five in Hayaga's house before the branch house. Curse mark, after Caged Bird was broken by Luli, Hisashi, whose white eyes were not suppressed, must have improved to a higher level. Although he crippled his right eye for Mingzi, Luli backhanded him with a Manjikyo Sherry Non. In this way, Hisashi has both the white eyes and the Sherry Non. This is unique in the ninja world. To Luli's surprise, Hisashi is not from the Uchiha clan, but can control the Sherry Non. After Hisashi ported Sherry Non, it is not like Kakashi, Sherry Non is always on and cannot be turned off. He can turn Sherry Non on and off at will? How did you do it? Luli asked curiously. Isn't it said that people with foreign surnames cannot control Sherry Non? Hisashi explained, in fact, I used the power of Bian to control the Sherry Non in the right eye. I didn't expect it to be successful. Bian and Sherry Non, as pupil techniques, are actually a kind of spiritual power. Maybe there is a connection between them. Bar. Luli knew it in his heart. Advertisement. The current Hisashi has a white left eye and a black right eye, giving him a visual sense of yin and yang eyes. Luli believes that with Hisashi's strength, it is more than enough to lead the roots. Go to the third generation tomorrow to take over the roots. By the way, select some outstanding ninjas from the Tianxiang family to enrich them, which will help you take over the roots. In fact, if Luli doesn't say it, Hisashi will do it too. In the battle that killed Danzo, his own home was also destroyed, so Luli simply lived in Hisashi's home. Practice gentle fist with Niji every day. When Hisashi was teaching gentle fist, he taught Lu the gentle fist method 8 trigrams palms revolving heaven, gentle fist method 8 trigrams 64 palms, which originally belonged to the sex secret ninjutsu, Li. In fact, in the Jianxiang family, as long as they have opened their white eyes, they can learn these secret arts that were once elusive. In addition, without the suppression of caged bird, it is conceivable that in the near future, the strength of the Sengxiang family will far exceed that of the Haiga family with a small population, and it is destined to become a tyrannical family like the Uchiha family. In particular, Hisashi entered the root and became a hot and powerful figure in Kanaha. It also gave this emerging family a strong confidence. And now the Haiga family, it can be said that the family is neglected and there are few and horses, the Hayaga clan, who are used to living a high life, suddenly found that the quality of life has seriously declined since the absence of those branch house people who come and go as soon as they are called. In the past, I stretched out my hands for clothes and opened my mouth for food, and my hands did not touch Yangchan water, but now I can't even make a meal that can be eaten. Advertisement. As Hokage's famous, no, Fudi Hineda, this was a disaster. So much so that Hineda ran to Hisashi's house every day, and finally stayed there. Luli big brother, your 8 trigrams palm 16th palm is not right, Niji big brother is right. Hineda was guiding Luli to practice gentle fist. Stop fighting, practice 8 trigrams palms with a hammer, it's enough for me to learn revolving heaven. Luli anxiously took the water glass that Hineda offered, and took a sip. I think 8 trigrams palms is easy. Niji punched 8 trigrams 64 palms in one go, and gave Luli a shameful punch as soon as he opened his mouth. Luli blushed from embarrassment, practicing boxing really depends on talent. Obviously, the talent in this area, Niji said second, no one dare to say first. Practice 8 trigrams palms to 128 palms if you have the ability. Luli gritted his teeth. But thinking that this guy did become 8 trigrams 128 palms later on, he quickly changed his words, no, it's 256 palms. Niji thought about it seriously, and said, you can give it a try. Ask for flowers. Ask for an evaluation ticket. Ask for a comment. Ask for a reward. Advertisement. 041 left eye, right riding wheel. Favorites? Flowers. Advertisement. That is the root of Kanaha, one of the two most powerful underground organizations in Kanaha. If Umbu is Jinyue, the root is Dongchang. Luli actually asked him to take over such an important organization. Hisashi felt like he was bruised and dizzy from being hit by a pie falling from the sky. Seeing that Hisashi didn't speak, Luli frowned and said, Say something, why are you standing there? Hisashi came back to his senses, took a breath first, and then said, Master, this information is a bit large, please let me digest it first. Then you should digest this together by the way. Luli took out Shisui's eyes and threw them directly. Hisashi subconsciously stretched out his hand to catch it, and when he saw clearly what he had received, his hand shook so as not to throw it out. This is, Sherry Non. Hisashi naturally knew the Sherry Non. To be precise, Uchiha Shisui's Manjikyo Sherry Non, Distinguished Heavenly Gods, I got it from Danzo. Luli wrote lightly, Distinguished Heavenly Gods, Distinguished Heavenly Gods known as the strongest illusion in the ninja world. Advertisement. Hisashi's feet went limp, and he sat down on the ground. 
As the younger brother of Hayaga Hayashi, Hisashi's strength is that he can rank in the top five in Hayaga's house before the branch house. Curse mark, after caged bird was broken by Luli, Hisashi, whose white eyes were not suppressed, must have improved to a higher level. Although he crippled his right eye for Mingzi, Luli backhanded him with a mangekyo sherinan. In this way, Hisashi has both the white eyes and the sherinan. This is unique in the ninja world. To Luli's surprise, Hisashi is not from the Uchiha clan, but can control the sherinan. After Hisashi ported sherinan, it is not like Kakashi, sherinan is always on and cannot be turned off. He can turn Sherry Nan on and off at will. How did you do it? Luli asked curiously. Isn't it said that people with foreign surnames cannot control Sherry Nan? Hisashi explained. In fact, I used the power of Bian to control the Sherry Nan in the right eye. I didn't expect it to be successful. Bian and Sherry Nan, as pupil techniques, are actually a kind of spiritual power. Maybe there is a connection between them. Bar. Luli knew it in his heart. Advertisement. The current Hisashi has a white left eye and a black right eye, giving him a visual sense of yin and yang eyes. Luli believes that with Hisashi's strength, it is more than enough to lead the roots. Go to the third generation tomorrow to take over the roots. By the way, select some outstanding ninjas from the Qianxiang family to enrich them, which will help you take over the roots. In fact, if Luli doesn't say it, Hisashi will do it too. In the battle that killed Danzo, his own home was also destroyed, so Luli simply lived in Hisashi's home. Practice gentle fist with Niji every day. When Hisashi was teaching gentle fist, he taught Lu the gentle fist method 8 trigrams palms revolving heaven, gentle fist method 8 trigrams 64 palms, which originally belonged to the sex secret ninjutsu. Li. In fact, in the Qianxiang family, as long as they have opened their white eyes, they can learn these secret arts that were once elusive. In addition, without the suppression of caged bird, it is conceivable that in the near future, the strength of the Sengxiang family will far exceed that of the Haiga family with a small population, and it is destined to become a tyrannical family like the Achiha family. In particular, Hisashi entered the root and became a hot and powerful figure in Kanaha. It also gave this emerging family a strong confidence. And now the Haiga family, it can be said that the family is neglected and there are few cars and horses, the Hayaga clan, who are used to living a high life, suddenly found that the quality of life has seriously declined since the absence of those branch house people who come and go as soon as they are called. In the past, I stretched out my hands for clothes and opened my mouth for food, and my hands did not touch Yangchan water, but now I can't even make a meal that can be eaten. Advertisement. As Hokage's famous, no, foodie Hineda, this was a disaster. So much so that Hineda ran to Hisashi's house every day, and finally stayed there. Luli big brother, your 8 trigrams palm 16th palm is not right, Niji big brother is right. Hineda was guiding Luli to practice gentle fist. Stop fighting, practice 8 trigrams palms with a hammer, it's enough for me to learn revolving heaven. Luli anxiously took the water glass that Hineda offered, and took a sip. I think 8 trigrams palms is easy. Niji punched 8 trigrams 64 palms in one go, and gave Luli a shameful punch as soon as he opened his mouth. Luli blushed from embarrassment, practicing boxing really depends on talent. Obviously, the talent in this area, Niji said second, no one dared to say first. Practice 8 trigrams palms to 128 palms if you have the ability. Luli gritted his teeth. But thinking that this guy did become 8 trigrams 128 palms later on, he quickly changed his words, no, it's 256 palms. Niji thought about it seriously, and said, you can give it a try. 042 a reinvented Kanaha village? Advertisement. My dear masters, if you have flowers and evaluation tickets, please use your little hand to make a fortune. After Danzo's death. Half a month passed in the blink of an eye. It may be that the overdraft was severe that day, and the system did not release new check-in tasks during this period. Luli, who was happy and leisurely, also lived a happy life leisurely and leisurely. During this period, Luli had a secret meeting with Uchiha Fugaku, and Itake was the audience. Obviously, after being fooled by Luli, the father and son immediately fainted. After the truth has been explained, it's time to show off your muscles. Luli asked their father and son to fight together, one against two, and had a good fight. As a result, the father and son felt what despair was. Fugaku once wondered if he opened a fake Mangekyo. You know, Mangekyo level illusions can even control nine tails. However, the illusion performed by the father and son is ineffective against Luli. Uchiha without the Sherry non-illusion is basically half useless. Advertisement. Then, in front of a father, Luli beat his son until his nose was bruised and his face was swollen. Then, in front of another son, he hung up his father and beat him. In fact, from Luli's point of view, the beating of the father and son has already made a lot of money. You know, Luli saved the lives of their Uchiha clan. In this way, under Luli's fist, Fugaku finally recognized the reality, the revolution has no future. After returning to the family, the reconciled father and son immediately launched a series of tough measures. Generally speaking, Kanaha village during this period can be regarded as calm. But in fact, Kanaha has undergone a lot of changes inside. In the first change, Hisashi took over the roots at Luli's behest. For the new head of the airborne, the old root members such as Abarame and Yamanaka are naturally unconvinced. As a result, these people were all pressed to the ground and rubbed in front of Hisashi who turned on both Bian and Sherry Nan at the same time. After Hisashi thoroughly familiarized himself with the Sherry Nan, his strength improved by leaps and bounds. Relying on strong strength, Hisashi managed to control the roots in a short period of time. This surprised even third generation. The second change is that a small-scale civil strife broke out within the Uchiha clan, but it quickly subsided under the suppression of the father and son Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Itake. This time, as the patriarch, Uchiha Fugaku had a rare hardening, tied up all the guys who usually clamored for a revolution, and handed them over to Umbu. Advertisement. The Uchiha clan's rebellion, which has been raging for so many years, is finally showing signs of easing up. At the same time, the news that both father and son had opened Mangekyo Sherinan also spread like wildfire, which moved the entire Kanaha. When third generation and the entire Kanaha executives heard the news, they were all in a cold sweat. If Luli hadn't been born, if Uchiha Itake also stood on the side of the family to participate in the coup, the consequences could be disastrous. Afterwards, under the proposal of Luli, after careful consideration, the high-level Kanaha promoted Uchiha Fugaku to replace Danzo's Hokage consultant, and at the same time had the qualifications to attend the Kanaha high-level meeting. This gave the Uchiha family a reassurance, and at the same time, the whole family celebrated. You know, since Lord Madara rebelled against Kanaha, the Uchiha clan has never entered Kanaha's power center. Uchiha Kagami, who was originally the most promising, died young. Now, with Uchiha Fugaku becoming a Hokage consultant, this grueling history has come to an end. In Luli's view, with the current strength of the Uchiha clan, winning a Hokage consultant is a perfect match. Corresponding strengths will have corresponding appeals, otherwise revolution will come sooner or later. After Luli's operation, the resentment accumulated by the Uchiha family over the years has disappeared a lot. 
coupled with the fact that someone in the clan can finally speak up in the village and fight for the benefits they deserve, their lives will only get better and better in the future. Then, the process of the Uchiha clan's real integration into the village kicked off. When third generation learned from Itaka that the person behind the Uchiha clan's troubles was actually Luli, they couldn't help but feel a lot of emotion. Suddenly, he found that although Adanzo died, the current Kanaha village is stronger than ever. Advertisement. Although the Hayaga family separated, it also completely liberated the potential of the white-eyed clan. In time, there will be a Sengo family whose strength is far superior to that of the previous Hayaga family. The Uchiha clan has also completely surrendered. The two strong men who opened the Mangekyo Sharingan in the clan have their hearts towards the village. No one expected that Kanaha's internal troubles would be eliminated in this way. Under the ebb and flow, Kanaha's comprehensive strength skyrocketed, plus a Senjo Luli who turned out to be. Kanaha's strength at this time obviously surpassed that of Kanaha village during the Third Ninja World War. In a way, it even surpassed Kanaha when first Hokage was alive, because the current Kanaha village is more cohesive than when it was first established. Most importantly, Luli is only 13 years old now. Youth is capital, even pretending to pretend can last for decades. Third generation can imagine that, if there is no accident, Kanaha will dominate the entire ninja world in the next few decades. If you are strong, you will naturally not be afraid of external challenges. It's good that Cloud Shinobi village is more interesting. If a war breaks out, Kanaha will definitely win with a crushing attitude. The third generation, who has always been used to compromise, is convinced of this at this moment. Ask for flowers. Ask for everything. Advertise. 043 isn't this spectacular? Advertisement. With the third generation coming to the door, the leisurely days came to an end. Luli, follow me to the land of iron to negotiate with Rakage. Third generation picked up a large piece of braised pork and threw it into his mouth, while munching on it, he said vaguely, the secret stewed pork is Luli's specialty, and at least a small part of the reason why Hinata stays here is because he is greedy for this delicious dish. Negotiation? What's going on? Luli took away the whole plate of braised pork while third generation was about to put down his chopsticks, and stuffed it to Hinata and Niji, who had been coveting for a long time. If I knew it earlier, I would have talked about it after dinner. Third generation smacked his mouth and put down his chopsticks angrily. I said, old man, every time you come to find someone to discuss things, do you just get stuck at the mealtime? Luli was very amazed at third generation's kung fu. Third generation said with a serious face, could it be that the old man, as a third hokage, can't eat a meal from you? Don't talk about those useless things, talk about negotiations. Luli cast a sharp look at Hinata and Niji, and the two little guys ran away with their plates. Advertisement. Hisashi, who is busy with root affairs, is usually seldom at home, so now there are only one old and one young in the house. It can be said that the two most useful people for Kanaha to talk to are here. After pondering for a moment, third generation said, even if we want to go to war, we have to talk about it before declaring war publicly. This is the tradition of the ninja world, and we can't break it. Luli thought for a moment and nodded. According to the universal values of the Hokage world, it is unethical to go to war without declaring it. Even a traitor like Obito appeared in front of the Five Shadows, informed them of the Eye of the Moon plan, and announced the start of the Fourth Ninja World War. So this trip to the country of iron is imperative. The Kingdom of Iron is a neutral country sandwiched between the two great powers, the Kingdom of Fire and the Kingdom of Thunder. Including the talks between the five great nations and the five shadows, the place for meetings between shadows is generally chosen in the iron country. Grandpa, I can say my ugly words first. This time Rakage must give a satisfactory explanation, otherwise he will directly declare war. At that time, don't be soft-hearted and just want to calm things down. Lu Li's attitude is still tough. Third generation glared and said, if I have a plan to calm things down, will I invite you to negotiate with me? Brat, you have never experienced war, so how do you know the cruelty of war? Luli curled her lips and said, cut. It's not like you haven't seen me kill people. The battlefield is nothing more than killing more people. You kid said it lightly. The cruelty of war is not how many people die, but the pain of losing relatives, friends, and partners. Do you understand? This seemed to remind third generation of a lot of bad memories, so he looked a little frustrated. Old man, don't get excited, I'm here this time. Luli said, patting his chest. Advertisement. Third generation was overjoyed. Once the war starts, no matter how powerful people are, it is impossible to protect everyone. Some people will die, and then leave endless pain to the living. My aunt Tsunade has never come back to see you all these years. Luli suddenly asked an inexplicable question. Girl Tsunade, in a blink of an eye, she has been away from the village for 20 years. Third generation sighed. At this time, he suddenly thought of something, and said strangely, Hey, how do you know Tsunade? When she left, your parents' hair didn't grow yet. The corner of Luli's mouth twitched. It sounded like a curse. It is now Kanaha's 56th year, and the second ninja war ended in Kanaha's 36th year. Exactly 20 years have passed. Although I haven't met my aunt, it doesn't prevent me from getting to know her. Luli suddenly whispered mysteriously, Is my aunt very beautiful? This, you know too. Third generation was slightly taken aback. Luli's eyes lit up, and he made a gesture of holding a heavy object on his chest, and said, Isn't this really spectacular? Have you seen Sunade? Third generation's eyes widened. Luli gritted her teeth and said, I've seen it. It's strange. Third generation, then how do you know her so well? I heard it from a guy with the word oil on his forehead. Luli said nonsense. Oil. Jiria. Advertisement. Suddenly, third generation said, that guy, when did you see him? Just yesterday. Luli continued to ramble. The third generation slapped the table and said angrily, these guys didn't even come to see me when they came back. They really heard them for nothing. Did we digress? Continue talking about the negotiation. Luli hurriedly brought the topic back. Third generation narrowed his eyes and said, the negotiation will definitely not be smooth sailing. With Cloud Shinobi Village's usual style, it is estimated that they will overwhelm people with power. Let us compensate them. Luli chuckled, that's easy, capture Rakage alive, and let them exchange it with Airway Jinchuriki. Third generation laughed and said, according to the information from Cloud Shinobi Village, the little girl you mentioned will participate in this negotiation as Rakage's escort. That's really great, I just grabbed the blanket and warmed it up, it's perfect. Luli excitedly said, third generation has black lines all over his face. That's the perfect Jinchuriki, not a cat or a dog, but thinking of Luli's terrifying strength comparable to first generation, he was relieved. Now the tailed beasts in each ninja village were captured and distributed by first Hokage back then. Not to mention the two-tailed Matatabi, it is the nine-tails Karema, which is just a bigger pet in front of Luli. So what, do you have Huawa and Piaopio? Advertisement. 043 isn't this spectacular? Advertisement. With the third generation coming to the door, the leisurely days came to an end. Luli, follow me to the land of iron to negotiate with Rakage. Third generation picked up a large piece of braised pork and threw it into his mouth, while munching on it. He said vaguely, the secret stewed pork is Luli's specialty, and at least a small part of the reason why Hinata stays here is because he is greedy for this delicious dish. Negotiation? What's going on?
If I knew it earlier, I would have talked about it after dinner. Third generation smacked his mouth and put down his chopsticks angrily. I said, old man, every time you come to find someone to discuss things, do you just get stuck at the mealtime? Luli was very amazed at third generation's kung fu. Third generation said with a serious face, could it be that the old man, as a third hokage, can't eat a meal from you? Don't talk about those useless things, talk about negotiations. Luli cast a sharp look at Hineda and Niji, and the two little guys ran away with their plates. Advertisement. Hisashi, who is busy with rude affairs, is usually seldom at home, so now there are only one old and one young in the house. It can be said that the two most useful people for Kanaha to talk to are here. After pondering for a moment, third generation said, even if we want to go to war, we have to talk about it before declaring war publicly. This is the tradition of the ninja world, and we can't break it. Luli thought for a moment and nodded. According to the universal values of the Hokage world, it is unethical to go to war without declaring it. Even a traitor like Obito appeared in front of the Five Shadows, informed them of the Eye of the Moon plan, and announced the start of the Fourth Ninja World War. So this trip to the country of iron is imperative. The Kingdom of Iron is a neutral country sandwiched between the two great powers, the Kingdom of Fire and the Kingdom of Thunder. Including the talks between the five great nations and the five shadows, the place for meetings between shadows is generally chosen in the iron country. Grandpa, I can say my ugly words first. This time Rakage must give a satisfactory explanation, otherwise he will directly declare war. At that time, don't be soft-hearted and just want to calm things down. Lu Li's attitude is still tough. Third generation glared and said, if I have a plan to calm things down, will I invite you to negotiate with me? Brat, you have never experienced war, so how do you know the cruelty of war? Luli curled her lips and said, cut. It's not like you haven't seen me kill people. The battlefield is nothing more than killing more people. You kid said it lightly. The cruelty of war is not how many people die, but the pain of losing relatives, friends, and partners. Do you understand? This seemed to remind third generation of a lot of bad memories, so he looked a little frustrated. Old man, don't get excited, I'm here this time. Luli said, patting his chest. Advertisement. Third generation was overjoyed. Once the war starts, no matter how powerful people are, it is impossible to protect everyone. Some people will die, and then leave endless pain to the living. My aunt Sunaid has never come back to see you all these years. Luli suddenly asked an inexplicable question. Girl Sunaid, in a blink of an eye, she has been away from the village for twenty years. Third generation sighed. At this time, he suddenly thought of something, and said strangely, Hey, how do you know Sunaid? When she left, your parents' hair didn't grow yet. The corner of Lu Li's mouth twitched. It sounded like a curse. It is now Kanaha's 56th year, and the second ninja war ended in Kanaha's 36th year. Exactly 20 years have passed. Although I haven't met my aunt, it doesn't prevent me from getting to know her. Lu Li suddenly whispered mysteriously, Is my aunt very beautiful? This, you know too. Third generation was slightly taken aback. Lu Li's eyes lit up, and he made a gesture of holding a heavy object on his chest, and said, Isn't this really spectacular? Have you seen Sunaid? Third generation's eyes widened. Lu Li gritted her teeth and said, I've seen it. It's strange. Third generation, then how do you know her so well? I heard it from a guy with the word oil on his forehead. Lu Li said nonsense. Oil. Jiria. Advertisement. Suddenly, third generation said, that guy, when did you see him? Just yesterday. Lu Li continued to ramble. The third generation slapped the table and said angrily, these guys didn't even come to see me when they came back. They really heard them for nothing. Did we digress? Continue talking about the negotiation. Lu Li hurriedly brought the topic back. Third generation narrowed his eyes and said, the negotiation will definitely not be smooth sailing. With Cloud Shinobi Village's usual style, it is estimated that they will overwhelm people with power. Let us compensate them. Lu Li chuckled, that's easy, capture Rakage alive, and let them exchange it with Airway and Shuriki. Third generation laughed and said, according to the information from Cloud Shinobi Village, the little girl you mentioned will participate in this negotiation as Rakage's escort. That's really great, I just grabbed the blanket and warmed it up, it's perfect. Lu Li excitedly said, Third generation has black lines all over his face. That's the perfect Jinchuriki, not a cat or a dog, but thinking of Lu Li's terrifying strength comparable to first generation, he was relieved. Now the tailed beasts in each ninja village were captured and distributed by first Hokage back then. Not to mention the two-tailed Matatabi, it is the nine-tails Karema, which is just a bigger pet in front of Luli. So what, do you have Huawa and Piaopio? Advertisement. 044 new check-in task, Iron Country? Advertisement. Seeking support? 20 more updates on the day of launch. When are we going to go to the Iron Country? From the unhappiness at the beginning to the expectation now, Lu Li's attitude towards negotiations has taken a 180 degree turn. Third generation, two days later. The Kingdom of Iron is already making arrangements. Lu Li nodded, it's just the two of us in this negotiation. Third generation, just bring another Yamanaka style? Negotiation is not a war, and you don't need a lot of people, and in the country of iron, ninjas can't make casual moves. So, if it is not necessary, you'd better not do it. Lu Li still knows about the Yamanaka wind. An excellent ninja of the Yamanaka clan, originally one of Danzo's confidants, has the unique perception ability of the Yamanaka clan. If Cloud Shinobi Village can be honest, I don't need to do it. That is to say, but Lu Li's heart is already hungry and thirsty. By wooden golem, if it's really a big beauty, it's no wonder that Lu Li doesn't make a move. Lu Li wants both country and beauty, after the third generation left. Luli began to figure it out. This time the interview between the two shadows, Luli did not intend to end peacefully. Advertisement. The current order of the ninja world needs to be broken, so that Luli can take action to clean up the chaos and unify the ninja world. And that's just the beginning? Luli's real enemy is not some rakage or some country. With his current strength, it is more than enough to deal with enemies of this level. He's up against the Atsutsuki clan? It was a powerful civilization capable of traveling across the stars. According to the plot of Hokage's original work, Atsutsuki Kagaya is probably just a very ordinary member of the Atsutsuki family. Some even speculate that Kagaya's status among the Atsutsuki clan was actually a lowly maid. The Atsutsuki family planted sacred trees all over the universe, and she is equivalent to the person in charge of a small piece of the earth in the sacred tree plantation garden. But the universe is big, and members of the Atsutsuki family are scattered all over the universe. It is conceivable that there must be someone much stronger than Kagaya in the Atsutsuki clan. When Kagaya played, his strength was not very good, maybe not even as good as Taoshi and Jinshi. She secretly ate the fruit of the sacred tree, and only then did she possess the power of God and the ability of immortality. The strength surpasses the Tao style and the gold style. 
An ordinary member of the Atsutsuki family can become so strong after eating the fruit of the sacred tree. How powerful should the real masters of the Atsutsuki clan, those who eat the fruit of the sacred tree, be? Although in a certain Hokage anime, the Atsutsuki clan are almost like clowns. But here, after all, is a real world. Luli believes that among the Atsutsuki clan, there must be top level experts? Advertisement. So don't look at Luli's current strength is enough to dominate the ninja world, but compared with the big guys of the Atsutsuki clan, it must be 1 billion 80 million miles away. But Luli is not panic at all, he has a sturdy check-in system. As long as you sign in, you will become stronger, and I am afraid that people from the Atsutsuki family will not dare to come. If that's the case, Luli might take the initiative to find her. Luli withdrew his thoughts that had drifted a little far away, and began to think about the things in front of him. According to the known timeline, the current Rakage should be fourth Rakage AI. It is said that every generation of Rakage is called AI, and they are all rough and muscular men. Fourth Rakage is the son of Third Rakage, how should I put it? He can be regarded as a hero of Laozi. In the Third Ninja World War, Third Rakage fought alone against an enemy force of up to 10,000 ninjas, and died of exhaustion after fighting for three days and nights. Fourth Rakage is the brother-in-law of Eight Tails Jinchuriki Killer B. He is also quite powerful. When he was young, he once cut off the left horn of Eight Tails with one hand. He has honed the lightning style chakra mode so proficiently that his incredible speed rivals that of Namikaze Minato, as fast as Lu Lightning, then, then he will definitely be beaten up by Luli at that time. Just when Luli was thinking about beating Rakage, and then taking Wooden Golem home to do something indescribable in Philo, Ding, the new check-in task has been released, do you want to check it? The system that had been silent for half a month finally responded again. Luli was stunned for a moment, then excitedly said silently, check. The task interface jumped into view. Advertisement. Sign in task. Location, capital city of the Iron Kingdom. Time, unlimited. Reward, confidentiality. Status, incomplete. Iron country, Luli was a little surprised. Dare to feel that this system sometimes releases tasks based on events that you have experienced. Sign in at home to get sage body plus strange power. Sign in at ninja school to get grandmaster full attribute chakra. Hokage office sign in to get wood style. Hayagaz house sign in to get illusion immunity plus white eyes plus broken cage. So what rewards can you get in the iron country this time? Is there a connection between the check-in location and the reward? Please help me find the law between the two. Wait online, it is urgent. Ask for flowers. Ask for a ticket. Ask for a reward of 1 yuan. Ask for a comment. Advertisement. 045 the developed yet backward world of Hokage. Advertisement. A flower, an evaluation ticket, a monthly ticket, and a reward of $1 can make the author full of chakra. In the blink of an eye, it was time to set off for the iron country. Standing at the gate of Kanaha village, looking back at the village, Luli has a strange feeling. The world of Hokage has always given us the impression of the cold age, where ninjas fight each other with kunao and sharp knives, and residents hold farm tools to plow the fields and so on. However, when Luli traveled to this world, he knew that there are many technological products here. You know, life in the village is still very modern, with electric lights, radios, air conditioners, cameras. There are many civilian technologies. In addition to these tech products, there are also some things that are not high-tech or semi-tech products, but are very modern. Such as shower rooms, lottery tickets, shopping coupons, toilet paper, ice cream, flush toilets, refrigerators, etc. Before traveling, Luli would subconsciously imagine the people in the Hokage world as ancient people. In fact, if Luli is willing, she can live a life similar to that before time travel. However, these technological products have various limitations, and the cost is too high for ordinary people to afford. So once you leave the city-type human gathering point like Kanaha village and go to the real countryside, it will be another world, a backward world without modern technology. The world of Hokage does not have the level of the industrial world, and its modernization is limited to a small area. Advertisement. So how did these technologies come about? Luli can tell everyone that these are all handmade. Don't think that only industry can produce these technological products, for example. The previous Chinese dynasty was very backward, and cars were once knocked out by hand. In the world before Luli traveled, many luxury goods were actually handmade, including cars. Because the quantity is too small to popularize, and the efficiency of handmade is too low, there is no way to form a breakthrough development. Therefore, the Hokage world is still in a state of technological infancy and has not developed into an industrial world. In fact, as early as the second generation, wires had already appeared, and many technological products already existed at that time. This is the Hokage world, a world where technology and ninjutsu coexist. However, what is developed in this world is civilian technology, and military technology has never appeared. And even civilian technology can't beat ninjutsu. Luli even wondered, if the world's technology is developed well, will ninjutsu withdraw from the stage of history? There's a lot of civilian tech here, but no roaring cars, not even bicycles. In fact, the world has an engine. During the Wave Country mission, Naruto and other five people took the boat which was equipped with an engine. With a boat with an engine installed, how come there are no vehicles? Because the engine power is too low, apart from being able to push the boat in the water, it is impossible to push the car on land. Advertisement. Therefore, only such small boats are equipped with engines, and no large ships have been equipped with engines. This world can't make a high thrust engine at all, and few people research it. Moreover, engines are a big problem even in China, where the industry is very developed. For example, China has not been able to independently develop the engines of fighter jets, and most of them still use Lamazi's engines. After all, due to the power of ninjutsu, it has suppressed the development of heavy industry in this world, especially military technology. The underlying reason is that this is a world dominated by ninjas. The ninja group will not allow hot weapons that are too lethal to appear. Once hot weapons appear, the most ordinary people can threaten powerful ninjas, and the order of this world will be completely subverted. Just like after the Qing dynasty took over the central plains, they knew that the Ming dynasty had many very advanced firearms at that time, but they were all sealed up for use, and no one else was allowed to use them, artificially cutting off the development of military technology. This is similar to ninja world. There is only one purpose, to maintain the status quo, to maintain the advantages and interests of the ninja ruling class. Long story short, let's get down to business. Because there is no such means of transportation as a car, therefore, when Luli and the others go to the iron country this time, they can only, walk. To say that you don't complain in your heart is definitely a lie. Yamanaka Fang, this time you go north, you are a drifting monk, and you are dedicated to carrying the burden. Luli threw his luggage to Yamanaka Fang, who is drifting. Yamanaka Fang looked confused, but he couldn't refuse. Advertisement. He was Danzo's henchman, and Danzo is dead, so his identity reverts to Kanaha's ninja, an ordinary root member. For Danzo's death, he dared not and could not resent Luli, especially after the root was repeatedly brainwashed by Hisashi, he knew Luli's good intentions to kill Danzo. The current Kanaha village is much stronger than when Danzo was alive, and this is all thanks to Luli. Of course, this kind of brainwashing propaganda by Hisashi at the root is actually inspired by Luli. Now the root, you don't need to know Hokage, but you 
you must know Senju Luli, third generation is well aware of this, but does not interfere, because he is old, and Luli will be in charge of Kanaha sooner or later. Luli pointed to a donkey laden with goods in the distance, and said, look, that's drifting. Yamanaka's forehead is full of black lines. It turns out that Luli just used him as a follower in his luggage. Stinky boy, don't bully Yamanaka Fang. Okay, it's time to go. Third generation kicked Luli, but was dodged by Luli. Luli quibbled, I didn't bully him. Tang Monk was able to obtain the scriptures, and drifting contributed a lot. Later, in terms of merit and deeds, he was rewarded with a golden body Arhat's blood successor limit. Along the way, Luli was so bored that he told them the story of journey to the west. Of course, it must have been changed beyond recognition by Luli. Since the trip to the Iron Country is going north, in order to meet the occasion, journey to the west has been changed to journey to the north. Huawa, Piopio, all kinds of pleadings. Advertisement. 045 The developed yet backward world of Hokage. Advertisement. A flower, an evaluation ticket, a monthly ticket, and a reward of one dollar can make the author full of chakra. In the blink of an eye, it was time to set off for the Iron Country. Standing at the gate of Kanaha village, looking back at the village, Luli has a strange feeling. The world of Hokage has always given us the impression of the cold age, where ninjas fight each other with kunao and sharp knives, and residents hold farm tools to plow the fields and so on. However, when Luli traveled to this world, he knew that there are many technological products here. You know, life in the village is still very modern, with electric lights, radios, air conditioners, cameras. There are many civilian technologies. In addition to these tech products, there are also some things that are not high-tech or semi-tech products, but are very modern. Such as shower rooms, lottery tickets, shopping coupons, toilet paper, ice cream, flush toilets, refrigerators, etc. Before traveling, Luli would subconsciously imagine the people in the Hokage world as ancient people. In fact, if Luli is willing, she can live a life similar to that before time travel. However, these technological products have various limitations, and the cost is too high for ordinary people to afford. So once you leave the city-type human gathering point like Kanaha village and go to the real countryside, it will be another world, a backward world without modern technology. The world of Hokage does not have the level of the industrial world, and its modernization is limited to a small area. Advertisement. So how did these technologies come about? Luli can tell everyone that these are all handmade. Don't think that only industry can produce these technological products, for example. The previous Chinese dynasty was very backward, and cars were once knocked out by hand. In the world before Luli traveled, many luxury goods were actually handmade, including cars. Because the quantity is too small to popularize, and the efficiency of handmade is too low, there is no way to form a breakthrough development. Therefore, the Hokage world is still in a state of technological infancy and has not developed into an industrial world. In fact, as early as the second generation, wires had already appeared, and many technological products already existed at that time. This is the Hokage world, a world where technology and ninjutsu coexist. However, what is developed in this world is civilian technology, and military technology has never appeared. And even civilian technology can't beat ninjutsu. Luli even wondered, if the world's technology is developed well, will ninjutsu withdraw from the stage of history? There's a lot of civilian tech here, but no roaring cars, not even bicycles. In fact, the world has an engine. During the Wave Country mission, Naruto and other five people took the boat, which was equipped with an engine. With a boat with an engine installed, how come there are no vehicles? Because the engine power is too low, apart from being able to push the boat in the water, it is impossible to push the car on land. Advertisement. Therefore, only such small boats are equipped with engines, and no large ships have been equipped with engines. This world can't make a high thrust engine at all, and few people research it. Moreover, engines are a big problem even in China, where the industry is very developed. For example, China has not been able to independently develop the engines of fighter jets, and most of them still use Lamazi's engines. After all, due to the power of ninjutsu, it has suppressed the development of heavy industry in this world, especially military technology. The underlying reason is that this is a world dominated by ninjas. The ninja group will not allow hot weapons that are too lethal to appear. Once hot weapons appear, the most ordinary people can threaten powerful ninjas, and the order of this world will be completely subverted. Just like after the Qing dynasty took over the central plains, they knew that the Ming dynasty had many very advanced firearms at that time, but they were all sealed up for use, and no one else was allowed to use them, artificially cutting off the development of military technology. This is similar to ninja world. There is only one purpose, to maintain the status quo, to maintain the advantages and interests of the ninja ruling class. Long story short, let's get down to business. Because there is no such means of transportation as a car, therefore, when Luli and the others go to the Iron Country this time, they can only, walk. To say that you don't complain in your heart is definitely a lie. Yamanaka Fang, this time you go north, you are a drifting monk, and you are dedicated to carrying the burden. Luli threw his luggage to Yamanaka Fang, who is drifting. Yamanaka Fang looked confused, but he couldn't refuse. Advertisement. He was Danzo's henchman, and Danzo is dead, so his identity reverts to Kanaha's ninja, an ordinary root member. For Danzo's death, he dared not and could not resent Luli, especially after the root was repeatedly brainwashed by Hisashi, he knew Luli's good intentions to kill Danzo. The current Kanaha village is much stronger than when Danzo was alive, and this is all thanks to Luli. Of course, this kind of brainwashing propaganda by Hisashi at the root is actually inspired by Luli. Now the root, you don't need to know Hokage, but you must know Senju Luli. Third generation is well aware of this, but does not interfere, because he is old, and Luli will be in charge of Kanaha sooner or later. Luli pointed to a donkey laden with goods in the distance, and said, look, that's drifting. Yamanaka's forehead is full of black lines. It turns out that Luli just used him as a follower in his luggage. Stinky boy, don't bully Yamanaka Fang. Okay, it's time to go. Third generation kicked Luli, but was dodged by Luli. Luli quibbled, I didn't bully him. Tang Monk was able to obtain the scriptures, and drifting contributed a lot. Later, in terms of merit and deeds, he was rewarded with a golden body Arhat's blood successor limit. Along the way, Luli was so bored that he told them the story of journey to the west. Of course, it must have been changed beyond recognition by Luli. Since the trip to the Iron Country is going north, in order to meet the occasion, journey to the west has been changed to journey to the north. Huawa, Piopio, all kinds of pleadings. Advertisement. 046 sign in reward, swordsmanship grandmaster and Zanpakito. Advertisement. Thanks to smoke and drunk for the reminder ticket, it will be updated after it is put on the shelves. Tang San hides himself as the reincarnation of Jin Shan's immortal chakra, why is he so weak that even Jenin can take him away casually? 
Sun Wukong's augmented ninjutsu, Juwonkan, is this setting too strong? Monkey King himself has the strength of elite Jonin. Once he uses Juwonkan, as long as his body can bear it, he can increase Chakra and Jonin dozens of times. The power of ninjutsu, isn't it terrifying? It's a bit like the eight inner gates that guy practiced. Zubeiji is simply a waste material. He has no tenacity and tenacity. He runs away from difficulties. How did this kind of person become a Jonin? Every time he performs a mission, he knows how to steal and play tricks. If he is in my team, let him pack up and leave a long time ago. Teammates like drifting are good teammates. Although they are not the strongest, they work hard. I suggest that Monkey King's Rigi Golden Cudgel can be added with the ability of Hand of the Eight Demon, which would be even more perfect. Lu Li squinted at these two guys, hey, hey, you don't feel back pain when you listen to stories, don't you? You guys are awesome, so why don't you tell me? Third generation, you continue. Yamanaka wind, I shut up. Along the way, the three of them didn't encounter any obstacles, and they stepped into the territory of the Iron Kingdom smoothly. The land of iron. The third generation looked at the surrounding scene and couldn't help but sigh with emotion. It seems to recall some not so good memories. The country of iron is a country located on a snowfield, which makes it a natural fortress, easy to defend but difficult to attack. The climate here is cold and covered with snow all year round. The style of painting is a bit like the snowy area of Stan in DNF. In fact, the iron country is a neutral country with independent culture, independent authority, and independent combat power. Advertisement. As a neutral country, the ninjas agreed a long time ago not to attack this country, so several ninja wars were avoided. In addition to the agreement between ninjas, geographical factors also played an extremely important role in being able to stay out of the war. Because of the perennial snow, the iron country is basically unable to produce food independently. Even if it is occupied, the supplies here will not be able to support too many people, and will instead become a burden for the big country. Secondly, the iron country borders many countries, which makes it a natural buffer zone. In other words, once any country wants to attack other countries through the iron country, before he captured the iron country, other countries had enough time to react. And the geographical conditions of the iron country make it easy for them to hold on. But anyone who is sensible will understand that attacking here is a thankless task. Maybe they will steal chickens and lose money. It is easy to defend but difficult to attack, and the soil is barren. It is simply a tasteless tasteless rib. At the junction of the land of fire and the land of iron, someone has been waiting here for a long time. After noticing Luli and his group, a burly man with four samurai swords hanging from his waist quickly stepped forward, saluted them, and introduced himself. Welcome to the land of iron. I am Jiao, a subordinate of General Mifune, and I am here to wait for you. The person who came was none other than Mifune's subordinate of Iron Country Admiral, who served as Mifune's guard in the subsequent Five Cage Conference. Although this person is not a ninja, he has the strength of a jonin. Lu Li looked at these people, all in silver laminated armor, with two sabers hanging on the left and right sides of their bodies. In addition, he wears a gas mask helmet on his head. In the Fourth World War of Ninjas, it was because of the gas mask helmet that he was protected from the poisonous gas attack of San Jiao Fish. Although the warriors of the Iron Kingdom are not ninjas, it does not mean that they do not have chakra. Advertisement. In fact, when they fight, they also use chakra. Ninjas use chakra to perform a variety of ninjutsu, genjutsu, and teijutsu to strike at opponents. The samurai applies their own chakra to the samurai sword to form a sword or sword. This also caused the attack methods of these warriors to be very single, and their strength was also very limited. Especially in the later stage of Hokage, all kinds of ninjutsu bombardment, it seems that the chopper team like the samurai is weak and tasteless. Even Mifune, the strongest in the Iron Kingdom, has only the same combat effectiveness. Thank you your excellency. Third generation nodded with a smile. Master Third Hokage, please follow me. We have already prepared a hotel for you in the capital. Li Jiao's tone was still very respectful. Although the Iron Country has always maintained neutrality, it does not mean that they know nothing about other countries. On the contrary, they still have some understanding of a big country like the Fire Nation. In particular, the prestigious Third Hokage is not only known as a ninjutsu professor, but also enjoys the prestige of a ninja hero. Even Mifune, the leader of the Iron Country Samurai group, respects and respects Third Generation very much. The three of Luli followed Jiao and the others, passing through areas with extremely complex terrain. Jiao reminded, everyone must not leave the team without authorization, and follow the route I have taken. Only in this way can you reach the capital of the Iron Kingdom safely. There is only one route from the Fire Kingdom to the Iron Kingdom capital, and every every once in a while, the safe course changes. Luli wondered, why? Third generation said, many places we pass are surrounded by traps. If there is no familiar person to guide the way, we will encounter countless traps and traps, making it difficult to move forward. When Luli heard this, he suddenly realized, it turns out that neutral countries are not without a little bit of defense. It seems that this kind of defense method is really good. Obviously, what Li Jiao said was actually a kind of warning from him. Advertisement. Also tell them, don't try to remember the correct route, because it is meaningless. Li Jiao led them through the forest and finally arrived at the capital of the Iron Kingdom. Ding, congratulations host successfully arrived at the check-in location, do you want to check-in? Show check-in area. Lu Li's eyes immediately showed a red area that only he could see, covering the entire capital of the Iron Kingdom. Let's sign in. Ding, the sign-in starts and lasts for five minutes. Exiting the sign-in area halfway will be considered a sign-in failure. Immediately, the countdown to check-in began. 300. 299. Luli looked at the capital of the Iron Kingdom. The prosperity here is obviously not as prosperous as Kanaha village. The difference is as big as coming from a first-tier city to a county. The arrival of Luli and the others also attracted the attention of many wandering warriors. They stared at the three strangers, their eyes were not very friendly. Five minutes passed quickly. Ding, congratulations host successfully signed in. Rewarded, Sword Grandmaster. Ding, you will get an extra reward for signing in this time, Zanpakuto sealed state. Hearing the familiar voice, Luli was slightly taken aback. Advertisement. 047 arrival, favorites. Advertisement. Thank you boss Philo is for the reward of the monthly pass. Ask for flowers, tickets, everything. Judging from the locations and rewards of the previous check-ins, it is easy for Luli to guess that the rewards for this check-in may be related to the unique warrior culture of the Iron Kingdom. Indeed, Luli was rewarded with Swordsmanship Grandmaster. Only. Zanpakuto sealed state. What the hell is this? Isn't this the setting in Shinigami? It turns out that the rewards for signing in are not necessarily all things in the Hokage world, and this is also the first in-kind reward that Luli has received. However, the sealed state of the reward did not appear in Luli's hands out of thin air. With a thought in Luli's mind, a system backpack interface popped up in front of his eyes. He subconsciously glanced at the Zanpakuto sealed state lying quietly in the system backpack. 
Lu Li knew that he could extract it through his mind. From the outside, it is nothing more than a slender snow white sword. The shape is not very different from the samurai sword in the Hokage world. However, as a time traveler, Lu Li is well aware of how scary the potential of the sealed state is. Its origin has nothing to do with Hokage ninja, of course, but comes from another anime called Shinigami. The sealed state is Zenpakuto's former name without Shikai. It is a weapon created by the two masters of the Phoenix Palace knife god Wang Yeyo. It is known as the strongest Zenpakuto with unlimited development power. After materializing, it will become a naked person with only a mouth and a nose. At the same time, it will become the only Zenpakuto as the owner injects his own spirit and belief. Advertisement. It is no exaggeration to say that this seemingly inconspicuous sealed state is far more valuable than any sword grandmaster. So what is Zenpakuto? Zenpakuto, the saber used by the Shinigami. Its shape and abilities are based on the Shinigami's own soul. A Shinigami gains power by knowing the name of the Zenpakuto given to them, and by having a spiritual dialogue with it. Each Zenpakuto has its own unique ability. Lu Li turned off the system interface, and she was still in a good mood. He began to wonder, what kind of abilities would he give this Zenpakuto? The awakening of Zenpakuto is determined by the bearer of the weapon. For example, Aizen, who is good at disguising and deceiving, endowed the sealed state Kyoka Suijutsu. Riot's his mighty Kurosaki Ichigo, gets Tensa Zenjutsu. Not to mention monsters like Zaraki Kenpeke. In Lu Li's opinion, his Zenpakuto is simply the most unreasonable one. While Lu Li has nothing like Riot's Chakra, and Riot's seem to be about the same. It is a kind of spiritual and physical energy, and the higher the density, the stronger the power. According to Lu Li's cognition, he feels Chakra in Hokage, Riotsu in Shinigami, Cosmos in Saint Warrior, Chi in Dragon Ball, and Nian in Hunter. They are all similar in themselves, and sometimes even the form of expression is very similar. For example, Chakra of First Generation and Nine Tails is too powerful to easily oppress the opponent and lose the consciousness of resistance. This is very similar to Riotsu and Haki. In other words, Lu Li can inject Chakra into the sealed state, thus giving it unique abilities. However, with the Grand Master Swordsmanship I have mastered, combined with a large number of Chakra, I don't know if the quantitative change will lead to a qualitative change. Lu Li walked on the streets of the capital city of the Iron Kingdom, looking at the warriors leading the way. He couldn't help thinking. His Chakra is much more than those of the samurai. If he injects Chakra into the sealed state to form sword energy, I don't know if it will reach the level of X Curry Stick. Advertisement. If possible, this sword goes down. Find a chance to try it. As Li Jiao said, they have already arranged a hotel for Luli and third generation. Master third Hokage, it's been a hard journey. Please bear with me if I have neglected anything. According to Master Mifune's instructions, the three of you should have a good night's rest, and the meeting will officially start tomorrow. Li Jiao's attitude remained respectful. Although the national power of the Iron Country is far inferior to the Fire Country and the Thunder Country, but as the only neutral country in the ninja world that can stay out of the war in the three ninja world wars, they have a strong self-confidence. Whether it was receiving Hokage or Rakage, Mifune did not come forward directly, but was approached by his subordinates. During the talks, they would meet Mifune himself. Thank you. Convey my thanks to Mifune. Third generation nodded. Be sure to convey it, then I won't disturb everyone's rest. I have to go back and report to Lord Mifune. With that said, he gave a warrior salute to Luli and the others, then turned around and strode away. Old man, I'm going back to my room to rest. I've been on the road for the past few days, but I'm exhausted. Seeing that Li Jiao had already left, Luli pretended to stretch, looking half dead from exhaustion. Third generation laughed and scolded, Stinky boy, go, Yamanaka Fang, you have worked hard these days, go back to the house and rest. Yes, Lord Third Generation. Yamanaka Fang stood up straight without any fatigue, but still took orders. This is a habit he has developed at the root, no matter what orders his superiors issue, he does not question them, but only executes them. Xiao Fengzi, help me put my luggage in the room. Luli said with a smile. Yes, Yamanaka Fang still carried out meticulously. Luli returned to the room, let Yamanaka put away his luggage, and immediately closed the door. Although the Iron Country is not rich, under the leadership of Mifune, everyone lives and works in peace and contentment. And the hotel that received them couldn't be too bad, the environment was the best in the capital. Although the room is not gorgeous, it is clean and tidy, and the things that are usually used are placed very neatly. Advertisement. Luli sat cross-legged on the tatami, and directly rolled his eyes. Although he is very powerful in combat, his perception ability is his weakness. Sometimes even face to face, Luli can't tell the difference between chakra. Fortunately, he has supercilious eyes. When he opened his white eyes, he immediately had a 360 degree field of vision without dead ends. Coupled with the clairvoyance of the white eyes and the ability to distinguish chakra, he can confirm whether someone is watching him. After confirming that there was no abnormality, Luli extracted the sealed state from the system backpack with his mind. Although he has never wielded a weapon such as Itachi before, he has mastered sword play grandmaster. As soon as the sealed state is held in the hand, the feeling of being commanded by the armor rises spontaneously. He can even dance a difficult sword flower with a flick of his hand. If this is before mastering the swordsmanship grandmaster, you must accidentally injure yourself. Good sword. Luli blurted out instinctively. He tried injecting chakra into the sealed state to see if he could liberate it and turn it into a real Zanpakuto. Obviously, it's not that easy, the sealed state doesn't change. It seems that to make it into a real Zanpakuto, chakra alone is not enough, spiritual strength and faith are also required. Luli looked at the silver white blade, stopped injecting chakra, and stood up from the tatami. Although signing in rewarded him with the sealed state, there was no matching scabbard. The country of iron is a country of warriors. Every warrior here wears layered armor and has at least two swords. The field of sword casting is extremely developed. When Luli was walking on the street before, he saw several good sword making workshops. Go get a scabbard for the sealed state. Seeing that it was still early outside, Luli simply pinned the snow white sword to his waist, and then left the room. If you have Huawa and Piaopio, please vote for me. Advertisement. 048 Meet the Two by Wooden Golem. Favorites. Advertisement. Flowers and evaluation votes are really pitiful, everyone please do me a favor. The hotel where Luli and the others stayed is located in the most prosperous area of the capital city of the Iron Country. Although it can't be compared with Kanaha village, the street is still quite lively. Luli walked out of the hotel, looking at the surrounding environment while walking. There are also people coming and going on the street, and various hawkers are doing business. Of course, as the hometown of samurai, the ironware and sword casting crafts here are very developed. Before Luli walked a few steps, he could see a sword making hall with a huge shop. He glanced at the sealed state on his waist, and walked directly into the sword making hall. 
Welcome. The swordsmiths here naturally acted very familiar when they saw a guest coming to the door. But the next moment, his gaze was attracted by the sealed state on Lu Li's waist. With just a glance, the swordsmith's eyes widened. This, your sword. The swordsmith swallowed. In the field of sword casting, he considered himself well informed. Many of the weapons used by very famous samurai were written by him. As a senior swordsmith, he hated using the word perfect to describe a sword. Because for a true swordsmith, the best sword is always the next one. This is the belief that every swordsmith must have. Advertisement. It is this belief that supports him to keep forging ahead and reach higher heights in the field of sword casting. If one day a certain sword he forged is described as perfect, it would be tantamount to denying his future life. This is undoubtedly a devastating blow to a swordsmith who strives for excellence. However, these ideas were completely subverted after meeting Luli. Perfect. Under this extreme shock, the swordsmith subconsciously muttered to himself. At this moment, he couldn't find any words to describe the sword on Luli's waist, except perfect. Huh. Luli looked at the dull-faced boss, and Monk Zhang Yar was puzzled. The swordsmith came back to his senses and apologized, sorry. Can I, have a look at your saber? He wiped his trembling hands on the back of his clothes, very sincerely. At the same time, I was a little apprehensive, as if I was afraid that Luli would refuse. Luli followed his gaze to the sealed state on his waist, took it off and handed it over. No problem at all. The swordsmith showed fanaticism, stretched out his hands, and respectfully caught the sealed state. That cautious look was like picking up his newborn son. I was afraid that I would accidentally knock or touch it. Just show me, and then help me get a suitable scabbard for this sword. After Luli confessed, he didn't care about it, and started to visit the store on his own. What? The scabbard. Do you want to customize the scabbard for this Tadeo? The swordsmith was a little stunned, he almost thought he heard it wrong. Such a perfect sword without a sheath? Just when the swordsmith was astonished, his apprentices who were already busy came forward one after another. They had never seen their master treat a sword so seriously. Advertisement. You know, their master has made many famous swords and knives, even the sword of Master Mifune was made by him. But they were quickly attracted by the snow white sword in the master's hand, and they all stared at it intently. Beautiful. This sword body is simply perfect. Although they are still only apprentices, they are usually guided by famous teachers and have seen many good swords, so their vision is naturally extremely high. Seeing this, Luli couldn't help raising his eyebrows. But it's right to think about it. The sealed state is the proud work of the sword god Nimiya Wanjayu. As a Tadeo, its standards in all aspects are naturally extraordinary. If even a few mortals can't be restrained, it would be a waste of fame. Are you really going to order a sheath for this sword? The swordsmith looked excited. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me introduce myself. My name is Taya, and I am the chief swordsmith of the Iron Kingdom. Master Mifune's sword is from my hand. Oh, Luli was surprised. Being able to build sabers for Mifune, it seems that he is indeed a leader in this industry. Of course Luli knew about Mifune. He was skilled in swordsmanship and was the leader of the Iron Kingdom Samurai group. In the Hokage plot, he defeated Hanzo of the Salamander, known as the Half God, in the Fourth Ninja War. This is enough to show that this guy still has two brushes when it comes to Kendo. Luli didn't think it was so strange that he could meet the chief swordsmith of the Iron Kingdom when he just went to a shop. This area was originally the most prosperous area in the capital city of the Iron Kingdom, and those who had no knowledge of it probably were not qualified to occupy such a large shop here. That's right, without the sheath, it's very inconvenient to carry around. Luli looked around the shop and said, I don't know if you have any ready-made scabbards that are suitable for my knife. Off the shelf. Taifeng followed Lu Li's line of sight and looked at the waste products hanging on the wall, dumbfounded. Advertisement. God, what is this guy thinking? A scabbard is to a knife what clothes are to a person. While playing a protective role, it will also highlight a person's status, taste, and so on. Obviously, comparing those ready-made scabbards with the Tadeo in hand, it was like the difference between a beggar's outfit and a king's. This combination is completely unacceptable. This is defilement, it is a great insult. Just when Taiya was organizing his language, he was about to make the most correct suggestion for Luli. Brother, with all due respect, an ordinary scabbard is not worthy of your Tadeo. There was an abrupt voice. Luli followed the prestige, but saw two familiar strangers. The ninja of Cloud Shinobi Village, Nozomi, and a big beauty, two-tailed Jinchuriki of Cloud Shinobi Village, two by Wooden Golem. Of course, the two standing in front of Luli are younger than the impression. At this time, Wooden Golem was only 20 years old, and he didn't have that kind of proud queen temperament, but gave people a cute feeling. The speaker is she, who is younger than you Wooden Golem, 17 years old, with short yellow hair, and quite handsome. Unexpectedly, I met Wooden Golem here, really beautiful and it didn't disappoint. The corners of Luli's mouth curled up slightly, she was one of his favorite bed warmers. Completely correct. Taya nodded, she's opinion almost spoke out his heart. Ask for flowers. Ask for everything. Advertisement. 049 conflict over a knife. For collection. Advertisement. Begging for everything, please. Flowers and evaluation boat data are really miserable. Guest officer, as long as you give me time, I guarantee that you will be able to forge a scabbard worthy of this weapon. As he spoke, Taya bowed deeply to Luli and maintained this posture, as if asking for his approval. Luli was stunned for a moment, feeling that the iron teeth were a bit inexplicable. But thinking that this might be due to the master's ingenuity, he reluctantly agreed. Then how much does it cost to make a scabbard? Luli felt that since he was the chief swordsmith of the Iron Kingdom, the price should be high. As a result, Taya quickly refused. If you allow me to make a scabbard for this Tadeo, it is already considered worthy of my authority. It is my honor to say that money is slapping me in the face. She also looked at Luli speechlessly. He was thinking, maybe this guy doesn't know the value of this sword at all. If so, what a waste of money. Moreover, doesn't he know the reason for the crime of embracing by? Wandering around the capital of the Iron Country with an incomparably precious dagger, aren't you afraid that those wandering warriors will miss it? Brother, do you sell this knife? You can say what the price is. She really couldn't hold back, and blurted out. Luli, I really want to buy your knife. She untied a heavy purse from her body to show her sincerity. In his opinion, putting this knife in Luli's hand is really a hidden gem. And it is easy to be coveted by people with ulterior motives. He bought this knife for the good of Luli. He felt that such a perfect Tadeo was probably only worthy of their eight tails Jinchuriki Killer B from Cloud Shinobi Village. In terms of swordsmanship, Killer B's attainment is so high that it is one of the few in the entire ninja world. Luli looked at the person she's hand with some amusement. Advertisement. In this world, no one may know the sealed state better than him. The reason why he doesn't think the knife is so precious is that he just regards the sealed state as a toy. But that doesn't mean you'll pass it on to someone else. Because, he doesn't want to. No matter how high the price she offered, he would not accept it. I won't sell this knife, it's not about money. Luli shook his head. She smiled slightly, and said, Are you sure? Would you rather bring this knife to your life than sell it to me? Luli squinted and said with a smile, Not for sale. She nodded and said, Can I see your knife? 
Taya looked at Luli, obviously asking for advice, because the sealed state is now in his hands. Just look at it. Luli said indifferently. Thank you. She took the sealed state and admired it carefully. Your knife, anyone who knows a little bit will be moved when they see it. But you are carrying it around in a big way, really. Fortunately, you met us, otherwise, you would never be able to get out of this place. Shop. He paused, and asked again, I suggest you hand over this trouble to me, and you can get a large sum of money, enough to live comfortably in the next life. Or, you can also come to our village. Suddenly, Wooden Golem extended an invitation to Luli. At this time, Wooden Golem is young and beautiful, and she is also a gentle and kind person. She felt that if Luli really didn't want to be separated from the sword, she could live with them in Cloud Shinobi Village. At least, she can provide him with a kind of protection. Luli smiled and winked at Wooden Golem, and said something inexplicable. Beauty, why don't you come to our village? Laughter by Wooden Golem. Master Iron Fang, how long will it take to make this scabbard? I shouldn't be able to stay in the Iron Country for long. Ah, uh, so, Taya was a little embarrassed. Advertisement. According to his thinking, it must be meticulously crafted, and the time required will definitely not be short. I still hope that you can stay in the Iron Country for a few more days. If it is not possible, I am willing to bear your food, accommodation and various expenses. It can be said that Taya's attitude is quite good, almost to the point of begging. Of course Luli is very satisfied with his attitude, but he can't waste too much time here for a scabbard. After the meeting, I will definitely return to Kanaha Village immediately. If that's the case, then I can only apologize. As soon as these words came out, Taya was struck by lightning. His apprentices, as well as the crowd eating melons, all sighed. And what Luli did next made their blood pressure go up even more. I saw Luli casually took off a scabbard from the nearby wall, and then stretched out his hand to Chaoshi. She looked at the scabbard in Luli's hand, hesitated for a moment, and returned the sealed state. Then, Luli directly inserted the sealed state into the scabbard in his hand in front of everyone. He even waited and said with satisfaction, it's pretty good. Iron Fang, and his apprentices, he, by Wooden Golem. Everyone present was dumbfounded at this moment. This guy, how can this knife be treated so roughly? This is a serious insult? It's just that she didn't wait for she to reprimand Luli for his bad behavior. A group of wandering warriors suddenly rushed into the shop. Tai Fang's heart skipped a beat, thinking something was wrong. Wandering warriors in the Iron Country are actually equivalent to the existence of some kind of dark force. They will do anything for money. Your knife, I want it. Advertisement. The leader of the wandering warriors stretched out their hands towards Luli with a smirk. Let me just say it. She shook his head, he had already foreseen this scene. With Lu Li's attire, one can tell that she is a foreigner. And there is no sign of a ninja, just an ordinary person. And these wandering warriors, the favorite target of robbery, is this kind of fool. What do you want to do? At this time, Wooden Golem suddenly took a step forward, protecting Lu Li behind him, and looked directly at the wandering warrior headed by him. In the opinion of Wooden Golem, Lu Li is unwilling to sell this sword, but this is not a reason for these people to grab it. This made Lu Li slightly stunned. It is said that when the forest is big, there are indeed all kinds of birds. Cloud Shinobi Village has indeed done a lot of ridiculous things. But the people who come out of Cloud Shinobi Village are not all bad guys, such as Wooden Golem in front of you. They meet by chance, and they are willing to draw their swords to help in the face of injustice? Well, as expected of the woman he had his eyes on. Cloud Shinobi. The leading samurai also quickly recognized Wooden Golem's forward protector, but they ignored her. The country of iron is a neutral country. No ninja can make a move in this country. You should be clear, right? As he said that, the leader of the wandering warriors gave his little brother a look, signaling them to start grabbing directly. Immediately someone rushed to Luli behind her. You dare. Wooden Golem sneered and kicked the man upside down. She he put his hand on his forehead, this is troublesome. But he also pulled out the longsword behind him and protected Lu Li's other side. Brother, now that you see it, I'm sure there will be trouble. Advertisement. 050 is it soft rice? Please collect. Advertisement. Ask for flowers. Ask for comments. Ask for anything, big guys. Lu Li is protected by Wooden Golem and she. This made Lu Li feel a little funny, and subconsciously touched his nose. But Lu Li doesn't have to worry about being hurt by Wooden Golem. She is not a Jinchuriki like Naruto who can't control the tailed beast. Made by Wooden Golem, as his killer bee, is the perfect Jinchuriki. She has become friends with Airway, and she can borrow the power of tail beast at will. These wandering warriors in front of me are really not enough. The reason why it fell into the hands of Obito later was really a bit unlucky. I met such an unreasonable undead duo like Haydn and Kakuzu, otherwise Airway would not have been sealed by Magic Dragon 9, and she would have lost life. With the strength of the wooden golem, those wandering warriors can't get close at all. You asked for this. The wandering samurai at the head draws out his samurai sword and infuses it with wind attribute chakra, forming a sharp sword aura. Since the Iron Country is a neutral country, it has hardly participated in the struggle between ninjas. Therefore, the samurai here basically have no chance to fight ninjas. And now, he felt it was time for these ninjas to see the true power of a samurai. Seeing this, the surrounding melon-eating crowd scattered like birds and beasts. If they were accidentally injured by the sword chi, who would they cry to? The shop owner, Taiya, also looked livid, but he was powerless to stop it. After all, he was just a blacksmith, unable to deal with these wandering warriors. Maybe he has a lot of contacts that can frighten these wandering warriors, but he can't quench his thirst far away. These guys don't have a fixed place to live in. After committing crimes, they just run away, and they don't care who is behind you. Advertisement. Brother, do you know that you have caused trouble? If you want to get out of here alive, why don't you sell me your sword? While pushing back the wandering samurai rushing up, she didn't forget to hit the sealed state idea. Luli didn't speak, but Wooden Golem spoke first. Hey, you can't take advantage of others. She shrugged and said helplessly, well, you're right. Luli shook his head, saying that he caused so much trouble just because he wanted to get a scabbard. Of course, this is actually not a problem for Luli. It's time to go back. The scabbard is also in hand. Luli does not intend to waste time here. He pinned the sealed state on his waist, ready to activate wood style directly to teach these blind wandering warriors a lesson. At this moment, a group of regular warriors from the Iron Kingdom suddenly appeared here. This is the capital of the Iron Kingdom, who is gathering people to make trouble. The person who came was none other than Jiao. Master Jiao, it's great that you're here. When Taiya saw that it was Jiao who brought people over, he quickly greeted him. Master Jiao, these two ninjas from Cloud Shinobi Village are actually attacking us openly in our country of iron. The wandering samurai headed by them not only did not panic, but gloated on their faces. Li Jiao glanced at him and scolded, shut up. He looked at Taiya and asked, Master Taiya, what's going on? 
Even if Fu Jiao came, these wandering warriors became even more arrogant. From their point of view, this is the Iron Country, and no matter what happens, Arai Kakuzo should be on their side, and those two cloud shinobi village ninjas will pay for their meddling. Wooden Golem said with a sneer, Your country of iron is really a nest of snakes and rats. In broad daylight, you actually want to grab other people's swords by force. While speaking, Wooden Golem did not forget to protect Luli behind him. Luli's mind was not on this conflict at all, but she was admiring the graceful figure of Wooden Golem to her heart's content. Advertisement. Tisk, this small waste that can't be grasped is simply amazing. Hearing what Wooden Golem said, Li Jiao couldn't figure it out for a moment. The Iron Country has a unique warrior culture. Anyone who considers himself a warrior wears armor and hangs a sword. What kind of knife is that that would trigger a conflict between ninjas and samurai? What's going on here? Where's the person with the knife? Li Jiao glanced at everyone present. Luli also had no choice but to disturb her admiration of the small waist in the inner corner, so she had no choice but to walk out from behind Wooden Golem. It is said that he was accidentally protected once by the woman he appointed by default. Is it considered soft food? But that feeling is really cool. No wonder some people say that being able to eat soft rice is also a skill. Li Jiao, it's me. As soon as Luli raised his head, the inner corner was obviously taken aback. These wandering warriors actually want to snatch Luli's weapons? Where did this shit come from? It must be a very honorable status for Luli to follow Third Hokage to participate in the interview with Rakage. If this matter gets to General Mifune and Third Hokage, it will definitely have a very bad influence. Li Jiao knew that if he didn't handle it well, it might cause even bigger troubles. He stared, and suddenly drew his knife. Swish, a blade light flashed away, accompanied by the flash of blood. The left palm of the leading wandering warrior then fell to the ground. Ah, uh, the leading wandering warrior tightly clenched his broken left wrist with his right hand, his expression painful. Advertisement. Li Jiao didn't look at this guy at all, and bowed deeply to Luli, keeping his whole body at 90 degrees, his eyes fixed on the ground. He sincerely said, I'm sorry? Please Master Luli hold your hands high and act as if nothing happened. This, not only the wandering warrior whose hand was severed, Iron Fang, Wooden Golem, she, all stared wide-eyed in disbelief. Who is this Luli? What a big deal. Luli stepped forward and patted Jiao's strong arm. He smiled back at the wooden golem before walking away. With his violent temper, these wandering warriors are all dead today. But who let him meet wooden golem? When this person is in a good mood, it is rare for him to be generous, so let them go. Just leave like this. Wooden golem and she were stunned for a long while before reacting from the shock. Especially by wooden golem, Luli looked back at her with a smile before leaving, which made her heart beat slightly faster for no reason. Who is this guy? She looked to the inner corner. Li Jiao glanced at the direction where Luli was leaving, and said, He is the guard of third Hokage, and he has just arrived in the capital of the Iron Kingdom. What? Shocked again by wooden golem and she, they looked at each other, feeling a little unbelievable. This guy is several years younger than them, and he actually became Hokage's bodyguard. Although there are many geniuses who became Jonin at the age of 12 or 13, being able to appear here with Hokage on this occasion is enough to show that Luli is extraordinary. This bad guy, he obviously has the strength to deal with it, but he hides behind me with peace of mind. Wooden Golem stomped his feet somewhat annoyed. Advertisement. 